You know, we're really pleased we're getting more and more brand new suppliers here at Hobbymaker. We'll wait until you hear the latest. Cricket is joining us at Hobbymaker. And we've got exclusive deals just for us at Hobbymaker featuring the Joy and the Maker 3. And if the stock sells out, which it probably will, you won't see it again until next year. So make sure you join us this Thursday for the exclusive exciting launch of Cricket on Hobbymaker. When you purchase anything on Hobbymaker, you have a 30-day money-back guarantee, meaning that you can shop with confidence. Happy shopping with Hobbymaker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide, this will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Hobbymaker. Hello, hello, hello. Good afternoon. How are you? Great to be back with you here on Hobby Maker. My name's Ruth the Reindeer Lynette, uh, and we have some fantastic Christmas gifts for you today here on Hobby Maker. Hope you're all well. The germs have been doing the rounds here, but they will not keep an old dog down. I'm calling myself an old dog falling. <laughs> uh, but what, <laughs> what do we have going on today? Loads. We are going to kick off this fantastic show with not just one, but two. Amazing, in fact, shamazing hours with the one, the only, she is back, Queen P in the studio. In fact, it's Auntie Pauline, Queen P. Hello. There she is. How are you, my lovely? The new me. Do you like the do? The new me. She's I've had been, a barnet I've been a put. bit boofed and juicy. I love it. It looks fabulous. I've not had hair this short since I was about three. Since you've so about 20, 20, yeah, something like that, 25 yeah, yeah, years yeah. ago. Yeah, that's you got it. Well, it suits you. She looks fabulous. I'm still getting used to it. I like it, but I like it. I love it's it. It's like, where's, where's it gone? It's when you have a new head, you, it takes you a bit to get to. Yeah, yeah. To know I look it, in the mirror and think, who's that? Who's that gorgeous supermodel? <laughs> oh, P, that's who it is. And who do we have with us today? Well, I have a little look in the gallery because we've got the gorgeous Laura there. We've got lovely Dan. Dan, have you got a Christmas jumper on? He's a good lad, yes. isn't he? He just needs a little elf hat and he'll be perfectly, perfectly, perfectly dressed. And of course, the one and only, which I normally sing, I don't know if I've got enough voice for it today, but a wonderful, he, oh, this is going to be dreadful if I try and sing, isn't it? He is the one and only, it's Chesney. There he is, Chesney, go on, give us away, Ches. There he is, there he is. And we've got Lovie Allison Tarry packing up, ready to go home. Bless her. She's <laughs> off, she's off. Um, get out of my studio. Right, we have... <laughs> we, and of course, I, I don't know where everybody else has gone. Uh, right, today, Pauline, we've got two hours with you, haven't we, first of all? You're going to be yeah. with us till three. Then cup of tea time. Cup of tea time. Um, we're going to have the lovely Lorraine joining us with this amazing stenciling that's behind Pauline right now. I mean, I cannot wait for this. I've been watching these shows and cannot wait to share this with you because it's just so inspirational. Then we've got the lovely Aunt Pauline back with us. At, you're back with us at five, five? aren't you? Five, yeah. And of course, the lovely yeah. Gwen. The lovely Gwen is with us for one hour. Oh, Creative love expressions. Gwen. We love Gwen. I love Gwen. I love today. I've got I've got a Pauline and Gwen sandwich. Oh, Which ooh, is always ooh. exciting for any, any person. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear you, Laura. Have you got me selected, lovely girl? No, there we go. Were well, you on the phone she's, trying to get she's more busy stock? Pr producering. She's, she's doing producering duties, yeah. is our Laura. Um, all I will say is before we dive in, because we've got a massive, massive opener for you today, is get in touch. <clears throat> Excuse me, get involved. Um, on the telephone lines, of course, it's a free phone number. Don't get involved that way, though. Send us your messages via email or via our website at hobbymaker.co.uk. As long as you're signed up, you can send your live messages. We'll get them in. If you've got any questions for Pauline, Lorraine and Gwen, please do send them in because they were Yeah, that's really funny them. because Pauline, right, that's my sister's name. So we're Pauline and Lorraine. Oh, are you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, there you go. How funny. Mm. Oh, fun. Well, there you go. I thought you were going to say your sister's name is Pauline. Laura was saying that. It's like, that's very Pauline number one and Pauline number two. Uh, very, very uh, confusing. Uh, but today, I've been dying to get my hands on these. We are going to bring to you some of the most incredible, incredible inks. We have the Prism inks. Now, this is amazing because 
We've been literally trying to get hold of these for a day or two for you right now. Um, so it's the, it's not just the collection, it's the ultimate collection, which feels like it needs a drum roll, to be fair. I won't keep these on for very long, by the way, because <laughs> they're, they're a little bit sharp, I shan't I, 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 had, I had my <laughs> holly, jolly holly snowball jumper on yesterday and oh. my things. But every time I leant forward, <laughs> all you could see on the overhead was my snowflake. Bit, so they had to come off. <laughs> oh, bless you. We'll find you another app. You can have these later, Paulie. Um, right, now, this is the entire collection that you're seeing here, the ultimate collection. Uh, that's not your price on screen. It should be. But there are not just 10 or 20 here, but a full on 40 different ink pads from your prism collection. I mean, straight away, when we talk about prism, we, we think quality, don't we? Straight. Oh, away. yeah. And anything that hunky dory <clears throat> has got its name behind, it quality comes paramount. Yeah, exactly. Um, and, and we've waited a long, long time for these new colours. I know. A very long time. And yeah. they are so pretty. They're amazing. I mean, look at so, so, so pretty. Some of those Lovely colours. <gasps> Pink petal, lovely lilac vintage rose, powder blue, spearmint. And it's covering, you've got so many different colours, but then lots of different variants of, lots of beautiful yeah. tones of. So it's not just pink, you've got loads of different shades and tones and hues, which is wonderful. So you've got you've got everything coloured here. And that's uh, so juicy. Exactly. That is paramount again, because we got the, with, we bought you the shimmerings and mm. showed you then how juicy, because they're on a foam pad yeah so when you squish it down the <clears throat> the color instantly is there so yes. with these be, when you're doing your stamping you must remember these are not felted pads so don't squash them down on your stamps okay tap lightly right yeah okay and, and you'll be fine Right, so glasses are off straight away. Um, there we go. I mean, look at that. That's a letterbox red. Red's really hard, actually, to get right. It is, and yeah. Particularly... Because it can be very blue, very cold colour yeah, red. And then you've got a warm red as well. So to get the right shades, you know, you've got to go some to get it right. Yeah, and it's not just the inks. Uh, you've got 40 individual inks there. You're also getting, look at all those colours, they're amazing. Uh, you're also getting the brand new, it's a lovely slide that is, whoever created yeah. that. Was that you, Laura? Very, very nice. You're also going to get the brand new Prism Crafting Handbook. Now, this is volume seven, so you can see already, obviously, you've got six volumes mm. before this. All the inspiration in there, so many fantastic techniques. So if you are new to working with inks, if you're new to crafting, all of these books offer you different things. I mean, you can see in there again, you've got a lovely sort of swatch of all those fantastic, vibrant colours. And then some ideas in terms of how to work with them, how to use them. That's a rather nice layering stamp, isn't it, Auntie it is, Pauline? It is, isn't it? It'd be nice if we had, nice if we had those on the show. It'd be lovely. It's one of my favourites, that yeah. layering stamp. Let's, um, let's um, well, guess what? You're exactly getting that today. We're going to do those layering stamps for you as well. And they're a favourite. I know we've done those before. They're very much a favourite of mine. Because it's not just the rose you get, is it, Pauline? What no, else do you get? Well... Are you Are going to give it a go? You might get a jibra. A jibra? you got to get a jibra for some I love reason. a jibra, I do. We have to say that. With That's a, Liverpool a brummy accent. Liverpool. Don't know what, <laughs> but you, you stick brummy. I'll try, I'll try a bit further up north. Um, so what's that currently working out per ink pad, lovely Laura? Mm. £3.22 an ink pad, but does that mean your book's free? That's rather fabulous. But that's not, as Laura said, because she's a bit no, under the weather. We Laura said, do that. that's got to your price. That's <laughs> 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 what so it sounded like. A, sounded a little bit stuffy then. Sounded like the advert for a, a well known sweet years yes. ago, a second class ticket to Dottingham. Do you remember that? Yes. <laughs> Lots of other sweets available. <laughs> Um, that used to be my old agent that did that advert, yeah. actually. Just, just dropping the mic there. Um, we are, look at that. I took about dropping, dropping yeah. the price all the way. This is insane. 59.99 and it's on split pay. Your book on its own is 9.99. So you're getting 40 high quality prism inks for 50 pounds. It's incredible. It Absolutely is. It, it, insane. It's, do you know what? If you want to buy <clears throat> yourself a Christmas present, this is it. 
Yeah. And you want to get to, into stamping, yeah. this is it. Because what you've got here is a real... They're not mini ink pads and they're no. not the big size ink pads. They're a beautiful little um, in-between size that are ergonomically designed so that you, when you hold them, as, as our lovely Ruth has shown you there, your finger and your thumb fit lovely in there so you can get a good handle on it. Looks like a shamrock, doesn't it? It that does. And it does. But what back, you know, Ruth, one of my favourite, favourite things, and I'll, I will do it with you um, and show you, is, is going a little bit out there and just making a card by stamping the, the ink pads. Yeah. And it looks so contemporary. Yeah. And so good and so arty. I, um, I you just them. need to put a wording over it and it looks great. Exactly. Job's done then. Is there actually a shamrock colour, did you say? Oh, I didn't know that. I just said it looked like a shamrock. There it's is. There somewhere. It, it, it's it's the, buried. It, it'd be this one here. It'd be that one there. It'd be that one there. Oh, yeah, that's a But, of course, colour, you're it? not seeing the true colour. No, we'll Because see it's these condensed in there. Um, and I always say as well, it, it, sometimes, <laughs> because on the lid, we try and give you a true version of it, but this is paper on plastic. You're not going to always get the right colour. So if no. you want, make a colour swatch. And then yep. you will get, idea. you'll know exactly before it's too late. Yeah, I mean, I have to say, they, you, you've done a pretty good job, to be honest. You could even do a little colour swatch and actually pop it onto the... Because you'll see there's a really good uh, kind of depth uh, yeah. to the ink pads. These sold out at the weekend, by the way, completely. We've pulled many arms and strings to get these for you today. You've got a, kind of a good amount. You could always put a little swatch in the back, or if you wanted to... Bit of Velcro in there. The, we've got shall, that. We don't have show, much Velcro show you? at all. But yeah, right, I'm just gonna, I'm going to grab velvet fawn, <clears throat> and I'm going to grab pink petal. We'll load and it can on you screen. see on the back? Yeah. Not use these yet. Oh, but no, look yes. what you see. This is what we do. So uh, uh, us girls were saying we always put a piece of Velcro, yeah. and and that stick because this goes onto That's your dauber, your tool, right? So a little bit of that underneath there. Perfect. You have all, and that doesn't touch the the no doesn't touch your packaging. surface. Yeah. So you've always got the right colour to hand. Right. And you don't need to be mixing those up nope. therefore. So you nope. don't want to mix those colours at all. You don't want any contamination of colour. So you can keep each one of those perfectly yeah. there. Now look, one pound fifty for will, Velcro is that, that's amazing. That length will do. Um, Arms all length. forty with a bit left over. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. We don't have much of that. I know, because before. I've done it. I did my own. Yeah, it's brilliant. So 40 individual ink pads. Amazing. That Velcro is £1.50. Your Velcro hook, um, it's, it's literally one metre. It's, ne it's, yeah. it's not quite, well, it's just over half of me. Uh, but um, not much, I'm 1.83. Uh, so not much of that, uh, but it's an incredible price bag at what uh, price I don't even know what that word was. Sorry. <laughs> My head, I've been off, I don't know, price bag. I've been off for a week. I do apologise. You've know, only been ill and you've still got like jelly yeah. scrambled uh -oh. egg head. It's not quite yeah. working still. Worse than normal chairs, I know. But I believe that. I know. I'm impossible. But I haven't been bad and mine's like that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so add that to your order. But as I said, 40 of those incredible, incredible colours. Have you got a favourite? Are you a, You're a green girl. I am a you? green girl. So the lime zest would mm. obviously be a favourite of mine. Yeah. But then, you see, I, I like to put purple with it. Oh. So I've got choices again. So I could go violet. But I could go lovely lilac if I wanted it a little shade lighter. So I can go nice. deep or I can go of a more um, pastel shade. Yeah, go vibrant. I mean, you know me, I love the pinks. Yeah. What's that one? Pink petal. Pink? Gonna, well, I mean, with I the pink. the hot pink. We've got hot pink, orchid, vintage rose, lipstick, blush, and pink petal. I need to find the hot. I'm literally destroying this. Hot pink, hot pink's here. Sorry. It's right Sorry. at the bottom by me it's bound inside. To be. So it's bound to be. there is hot pink. Oh, I think I've just got it all okay, over my face. Okay, look at that. <gasps> Wouldn't mind a lipstick that shade. Oh, I like Don't that. use your ink pads as lipstick. No, don't do that. Oh, there is a lipstick shade as well. That's your lipstick That's shade. That's your lipstick. Well. Sorry, yeah. I'll go that way, Chess. There we go. That's, oh, I like there yours, Pauline. Yeah. I like yours. There's, yeah, orchids rather look And that's as well. what, when you've got flower <clears> stamps, <throat> This is Ooh. what makes it really difficult and very time consuming because I spend more time <laughs> trying funny. to pick the colours. And especially with these layering ones, when you need three yeah. colours, 
you need a light, a medium, and a, a, a darker shade. Yeah. Um, so Agreed. pick three in that range and you're well away. And with the layering stamps, you can do whatever you want. You don't need to keep it naturalistic. If you've got one of the roses, perhaps, to do, you don't need to just have a pink rose or an, an uh, ivory rose. How about a blue rose? Pauline, anyone would think we'd plan this. We've got to stop being so professional today. It's not our normal standard. No, it really... It, you know, it, <laughs> there we um, go. It's great, Look though, to that. have that choice of colour to be able to do something yeah. a little bit, yeah, a little bit different. Is that random beautiful? Bit out there? It's, I've still because got in lots. the world of crafting, flower can be any colour. Yeah, absolutely. Really I've still can. got the one you did on our last show. Yeah, you gave me the, and I've still I got did. it. I oh did. my goodness me, Jess, my my niece loved her card. Auntie Pauline did a card with a unicorn good. that pulled out and you made it on air and she absolutely loved oh, it. So thank you good. so much for doing that. It was a pleasure. It was made on telly by Auntie Pauline. <laughs> uh, right, you're layering stamps. <laughs> I haven't told you what you owe me yet. <laughs> uh, these are... <laughs> very expensive, is Pauline. Uh, these are your layering stamps and they're absolutely fantastic. So they're from the love of stamps layering floral collection um, and you get I mean Pauline will take us through how these actually work in a second but they're really brilliant they do come with their own kind of instructions on the back as you often get uh, with these so this is your gerbera which I love and gerberas are great for playing with colours you get yellow gerberas and pink gerberas so many fabulous colours you've also got a little bumblebee you've got some extra little stamps on there as well you've also got your little sentiment at the top there as well that says thank you uh, for all that you do and on the back you'll see how these work so you see how you gradually bring the layers in and what you're going to create same with the stamen of the flower same with the stem and of course your bumblebee now I'm going that way but I should be going that way shouldn't I Pauline yeah. should I have to start but, with well, what, what you've got to remember with these is you're going to start with the lightest ink and the fullest darkest stamp okay. first so think opposites. Yeah. So um, if, we, if we take this one here, we've got the gerbil. Let me put some card behind it. Mm. So this one that is the darkest is layer number one. This one is then layer number two. And the lightest with not so much on is layer three. And that will be your darkest. It's it really says clever. everything on the pack. Yeah. So, you, you know, just remember that. Work backwards. It's work fabulous. forwards, but backwards at the same time yeah yeah be it's, fine. It's totally and the fact that you get those kind of instructions with you as well is fabulous so that's your rose i'll bring that in so you can see that one as well now 40 pounds is incredible because remember pounds people are going to be wanting valentine cards very soon absolutely and then you've got your ruby wedding yep you can do your red roses for that wedding invites yep uh and wedding just, cards. And just, just because cards i'm knocking off everything ruth's yep. back <laughs> Didn't Columbia take a long, did it? <laughs> um, it? Just because, you know, you want to send somebody a card and say, maybe they've been poorly, maybe they've been under the weather. Yeah. And you want to say, here's, you know, here's a bit of a hug. Yeah. Or somebody's going into hospital. You don't want to be sending real flowers into hospitals anymore. So well, I love card they with look that. so realistic. Yeah, they do. And we're currently at £10 a set, which is amazing. That is really good. Yeah, it's really good. So we're going to take your price down because that's kind of what we do on here. Um, Oh my gosh, right, this is a really, really nice saving. And don't forget, if you've worked with these layering stamps, we would love to see your creations. If you want to send them in to us, that's amazing. Please do, we'd love to see yours, but uh, send them in via email, we'll put that on the screen in a tick. Uh, but £24.99, is that £6.22 instead of a that, tenner? It, it is a phenomenal price for, for really good stuff. I mean, You've got, again, the, the, the leaves are layering as mm. well, but then you've got your wording uh, also on there. Yep, sending and lots they of love. are superb to work with. Yeah, They're, I love things. But they are some of my favourites. And, and they go together with your stamps. So if you're getting your ultimate collection of prism inks, not your stamps, your prism inks, get these as well because they are going to give you but, yeah, so much creativity. Yeah, because you've got all the shades within the colour group. Yeah. Um, that helps you pick out the three in, totally. in that to go with it. Yeah. So what colours are you going for today for your demo? Of what, for my gerbera? For your gerbera? Um, no, it's not well, a gerbera. Well, this is, look, we've got here a blue one that I've actually That's cut lovely. out and raised up. So that, that gives you a nice idea. That's lovely. But you can see the like the texture in it. So that's lovely. <clears throat> so let's have a look. What should we have for a gerbra? See? Yeah. You've put me Well, in I'm this... gonna go pink, aren't I? Because I'm pretty You want pretty, a pink you know. gerbra. Okay. Yes. Please. Let's go pink then. Predictive so what we want <laughs> is um, three shades. So 
how about if I go blush? Mm -hmm. um, I could go uh, vintage rose. Oh, nice. I had vintage rose in my wedding bouquet. And orchid. Mm. Did you? Yeah, it's called vintage. I had Sonia roses, which were Sonia like rose. a peach. Oh, I think it was called Vintage mm. and then I think it was, I want to say Memory Lane for some reason, but I might have made oh. that up completely. Right, so it's like so I cute. said, <laughs> we will go, now it's quite a solid <laughs> stamp this is, but just remember that you've got this edge. Okay. So that is the back. If you can feel something on there, yeah. that's the top, that's the stamp. That's the bit you put the ink So on. you want the flat of the back. So you decide where it's going to go and let's, let's put it, let's put it here. Okay, like so. Using the stamp platform, this makes it mm. really, really easy for you. Yeah, we've got an amazing deal on the stamping okay. platform. Look so at that in a bit. on this one, I'm going to start with the blush. Now, you won't see a lot of it, okay? And when you are using these, you might see it sort of bobble a bit on a new stamp. Okay. Don't worry about that, but if you want, you can use a stamp cleaner. You can run, go over it with uh, pieces of sellotape mm -hmm. um, or low, you know, low tap tape. Low tap tape. Sometimes there's a surface of protection. Oh on right, it, okay? okay. But yeah, don't worry. Okay. So our first layer. Okay, here we go in, and we give it a nice even pressure, and don't immediately take it back up. What you want is for that ink to penetrate onto the cardstock. Um, I'm using Ink Me cardstock. Um, you can use watercolour if you want, but um, I'm just going for that. Now, there we go. Can you see? Beautiful. Now, don't worry if you see areas that's not quite there. Yeah. It's more than likely meant to be. Okay. Okay. And Mother Nature's not perfect anyway, oh, she's saying. yeah. Like the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> so then we go with the next one mm -hmm. and because we're on our platform we don't have to move anything and we can go straight down so look for a reference point in this case i've got this big petal here which relates to this big petal here yeah but when you put it on don't ex expect it to fit oh yes. we're doing we're doing a different layer Okay. So this layer, can you see here? Yeah, it doesn't. You've still got bits that don't fit. Right. But that's meant to be. So is Because otherwise you won't get the definition. So is the one bit that you need to try and line up or just... Well, I did this big bottom, petal here. The bottom bit, yeah. Yeah. <coughs> you can always put a permanent pen marker on if you wanted. Okay. As um, an indication. Yeah. Right. So we'll put this one on. So this is the vintage. So this is obviously shade darker. Yeah. The lovely stuff. Pop that on. And of course, our platform doesn't touch until mm. you press it down. So if you, by some chance, do move the card, yeah. you, your ink hasn't touched. Yeah. These so down we go with this one. Literally do half the job for you. And we're going to do a great deal on them. Yeah. So again, I'm just giving a moment for that ink to penetrate in. Can you see what I mean about... Oh, well, see, instantly you've because, got... Yeah, wow. but it, see where that shape didn't fit? Mm -hmm. That's where you get it's all that... It life straight light. away. Yeah. I yeah. love these stamps. Oh, me too. I'm always happy to use these. Yeah. Right, layer three. Okay. We've got this big area again here that we know... And see how these three point out there? Mm -hmm. So we pop that on, but this time... Oops. This time it doesn't fit again, but in more places it doesn't mm -hmm. fit. So this time we're going to go pick it up again with orchid. Yeah. Now this is going to give us real definition. This is color. your finish. So mm -hmm. this is where you would. Um, <sighs> this would be your accessories. Okay. You know, if yes, you've got your nice layer. dress on. And this yeah. is your nails and your your, your jewellery and things yeah. like that. So we'll pop this one on now. And this is your finishing touch. Love it. Okay. And then we take that off and look at that. Amazing. And how, how could you get that unless you 
pan painted it, hand drawn it. And I couldn't do that. You, you couldn't do it, could no. you? No. Okay. So mm. then we've got the centre. Now, once again, if you turn it over, you can see I've got a dark, fuller centre. Yeah. And a lighter one. Okay. So we know we start with the dark. So look and see if it fits. Does it need turning round? Okay. And we've got lots of jaggedy bits here. <laughs> I've got jaggedy bits on there. Mm -hmm. So I'm going for it that way. Okay. So then um, you will get you will get colour options on the back, but I think it might still be the old colours we had. Oh right. Okay. Right. But yeah. it gives tells you three shades. Yeah. Right. So. I'm going for this one, a light colour, and so let's go with, I'm going to go with the um, buttercream. There's so many choices. Buttercup, sorry. Buttercup. Buttercream. That's all right. Cake's on the mind. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> <laughs> I love buttercream. Okay. Oh, <laughs> me too. Right, and then we're going to pop that down on there. Nice. Yep. And then we'll go to the next one, which is lighter. Mm -hmm. But it means we use darker. Mm -hmm. All right. And this is going to give you accent. And I'm going to go warm honey. Oh. Because I can. <laughs> because I've got them all there to use. So I go warm honey. And this is the thing. You could create an entire bouquet of different colours yes. just using the, the, the gerber. Make a suggestion. We have um, charcoal, stormy night, concrete... Uh, dove grey, muddy boots. Do it in, in greys and black. Nice. You know, it will look really lovely. Yeah. Okay. And there we have a flower. Love it. You have a stem, which really we don't need to use on here, mm -hmm. but I'm going to put it anyway. And it goes up to a point, and that can fit right between those two petals mm. there okay pop that just over yeah. there we'll pick that up they're just beautiful and obviously you've got different I'll sentiments on each put in that. there we are on there right so now i'm going for a lighter green i've got seven colors of greens here amazing let's go um pear green so we'll pop that on this mm -hmm. stem and obviously, if you've got your little swatches of colour like you suggested, you can just look at those you can and look have at, a little... Yeah. yeah. Okay, so pear green on there. And that nice. just gives us a stem. Yeah. Okay. But when we put the next one on, mm -hmm. again, we go up to a point. So we can pop that point right on that one there. And this time we'll go for... Um, I'm going to go for khaki, okay, because that's a nice darker, darker, mm -hmm. but this one has got like bits missing, so this is where you'll see the colour underneath, yeah. we'll pop that on there, and we press that down, and look at that, lovely, really lovely, and then lovely. all we need to do is take a card, Okay, well, they've got a B on there as well, if a we little want. buzzy B. And over 10% of the stock's gone already, and we've had a lot of these booked in, so we've got a really, really good quantity as well. Yeah. Okay, so I've got a 5 by 7 card. I'm going to put... Oh, that's little ones. Let's find some bigger ones. Here we go. Right, let's put... Um... Look, quickness, I'm just going to do this. Right. Got too much to We do. won't judge you. Too much it's to fine. do. And I'm going to put that towards the top. White on white, I really, really like. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to put the wording, and I've got thank you for all that you do. Now, oh. because I've got that already done, I'm just going to use a small block, <coughs> a hunky-dory block. It mm -hmm. comes in, we have it in a couple of sizes in a set okay and i'm going to use just to show you that you can stamp 
your wording with these. Okay. So and then do that really, really the lightly. Orchid. Yeah, can you see? If I'm not yeah. pressing, if I pressed in, it will go in all the nooks and crannies. Yeah. I'm showing you purple on purple on a purple board. <laughs> you kind of just kiss it really with the. Yeah, yeah. Use your stuff. board, get it nice and straight. And then we've got. Actually, I'm going to go. go. No, I'm not. <laughs> you think, oh, I will. No, I won't. <laughs> and look at that. That's beautiful. Thank you for all you do. It's amazing. And I don't, I don't think you need anything else on there. You no, might I don't. want to put a little gem. It's the another, detail. Another idea that, that is good with this is if you um, uh, take your... Now, look, I'm going to cover it up. I'm going to show okay. you something now. I'm, I'm, not, I'm going to put it the wrong way up, <laughs> Okay. Because what I want to show you is, if you get, um, let's put it on here. Yeah. Right? So get that ink pad and just put that on there. Let's spray it with a drop of water. Yeah. Okay. Then get an old um, paintbrush, something a little... You are. This one will do. Pick it up. Now that's covered, okay? Oh, I wondered what you were doing. Oh, I like it. It's a, it's a good one, isn't it? It is. We like it when you get okay. dirty with those, Pauline. I love it. Take that off. And then it's you've really just transformed cute. that playing card into something spectacular it almost looks like when you, you blow the dandelions and it goes yeah kind of all goes yeah. into the air and the detail that's the thing with these stamps the detail that's in there is you can see almost <clears throat> excuse me every every single petal that's coming off the stamen of that flower it's beautiful and that's really not taking too much time at all no I, I, you know i've been showing you you can do it much quicker and yeah as i say picking these colors is the hardest Love them. part they're gorgeous so get your prison inks because obviously the ultimate collection there with your book 40 of those incredibly incredible ink pads uh, for 50 pounds today that's ridiculous uh, was it 50 pounds was it 59.99 59 We'll quickly load them back. Yeah, 59.99 because the book is 9.99 basically. Uh, so if you say your book's 9.99, you get all of those 40 stamps for 50 pounds. That's one pound something per stamp. <laughs> less than 150. It was way less than 150. Absolutely. Uh, it's incredible. It, it, it is. It really and they is. last for and so long, don't they? They do. Um, and they, I can honestly say that my previous set uh, for colours are still in working order. Yeah. So. You know, this is lovely that if you, if you, in a previous life, if you did have the other colours, these will work with them. Totally. They all work beautifully. You've got your layering stamps, uh, but you need, that side, uh, your stamp press. My goodness. Now, we're going to be, we're going to be cheeky. Let's just chuck it out there. We're going to be naughty. We're going to be cheeky uh, because I don't know how many times when we've bought the, the, uh, the stamping press to you, that is your price, £34.99. Um, first time we uh, brought this to our, I think it was the 10th of March, actually, this year. Uh, 10th of March, you will have seen it at £34.99. You will have seen it again and again and again and again and again. It's a lovely little sheep dog. It literally looks like a sheep, sheep dog. dog. Um, <laughs> it, it does make me laugh, though. I like it. That, and I've said it before. Like, you're using um, our platform with, with a crafter's companion ink pad <laughs> and a stamp. <laughs> all, all mingles but together. you know, it all works together. And yeah. there's our lovely penguin. That's gorgeous. I love oh, that. I remember I love those. That yeah. Yeah. They were almost like stained glass windows, weren't yeah, they? Yeah. They were beautiful. But it just shows, you know, you can mix and match. Yeah, totally, totally. And thirty-four ninety-nine every time, every time, every time. Apart from once, and I will name and shame here. I will say I do believe it was our lovely Laura and Anne Marie. And Marie, if you're watching, she's always watching. <laughs> the all-seeing eye. <laughs> the all. And Marie, I miss your face. I've not seen you forever. And um, but Anne Marie, I we we've discovered. That you, I mean, I am blaming Laura more than you, Anne Marie, but yeah, I don't know, 50 50. I think you may have done this once, once, once only. Was 10... it when we had a special event? I don't know. 
I, it must have been, because I, I don't know why was. else it, it, they would it, have done that. No, absolutely. Because they actually took not just a pound or two, or like your 29 dollars whoa, they took a tenner off that price point. Ten pounds. That's a massive saving. A lot of money. And Huge. we don't need to reduce this. No. Nope. These, are these, are, these always sell. Core cool products, aren't well. they? Yeah. So yeah. I think we're going to do it again. It's Christmas. It's Laura again, so it's Laura's name that will go down. She's going down. Um, so we're going to... Laura's not been well either, so we'll blame it on the gyms. Uh, so 24... <laughs> not the gyms and the gibras. 24 99 You will use and use and use and use your stamping press. You, I mean, you, this isn't something you have to replace in, in two years. It's there for you, and it's there to make your stamping even easier, isn't it? Yeah. And you get two little magnets with that as well. Yeah. Paula, um, you were using those. I've got three. I've inherited one from oh, somewhere. Shaky. It's not Natalie's. OK. I know oh. Natalie lost one. Oh. I was not in the vicinity. Do we believe Auntie Pauline here? I do. do. I believe I everything lie? you say. Um, <clears throat> uh, so, so, yeah, I have gained one. Um, I think it just stuck to something at the bottom of the magnet. Did it? Um, but it is so good. I mean, what I love, like I said before, you can see there, there is a gap. Yeah. I'm going the wrong camera way. Like and it's dirty. There. That doesn't matter. But you see yes. that gap? Mm. It doesn't touch the stamp. No. It doesn't touch the cardstock. So you've got that <laughs> room to play with. Now, if I press Give it a squeeze. here, you can see... Oh, how it, when you press it down, yeah. that's when it touches. Yeah. So you have that time that if you did move it by chance, mm -hmm. you can rectify it. Exactly. Okay. And if you've put you, your stamps in there, you've inked your stamps, you've put them on there and you push that. And also if you've got dexterity issues or anything oh, like that. It's perfect. These, they, yeah, they're yeah. not difficult to push on there Because I, I am a, a bit of a, a one that I used to say, <laughs> Why would you want to use one of those? I've, I, I've spent years teaching people how to stamp correctly yeah. with a block. But there are times that mm. you can't physically... Um, it, it's like when we're saying about using clear stamps and wooden stamps. Yeah. You can't look over a wooden stamp and make mm. sure it's in place properly. The same as this. People have all kinds of issues. Exactly. And, and when you're batch making, um, as in cards, not bread, you want to... To do something the same sure. all the time. Yeah. This well, is the well, way to go. Prime example is obviously the layering stamps you just used. If you start with your bottom yeah. stamp, I know I know it's not Well you'd have I to say you'd, that. you'd have to hover and, yeah. and it, but you couldn't be sure it's in I the I mean right you've got I, I say that you've probably got a little bit of leeway with these because with, obviously you've got yeah. bits and bobs that don't yeah. match up. But if you have a stamp that you, you you've you've put your ink on, you've stamped it, you take off and you go, Oh, I've missed a little bit. Yeah. You've got to line that up absolutely perfectly by eye. That's hard. And if you ruin it, you're like, okay, it's only a bit of paper, I get that. But if you spent time doing something, stamping press, you haven't got to worry. You literally open up your stamping pad, have a look, oh, I need to go in again, flip it over, add a bit more ink if you want to, or first of all, just try a little bit more pressure. Or just another go, basically. Yeah. It might just be yeah. that you've 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 missed yeah. the, missed the well, area. Sometimes mine doesn't work out. I have got the world's worst table to work on, and it's it's supposed to be flat and it dips. Um so I get a, a big thick um, you know, the, some of the older um, die-cutting machines okay. have a thick board. Right. Um, to work, I put that and work and stamp yeah. on that. It works. Or a bread board or something like that. There you go. Um, so it's not that that's not working. It could be your table. Okay, do Well, there you go. Uh, so grab hold of that because that's a ridiculous price point. So what I'm going to do is just re kind of recap a little. Um, your inks all there and they're all on the web by the way if you are buying on the web today and um, we're just going to show it to you at www.hobbymaker.co.uk we've also given you a second option because i appreciate you know pennies we're looking after and we you know you you're, you're, you're picking your battle so to speak at the moment if perhaps that entire set at 59.99 the ultimate collection isn't for you and i know it will be for many people because it's a whole lot plus you get your book free of charge 40 colors amazing However, if you want to just dip your toe in, in, in a particular smaller colour range, you can do that as well. And you've got a selection of set one is pastel, set two is brights, set three is mid-tones, set four is vintage shades, set five is essential colours. They're all there for you on the web. 
Uh, so you're getting six, seven, eight dies. They're only £14.99. So still a really affordable price point. So if you've never tried the collection of prism inks before, you maybe want to get your stamping press. Maybe today you're going, I'd love all of that, but, but, but I've got only so much and I would like the stamping press as well. £24.99, add in one section, a selection of inks and it's under £40. That might be the way you want to do it as well. However, I must also just say, because I didn't mention that, even though it's there on screen, if you do want the whole set, the ultimate collection of 40 with the book, it's on split pay. Split pay at 29.99. That's worth thinking about as well as that's just throwing another spanner in the in the works. 29.99 is today. That's the price you pay by the end of today. Same price next month. So, you know, what are we say 13th? Uh, so 13th of January, that's your second payment at 29.99. No additional cost and it's only one set of postage and packaging. You pay that for the entire day. So it doesn't matter if you put that entire collection in, the stamping press, the layering, if you put the whole show from one until six into your basket and check out on it, you pay £3.95 the entire day, which is quite revolutionary in the uh, crafting industry. So make the most of that. If you're buying in a day, buy a few bits and bobs if you can, because you want to make the most of your P&P. Shall we see some more, Pauline? Because this is okay. choosing colours. <laughs> Pauline's literally, I can see I you know. looking going. Mm, mm. <laughs> I know, it's, it's like I'm going pe <laughs> peachy. Oh, peachy. Tangerine. Lovely. And let's go letterbox red. Oh, nice. Okay. Um, so, and I'm going to do the, um, is it peony? Yeah. Yes, your peony. I wanted to say camellia, and I know it's peony. Same difference. Right, so, <laughs> I love big blousy well. flowers, peony. They are, aren't they? Adorable. So I've got the, the darkest, biggest, mm -hmm. the lightest ink, my peachy. So here we go on this. And I think this will look really, really lovely together. You can always do, again, just do a little inking of the three colours yep. and see what they look like together. Sure. So your darkest is also the plainest, isn't it? It's the one with the least yep. detail. So let's get this down. And I love to see as soon as that goes on, because this looks like a flat stamp, mm. but it actually has got more texture going on than you know. Look at that. That's beautiful. I'm just going to... I'm just going to ink that again because I've got, right, I'm going to swipe this over. But that shows you. It's so, because it's so new, yeah. I've got little marks from okay. the square of the pad rather than the yeah. inked thing. So I'm just going over again. There oh, we go. beautiful. But that shows you exactly why it's, it's really good to have yeah. a stamping press because you've managed to go straight back in. Yeah, I can go straight and back in. match that up perfectly. So then I've got the... Um, the second layer, and you can, if I bring it in, you can see the darker one of the two. So yeah. you know, cause, or look at it on there, and you'll see there's more going on. Okay. So again, look at it. Look, I've got the pointy bit there. I've got that there. And you can see more or less where it's going. Okay. That's what I love about it. But if you do get it slightly off, it really isn't going to matter. So this one we're going tangerine. Okay, and this one will be like a shade darker. Mm -hmm. Remember, I put two layers on there, so my peach is quite strong on there. Yeah. But this one will should be able to um, have cover no problem. So there we go. And you can see, oh, look at that colour. Gorgeous that is, isn't it? That really is juicy. really lovely. So let that ink just penetrate mm. onto the card again. And if you do want any of these layering stamps individually, they're all on the oh. web as well, or extras. They're only £7.50 each, so you're still making a saving. <sighs> oh, that's, that that makes, is lovely. That's juicy. That it makes is, me think of that a, certain, is juicy. a certain juicy sweet. Yeah, oh, gosh, yeah. Right. So then we're going letterbox red. So again, turn it and you can see, you see the centre bit here, you can pick that out yeah, and then just pop that on so you're happy with it. You've got a little point there and a little point underneath mm -hmm. and that to me, it's not meant to fit perfectly. 
So don't spend half an hour trying to get it lined up. Yeah, because you're not going to. Im immaculately, because it, it ain't not going to happen. <clears throat> Sorry, I, right. sound, I sounded like Barry White then. <laughs> Bar or Barbara White, that's Barry's sister. <laughs> Like, that's very nice. <laughs> it will change throughout the course of today. Sorry about that. <laughs> Five o'clock is going to be interesting, isn't it? I'm going to be in my boots. <laughs> right, OK. So now those are red. And this is, this is the bit this, that, that makes everything pop. Yeah. OK. So that's like your final thing of lipstick. Oh, love look. it. Love it, love it, love it. It's absolutely good. It's like... It's, it's like when you watch things in slow motion and they mm. burst open, that's just what that is like. So right, lovely. okay, so on here now we have the darker of the leaves. Now, this is a whole stem. Now, if you can see, you've got that little shape there and that fits just on there. It's a bit lovely as well. All right. So let's. Oh, what greens we're going to pick? What green are we mm. going to pick? I'm going to go l uh, lime zest. Okay. Okay. And just so you know, if you're getting your prism inks, uh, the stamps, the um, not stamps at all. Sorry, the inks. I was right the first time around. And you're getting your prism book free of charge. Obviously, it literally leads you through this. I mean. Obviously, onto Pauline taking us through, but you can see on that, and actually, similar colours to be perfectly honest. Yeah. So it will take you through all of those. So you've got the rose, you've got the peony, and it will it literally step by step. And it does give you an um, an idea of colours to use. So if you want to go with that guide, first of all, you can, and then go rogue. Yeah. And do what you want. Let's say because on the back of the stamps, it it, it does give yeah. you um, some choices that you can pick from. Now we've got the one with all the definition on. So we pop that over there, pick that up, <laughs> and this time I'm going to go for lily pad. Oh. And we've got this one here. Uh, nice. You can never have too many green inks. No. Never. Okay. We've even got teal in this side. Oh, lovely. Okay. Right. Here we go. Look at this. Look at that. It's Isn't it stunning? Just Absolutely it stunning. That's cool. And then we can pop the sentiment on. Um, you've got your B. Yeah. As well on this one. So this one is to a special friend. Which is obviously you, Ruth. Oh, thank you, Auntie Pauline. And I, was, I mean, I was hoping you'd say that. But. This one, I'm going to put it over the stem. Mm. Okay? But I'm going to not use the ink pad. I'm going to go with good old black. Okay. Pick that up. Because I'm using over the green. Yeah. So you want something more striking? Yeah. Okay. Now... You can use these on watercolour card. Mm -hmm. And what you can also do is just spray. There we go. Aww. You just spray the when you've got the colour on. Yeah. Spray very lightly with water. Okay. But very lightly. Otherwise, the minute it touches the watercolour card, it's going to yeah, spread. So just a tiny, tiny bit. Like waft in the air. Okay. Pass the stamp through. Stamp it on watercolour card and it will just yeah. merge and blend oh. a little bit better. Very okay. like you spray now, the perfume. You see, as soon as I get the black ink out, I get a little mark on it. I've so and okay. up there, look. That's all right. Can't, can't that's character on for me. I mean, I'm, I'm stamping <laughs> is one of my favourite things, but I'm so <laughs> messy with it. But if I turn that and you look at that, that that's is spectacular. Stunning. Um, it really is. But if you did that, you could do the same effect that you did on the previous card. Yeah. Where you kind of put the put the put the sort of put the ink around it. Yeah, absolutely. That'd be a good one as well. I just think that is 
stunning. I love them. I love them. I love them. I love them. I, th yeah, they never get tired. They never get old. They're no. always going to be stamps that you will use. Yeah. Um, thank you for that. To a special friend. Back at you, Auntie Pauline. Uh, very special friend. Right. Okie dokie. So add those into your order. You've got all of those fantastic prism colours, which is fantastic. Then you've got for the layer of stamps, you've got those four individual stamps there as well as an amazing, amazing treat. So they're 24 99 <clears throat> excuse me you get all four of those and of course you've got sentiments you can mix and match you've got a little b you could mix and match got over 20 percent of the stock has gone if you want to buy them individually you can i mean that's working out about six pound what do we say six pound 20 i'm taking a i think it's about six pound 24 each there we go yeah 6.25 but you know what's a penny between friends and if you want them individually on the web, they're £7.50 each. So they should be £10 each. So you're still making a saving. If today you're thinking, I want all of those inks, I want the free book in there as well. And I'm going to take one of the layering stamps to start with, to have a play with. Maybe you're just, maybe you're just obsessed with peonies. Maybe you love a gerbera. I love gerberas. Um, and you want to just take that. That might be the way to go for £7.50. Obviously, your biggest savings are always going to be um, as a bundle. And likewise, with those prism inks loaded onto the web, we've got all of those five mini bundles. So you've got those in five different st uh, uh, sets. You've got number one is your pastel. Number two is your bright tones. Number three are your mid-tones. Set number four are your vintage shades. And set number five are your essential colours. So basically loads of different options. If there's any Velcro left, I'll be surprised. But if you have a little look on the web, there might be one, one metre of Velcro, uh, obviously to work with your inks, but such a fantastic selection of colours. You've got all your pinks, all your blues, all your yellows, all your purples and tones and variations of. And I have to say the Prism inks come with the most amazing colours. Electric blue, teal, uh, Parisian blue, royal blue, lily pad, muddy boots. That's a good one, isn't it? Gingerbread, perfect for Christmas mustard roasted pumpkin uh, letterbox red we've got your violets your orchids lovely lilacs they're all in there pear green's a beautiful one as well uh, yeah spearmint sh shamrock is there as well uh, your spearmint mm. college powder blues stormy night stormy night and concrete charcoal getting very uh, very seductive with those shades as well uh, they're beautiful oh and look we've got a uh, lily uh, yeah this is the lily done um, Doesn't that it, look gorgeous? Look at that. I, I just think it's... It's the stamens as well. It really is. Yeah, so you get several layers with the stamens. Just fabulous. Um, again, I think it's three. Yeah. So that you get that shading. Yeah. Um, and I just think it's beautiful. They're Shall gorgeous. we do... Do you want to just show your rose as well quickly? Oh, that's yes, the, my blue And you've rose. seen all four of them. So mix look, it Let's up. put it... A, look at the blue, and, blue on the blue. That looks spectacular. Really brings the petals, that fold of the petals, yeah. because you've got yeah. those additional layers. It gives it a 3D effect. I think that's Absolutely. what I'm trying to get at. Shall we really do stunning. what I was saying about the contemporary feel of a card using the ink pads? Go on then. Right, I've got a six inch square um, card here. I'm using my stamping platform, but not with the lid. I'm just using it to hold <laughs> my piece of card in place, mm -hmm. okay? Um, and I've taken spearmint, teal, lime zest and powder blue okay now as i said these are on a juicy juicy sponge and this is a time when you can press them down mm -hmm. because there's no, not a stamp in sight so trying to keep it square you can always do this on a piece of card and not direct Ooh. okay then let's go for lime zest I can see it was one of mine. It was yours. What was that? A bit of a hair. hair. I haven't been press that close to you today. But when me. you press <laughs> down, don't press too hard. Right. Okay. Then we'll come here. And are these water-based inks? They or are water okay. dye-based inks. Okay. Now I'm, I am rushing this a bit That's to right. get it done, but... Um, Look at this colours. So let's go with, with this one again now. So I'm just going to move that over and I'm going to come, let's come this side a little bit and go up. And you can do it, sort of grid it out mm. and do it, but it's just so lovely to play with. Retro. Let's have a lime one down here. Mm -hmm. That's the lime, isn't it? 
Really so we go over there. When they're not quite so juicy, you can overlap them. At yeah. the moment, they're that juicy that I don't want to contaminate them. I thought you said um, so juicy. <laughs> they're quite so juicy, these colours. <laughs> <coughs> New haircut. New haircut. So, oh, All going wow. up. <laughs> okay, let's do this one on there. <laughs> You can imagine what's going on in the gallery, can't you? <laughs> yeah. um, so you can see, so if we just make sure, Pauline, you've got clean hands. Let's take, because I'm, I'm, this is the bit where I get... Where you get a bit more. Yeah. Okay. So, hang on. Don't take that off yet. Don't take that off yet. You, you're being too... You're getting all ahead of yourself. I am, I am. Because then, if you look on here... Um, and I like this one because it's bigger. Mm. Okay. So now we can take our stamp. We can place it right across there. Yeah. Yeah. We can now use our lid, pick that up. And then I'm going to go black again because it really is... Um, more striking okay we can pop that on press that down and then take that off now these some of these are really juicy and they yeah. need to dry but i guess you could always get your water brushes out as well and you could really you blend can. those and there you have a more I like contemporary that. style card simple a bit retro yeah, does what it says on the tin. Absolutely. I Absolutely. like that. I like that. So a different way of using your, your, your ink pads. And of course, remember how much you're getting for 59.99, which is 29.99 on two split payments, 40 individual inks. Remember the book, if you are paying, and, it, and the RRP on that is £9.99. So if we take that off and say all of your 40 inks of £50, you're paying a pound and something per ink pad. I mean, literally... It's an incredible, so you've got your £50 for your inks, you've got 40 of them. It's an amazing deal, isn't it? 29 99 on split pay and so many amazing, amazing colours to work with on there. And obviously your book is going to be your guide that will take you through. So it's absolutely a fantastic deal. So you're paying less than £1.50 per ink pad and they go on and on and on and on and on. Even if you're using the way that Pauline did, you're not squishing all of the ink out of there. They're fantastic. You can see there's some lovely choices. Blueberry, lily pad, absolutely fantastic. Um, apparently every one of those uh, ink pads would make a great name for a club, apparently, said P uh, producer Andy. There you go. We're, we're, off to, uh, we're off to the Royal Blue tonight, Pauline. Ah, ah, there you go. We could be nipping down the shamrock. I mean, that sounds uh, yeah, amazing, Paul, yeah. doesn't it? I want to go mean, to the hot pink. Down the hot... <laughs> <laughs> you can have your royal blue i'll meet you, can you at have the that. Pink i'll later. see you down the roasted pumpkin at half past three <laughs> and <laughs> 59.99 uh, amazing price on those obviously you've got your layering stamps over 20 percent of those are sold we had a huge quantity they sold out of the weekend uh, but amazing and keep checking out on those but don't go too far because myself and pauline aren't going too far either we're going to do that literally a couple of steps pauline's going to take 10 i'm going to take two because my legs are longer and we're going to go to the other side <laughs> of the studio we've got the envelope collection which i've never seen from hobby maker i know you may have seen it at the weekend i've never seen it i'm very excited about this it's sold out at the weekend uh, so back in stock so don't go anywhere we're right back at the other side of this over there If you've recently missed your favourite show on Hobbymaker, it's really easy to catch up on our website. Simply visit hobbymaker.co.uk and click TV Guide. Here you'll be able to choose any show broadcast in the last seven days, which you can watch, pause and rewind at your convenience. And to make shopping even easier, any items featured in the show will appear underneath. With Hobbymaker's catch up, there's never a reason to miss out, no matter what time of day. to watch Hobbymaker. You can join us on Sky, Freeview, on our website or on YouTube. So you can watch at home or on the go. 
Here at Hobbymaker, we want your shopping experience to be as simple as possible. That's why you can buy as many items as you like all day and only pay one postage and packaging fee. It doesn't matter what weight, size or quantity of your order or how many times you check out that day, you still will only be charged one p and Shopping made simple with Hobbymaker. You know, we're really pleased we're getting more and more brand new suppliers here at Hobbymaker. We'll wait until you hear the latest. Cricket is joining us at Hobbymaker. And we've got exclusive deals just for us at Hobbymaker featuring the Joy and the Maker 3. And if the stock sells out, which it probably will, you won't see it again until next year. So make sure you join us this Thursday for the exclusive exciting launch of Cricket on Hobbymaker. Hobbymaker are live from 1pm to 6pm every day on Sky Channel 670, Freesat Channel 807 and Freeview Channel 73. You can also watch on YouTube via some smart TVs, your computer and phone. Our call centre is based in the UK and available 24-7. Just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk. My name is Anne-Marie and I am the Creative Manager at Hunky Dory Crafts. Hunky Dory are the UK's premier papercraft manufacturer and we design and manufacture all of our papercraft goodies back at home in Preston. We do lots of papercraft products as well as Moonstone dyes. We have our prism range of colouring mediums like watercolour pencils, alcohol markers, waterbrush pens and we also have our very own range of stamps called For the Love of Stamps. We're really looking forward to bringing you all of our brand new product launches as well as our inspirational demonstrations which we just know the audience love. Welcome back to Hobby Makeup, myself and of course the lovely Pauline Wheeler, back with you to take you through this hour with a new haircut looking fabulous. Uh, we are still friends, I'm just staying a little bit away. Yeah. Uh, we have now an incredible, incre um, uh, you know, uh, I, we have an incredible, incredible deal for you. I'm really excited about this because when we talk, when we talk about obviously crafting and paper crafting and making cards and all the rest of it, um, there's always or often one challenge, isn't there? What happens when you've made your card, you're ready to go and pop it in your envelope, where is your envelope? You've got to go and find an envelope or, or, or sort of rummage through what you've got and it can be an issue. No more. Because what you are about to see is an incredible, incredible um, machine, a gadget, if you like, a machine, a core product, uh, which is your tool that you're going to need to help you make your envelopes. It's going to solve all of that. So if you're making your cards to sell, you can make a bespoke envelope to go with it. When I say bespoke, Pauline is going to show you. Don't forget your bog standard white envelopes here. Think about envelopes that are with fabulous pattern paper. Think about parchment. Think about lined envelopes. Everything you wish to do with an envelope and more in this fabulous tool. Now, this sold out at the weekend. I was very envious because I should have been with you at the weekend. Uh, but this is genius. How did, how did this actually come, a, come about? Was it, was it because of that? Because there's so many people ask us how to make an envelope. Mm. Or, I, I don't want to make a standard size card. I want to make an envelope. How do you make an envelope? Um, and the thing is, you, you've got to have big enough paper. Now, you may look on the pack of papers that we've got and see that this isn't just any paper. This is 12 and a half inches square because a 12 inch won't do an eight by eight card uh, envelope. Okay. So we've had this specially made at 12 and a half. You can't buy 12 and a half yeah. inch. So if you want to make eight and a half, eight inch square envelopes, yeah. you need this size paper. Amazing. And the paper, you're going to get 48 sheets of paper in here as well, which is fabulous to really get you started to make and create your envelopes 
just like this. You've got some fantastic patterns in there, actually. There is some really, really nice patterns stars? in there. They're stars. They're beautiful. Yeah, yeah. There they are. Look, you've got stars. You've got hearts. You've got some... To make life easier for you, do you Go want on, to Paulie. look at mine? Oh, I'd love you. I'd love <laughs> thank you for sharing. <laughs> I've just opened, got it halfway so you can see. Just have a little bit of a, a flick. I'm not quite... I never know Take it out to if you want, Ruth. You know what? Yeah, yeah. Why not? Oh, it's, um, it's damaged fine. stock now. I have to take it home. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> have a little look at these. It's like a sunset, that one is actually, isn't it? Some beautiful, beautiful coloured paper. So you're getting all of these, those red, I don't know, like that. That will work if you've just done your peonies or your layering uh, yes. dies that we've just, yeah. uh, stamps that we've just seen, sorry. They look amazing. Then we've got your stars. Starry, But, but starry don't forget, it, this is paper that can be used in your it's crafting lovely. anyway. Great quality as well, isn't it? The paper yeah. you're getting here. Yeah. So what GSM? Yeah, I knew you were going to ask me oh, no, that when I put this away. It off. is. It says it on there, doesn't it? One hundred and twenty. There we go. One hundred and twenty GSM. Yeah, forty-eight sheets. It's love that. I love that one. <gasps> that kind of smoky grey with those beautiful pink hearts. It's the right. I mean, it's the right kind of quality. It's the right GSM. Mm. That's beautiful. There's loads of really. Oh, maybe I go goggles on there. I know. It, yeah. Can't read that, Pauline. Even with my readers on, it's got lovely <laughs> script on that that's kind of re oh it's beautiful actually it's a bit of a oh, do I do want to say flirty it's like a lilac gray isn't it it's really lovely but the pattern on that's beautiful um and then last but not least you've got some plain oh no you've not you've got some, you've very much not there we go you've got all those gorgeous ferns it's so a bit william morris that one isn't it it's very it's very William Morris looking, actually, mm. which ties in nicely to the next hour because that's actually going to work really well with yes. what was behind you with the stencils. Now, if you just want those, by the way, on their own, 48 sheets of those, uh, we can do that for you. Let me spoon that one around. There you go. So if you've already got the tool... See, you Hunky want... Dory don't like you to see white on the back. They always will turn. If, 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 if you've got yeah. that cardstock, the last one is always turned round. Oh, because it's in the pack. Because then you can see, yeah, we you don't do see white card, ah, you see a hunky-dory colour. All about quality, all about those little details, isn't it? Yeah. That's the thing. So you've got some fantastic different sort of patterns running all the way through on that. So if you do want to buy those, that's an amazing price, that is. £14.99, and they're slightly larger than 12 by 12. Uh, so 48 sheets, £14.99. So if you've already got your tool, or maybe you've got this as a whole collection, but you just want some more of those papers because you use them, you love them, uh, they're quite in demand, then that's another way of really stocking up on all of those. I really like that. It's a nice cross section of colours and uh, designs actually, but if you want the main collection, there we go, my lovely. You. If you want that collection, uh, you can do that as well. We're going to sit in in action. I'm just, can, can I show you those? Because look, there's some envelopes that have already, already been made here. This is wonderful. So using those papers, I mean, is that not the cutest? Li I mean, that, leave that needs a love note in there, it's doesn't beautiful. it? beautiful. Isn't that fabulous? So this is the kind of quality. Have a look at that one. It's the kind of quality of the envelopes and sizes. See, look at that. That looks beautiful. The finish of them is gorgeous. So lots of different variety of envelopes. You'll notice the finish in the centre there is different as well. And then you've got a really large envelope as well so that's the kind of stuff you can create i've got loads of people <clears throat> excuse me on my screen right now um get your papers get the tool you even get your little booklet there as well your mini project book uh, which is your envelope corner and notch punch it tells you uh, what to do basically with your tool we are going to bring to you the most phenomenal phenomenal price on this one today i tell you what dan get that clock out get it out on screen because we're going to do something absolutely fantastic here for you now you've seen the price of the papers go to the website you will see the price of the tool you'll see it all in there um, and also the price of the book put that all together individually and you'll think mm, okay that's great you might have a bit of an idea then uh, in terms of what we're about to say. Are you all right, Pauline? I, I'm just right. saying, I could That's do right. with a pencil. She could do the pencil. Put do the pencil. pencil. <laughs> I've, I've got everything but a pencil. Everything but a pencil. That's all right. We'll, we'll, we'll find you a pencil. <laughs> I tell you what, whilst Pauline's waiting for a pencil, literally just bring the, the details in there. Um, so that's just for the punch, if you want that on its own, because some people want different things. We like to just make sure everybody's got the chance. So that's 11 99 on its own. So if you add that with the papers, you'll be looking at around, around 25 pounds worth if you're just going for those two, but it's not just that, is it? Because, oh, nearly dropped it. You've got the book as well. Your mini booklet. Oh, we're out of time, 3 99 So if you want that one on its own, 
But I'm guessing if you want that, you need that and you need all of those fantastic papers. So should we do them all together as one amazing collection? This is going to blow your socks off, quite uh, frankly. 48 sheets of paper, your tool, your booklet, all coming in at one incredible deal for you today. Don't hang around on this. We've got lots of you there. We're going to bring your price point in for you. Um, and of course, on the telephone lines, 0800 001 4433. <laughs> 19.99 even our computer didn't want to do that 19.99 at a moment it's like took the graphics back so not doing that i mean it, um, it's <clears> phenomenal <throat> that when when we know how much the papers are uh, exactly it, it's ridiculous it's fantastic yeah. isn't it absolutely gorgeous sorry dan i couldn't hear you then my lovely um oh do you know i didn't even see it was behind there dan you see, you're not working with a professional today. I'm sorry. You're like, <laughs> Zena's back tomorrow. <laughs> Here we go. So let's have a little look. In, I could hear Dan asking. He wasn't demanding. He was asking something. I'm like, can't him. Uh, right. Here we go. So that's your tool, which Pauline will take us through in a minute. I don't press but, anything. But, quite it, well, you can because there's no paper in it. So it's fine. But you'll okay. see on it that one, one side says notch. Yeah, that's And the other notch. side says corner. corner. Okay. So basically the corner is a corner rounder. Okay. The notch is an inverted corner. Oh, cute. So it takes it out. Ah, should we see it in action? Okay. Should right. we see it? Because oh, we... we've got low. I mean, we've got, again, I'm not, sorry, envelopes. I've got more of a box a box, a box elope. Shall we elope? Let's box elope. Let's box elope together. Let's box elope. There's some fabulously funky envelopes going on. And then if you on, look at the bottom, the bottom one, it's a, a, an even deeper box elope. Oh, it is indeed. <laughs> there we go. There's so many innuendos going on right now that we can fall into, but we won't. It's only two o'clock. And um, let's have a little look. That looks lovely, doesn't it? Like the DL size it's as well. It's beautiful, <gasps> yeah. It is, as you said, very William Morris. Right, let's have a little look at this. OK. In action, well, of, of course you of can play gone. with this, uh, you know, and work out your own measurements, but Lovely. with the little book, it's got it all in there. Yeah, all the words. So why would you want to work it out? That yeah. one you've got on the top there, Ruth, that pink, that, look at that, that is a... Fantastic, isn't it? I can't even remember what it's called, but it's something... It's rather fabulous and fancy. It is, it is. Well, let's but, see it but in think action. Of, uh, think of wedding invitations. It's done um, it. Save the dates. Yeah, things totally. Like, where, where you've got um, the, route, the, the route to the reception and things. Yeah. You know, Brilliant. it's really, really good. Nearly a third of the stock's gone now. Wow. Literally a quarter of the stock went even, straight away. I know, we've Heather, not done anything yet. <laughs> Mary, Margaret, Janet, Viv, and other crafters have three. I think Sheila. they know that they you know can. How good it is. With, with the little, with the <clears> book <throat> as well. Yeah. That Show us around work. it, please, if you don't mind. Let's now, have a little look. Okay, now I've got my, my scoreboard here. I've got my pink one, but yeah. you know, with that they're exactly the same. This was just a limited edition, yeah. which might still be available, but it doesn't. It's no different to the purple one. Okay. It just happened to be in my bag. Now, with the book, okay, when we open it, it's just saying, just imagine to be able to make your own envelopes to fit whatever size of card you have made. And that is the point that you can do this, okay? And then we turn over and how to make a basic square envelope. So that is great because then that covers all your sizes, and it's in, in, in English. It's, it's in English <laughs> and in, in inches. inches. <laughs> right. You weren't wrong, See, It's working with Ruth. It rubs <laughs> off on my... Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> right, OK. So we're starting from a two and a half inch square right up to an eight by eight. And that is the finished size of the card. Right. It tells you that. Please note, the finished size on the chart is of the card, not the envelope. And any self-respecting... Um, crafter will know that you do need your envelope to be slightly bigger to get your that size of card yeah. in yeah which is why with the eight by eight you need a 12 and a half inch square okay? okay so starting size of the paper so for a two and a half inch square card you need a four and a quarter inch piece of paper we're going to make the 8 by 8 so I'll just show you how this paper is invaluable mm -hmm. for that. So here it says mark each side at. So for the 8 by 8, 6 and a quarter. Okay. Now the best thing to do, oh, so it's got it's telling you that, but then it goes on this side to the pictures. 
Brilliant. Words and pictures. Lovely. Okay. So, number one says, mark on the top and left side, make sure that the mark is long enough, at least three eighths of an inch, one centimeter, so that it shows when the punch is in position in step two. Okay. So, because you're going to put the punch over that mark, right. when it covers it up, you can't see it. Yeah. You don't know if it's in the right place. Okay. Okay. So, pencil at the ready. There's, there's the pencil. We need to mark the top and the left side at yep. six and a quarter. And sorry to interrupt, nearly half the stock's <laughs> gone now. We sold out of these at the we'll weekend, get a demo so it's going. Yeah, well, I keep interrupting you, so apologies, <laughs> but if you're on the web, you must check out on these. Right. So across the top, we go there's six, uh, there's half, so mm. the one in between is a quarter. So let's put a pencil mark. It can always be rubbed out if it's there. Mm -hmm. I don't have to move it because I can go down here to six and a quarter and I can put, uh, I can put, a, I'm, I'm, I'm stuck between um, paper pa packs and there. Okay, right, there so we've got that. So we've done that bit. I'm going to do it step by step yeah. so you can see. So we've got centre the notch and it says notch, okay. Notch side of the envelope punch over the mark, making sure that the paper is aligned with the back edge. That means because it, it straight can go in. So let's take this now. Let's push that further up. So we're going to take where the, the, that marking is. Yeah. We're going to put it central under the notch so I can see it where it's central there. And I'm going to push down. And it's not even hard to push down. No. There's my notch. Ah. So I'm going to turn it and I'm going to put it in again so that notch is running central. Excuse the top of my head why I just... And, and let me just show you. We barely you. saw it. You see this, this piece here? That is the back. So that has to go oh, right, right in to there. Oh, okay. With and you. when you've got that and you can see your pencil <clears> mark, I should have done them a little bit longer. There we go, right? That's really easy, isn't it? Okay, so next step. Okay, so we've got that. Make sure that it aligns with the back head, punch each side, which we have done. So what we need to do now is um, run your score tool down the centered line of the adorable scoreboard and position one notch at the end of this line <coughs> and the other at the top. But we, what we need to do is the other two. Okay, okay. so we've done that, we've done that. So we go to this one and we do six and it was six and a quarter, wasn't it? Yeah, so <clears throat> six and a quarter. Yes. If you remember, we're making a square. I'll do it a bit longer this time so you can see it. Hopefully, as well as me, mm -hmm. a bit longer. These are out flying out, by the way. Because we're making a square. Mm -hmm. So pop that in, align that in the centre, up to the edge, and push. Yep. yep. You can see that the pencil is running sure. centre to there. We pop that one in. It's much easier when you do a, a longer line. All the way back, as far as it will go, and it's there. It's so now it's telling board. us to use our board, OK? And it's got here, it's showing you... Run the score line along the centre line to make the first fold. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to take take this and you can use the zero on the six inch sign <clears throat> and bring it down. And then can you see here, mm -hmm. this is going to go on the straight, bring it round, move mm -hmm. it up if you need to. You see that line? That there straight, yeah, that there straight, and we're going to score. Now remember, this is paper, not cardstock. Yeah. So um, a couple of times lightly is better, and then we do the same again. So I put it in the groove, bring it down, put that on the straight, and bring that up to the straight, which is there. Yep. And then we bring that 
Sorry, we've got budget and scratch it just to the side of me moving things. <laughs> <laughs> and then Otherwise known as Jimmy and on Chesney. All four. <laughs> so we bring that down again, <laughs> lifting my paper so that I can, don't damage it and I get it right. That on there, bring that up to the north. You won't have studio lights shining on them. And then again, down to there, and we've got one more to go in the groove line it up onto there bring that up straight onto your center line there and score oh, so okay. i didn't see that at first so you put you, you with your tool, yeah you, you run your tool up to the zero run it down so you're in the groove and yes. then bring your paper in yeah right yeah. with you now because you, and you know you're there you know where you are up there yeah where are I thought you? You're just being here. very clever. It, oh, I am. And then I just saw you <laughs> squirrel that down. Get it all out the house. I'll do that. <laughs> Super. Yeah, so you're in there, and then you can, you can get in place. <laughs> Lovely. But now, oh, this is so. We're cute. just going to turn that in and lightly press. Always go from the middle outwards. Right. It gives you a much, much um, more professional fold. Mm -hmm. So just burnishing the line. And it's such a relief when you see that it's actually <laughs> coming together. That it works. But if it doesn't, it's a piece of paper. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, then, you know, use, don't waste it. Use the paper Absolutely. again. But you will get it quite easily. Yeah. There's nothing hard once you know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Right? Look at that. Now, this is where we turn it round and we've got the corner. Okay. So on one, okay, we just doesn't matter which one, just, oh, that's better. We'll have that one okay. there. So this one now, we put in where it says corner. Yep. And this will have a slide nibble. that in to as far as it will go, and it rounds it for you. Because nice. the point will always get jagged. Yeah. So if you're not sure that you've got it in far enough, <clears throat> you just try it again. But it, it, it is. It, it's there. Okay. So then what we've got, we want to attach this. So you can do it with glue. You can do it with um, uh, paste, you, um, d double sided tape, whatever you want. Yeah. I'm going to use my construction glue. Okay. Thanks. And what you need to do is you want to either put it on there or on here. You okay. don't need to do both. So let's just do... A red actually, line would I'm work gonna, as well, wouldn't it? Red line would work as well, yeah. yeah? So, but you don't need much. You no. really don't. Because this is paper. Yeah. Okay. It's not going to wrinkle it. It's not going to buckle it. Mm -hmm. You pop that down there. But look at even the edges, because where you did those notches, yeah. okay, it's going to work perfectly. Now, you say, okay, but what about when I put a card in it? Look at it, it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. When yeah. I put a card in it, um, how is it going to, how am I going to seal it? Yeah. Envelope glue. Okay. Now, envelope glue is a weird beast. Yeah. We are okay. out of stock of that, unfortunately, at the moment as well. Right. But you have to look out for it. Look out for it on. It might come okay. back onto our website. Shall someday. I just show you what yeah. you would do for because <clears throat> when it sure. comes back yeah, in? Yeah, then you can pounce on okay, it. Okay, you, you can grab it. So um, what you would do then is you would pop your your um, the hole in the top and then just spread some of the glue. Right? You don't need much. Mm -hmm. Just spread it there, spread it here, okay, then you leave it, uh -huh. okay, because you only wet it and activate it when you want to seal your envelope. Oh, cute. How long and does that take will... to dry? Pardon? How long does it take to dry? I can't remember. Okay, that's I all right. I can't remember. Nice and honest, but, leave it for a but while. But are you going to put your card in straight away? No. You make your envelope the day before. Yeah, exactly. Um, and there, and you've got... Clever, isn't it? There, a perfectly, you can see just... I never thought I'd get that excited about an envelope, but it looks, it looks And that is an 8 stunning. by 8 Very professional. It, look at your edges. Yeah, your edges. I've got a pencil mark on there. We would rub that off. That's all right. Um, but it, you've got your rounded corner, 
is that, I mean, it's just Great. lovely. But if you wanted to make a pattern on a piece of paper, yeah. just keep putting it on the notch and you can take a, a scallop take out. A little you chunk. know, you take up these little, little hillocks. They look like... <laughs> like little what? Hillocks. Hillocks. Small hills. Oh, I've never... Is that a real word? <laughs> yes. Is it? I've never heard of it. A hillock. There we go. Um, <laughs> I love this paper, this newsprint. Oh, it's gorgeous. And then also in the And remember, board, you get the papers as well. It tells you how to make a lining. Now, we've got the... This is oh, from the monochrome. Nice. But if I was to put that as a lining, you know, how much more expensive gorgeous. does that yeah. look? And this is the, the monochrome. These are beautiful. Uh, monochrome, monochromatic, chromatic, yep. parchment. Yeah, we can do that now. So actually. everything fits in in there. I can't put it in this one because I put the glue on. That's all right. All Don't right? worry. But that gives you an idea of working exactly. that one with that. And over three quarters of the stock of the Premier Craft Tool Envelope Making Collection gone. And remember, that's your tool, it's your booklet, and you're getting 48 sheets of the most beautiful paper in there as well. I think it's an amazing deal for 19. Laura Mystic, she had to pop out. Uh, so I tell you what, Laura Lou, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna show you them very, very quickly before we move on, because they are fantastic. So you're getting 48 sheets. I'll show you this site. So that's the one that, that Pauline's uh, just worked with. Reminds me of old fashioned newspaper, if you like. They used to yeah. get your chips wrapped up but in. nothing to stop you stamping <laughs> on that as well. Exactly, it's, it's not, not coated. coated paper. It's lovely, so it's 120 uh, GSM. I thought there was going to be an eight there, sorry. I wasn't just holding on to the note. And 20. Uh, then, we, in fact, let's do it like this, shall we? Come on, Rufus. So that was the, uh, the first one. Then we've got those beautiful blooms, which are absolutely gorgeous. Now, this is very interesting, because this is very William Morris-esque which will tie in very nicely to our next hour. Uh, so if you love the look of that, you're absolutely going to love the next hour as well. Then we have this, be I see, I love that, this kind of gorgeous sort of clouds of colour that you're seeing, which is fantastic, like a cloudy sunrise. It's like we've oh, um, sorry. inked it. Yes, absolutely, yeah. Then you've got your stars. Look at those, they're so gorgeous. Beautiful, aren't they? Gorgeous little gold stars. Then we're going back to our sunrise. Let's flip through. That's one of my favourites. I love the grey. Grey on pink is, oh, pink on grey, I should say. The little pink hearts in there. The little blue dots. Gorgeous. Uh, then we've got more sunrise. Oh, the sunrise is dotted throughout. I think I'm there, actually, on those. We saw the blooms. That's OK. Yeah. Oh, there we go. That one there as well. There's, I mean, beautiful, beautiful pattern. So 48. Yeah, quite a distressed look. Absolutely, Dan. I'm getting a bit distressed with all of these because I was in the wrong order. So you get 48 sheets for 19 99 Not just those 48 sheets. You also get the tool. Now, the tool, as you've just seen there, uh, creates your envelope corners and the notches in there. So perfect for your bespoke envelopes of any size and that will cut up to 250 gsm card stock amazing and that's for you know you, you buy tools for life really don't you not just for christmas then you've got your craft tool book to go with that as well so that's your mini project book all of this for 90.99 and not 90 19.99 is incredible obviously grab your scoreboard as well um and you'll see these envelopes come to life. You'll never be buying them again. You'll never accidentally be grabbing two when you're buying. You don't buy cards anymore. But look at that. You see, look in there. Look at that. So you can see that's what Pauline was talking about. You create your envelope and then you put your liner in as well. So you've got some fabric. It might be the same paper, actually, that you use. It might be different. It might be and then you vellum or parchment. Ruth, where it tells you if you have our colour twist which has a pattern on one side and a colour on the oh, other. Oh, lovely. You can make your envelopes with that. and You could do some little envelopes with the duo pads, couldn't you? That yes. would work nicely. We may, we may have the we duo have pads the duo coming pads. up at five. There's always a link with me, Pauline, isn't there? <laughs> Always a link. So there you go. It can take you through how to make really beautiful decorative envelopes. I mean, look at that. Goodness gracious, and isn't that lovely? If you, like you said, if you're doing an invitation, or maybe you've got, uh, um, you're announcing the birth, of, or, or you're announcing a new baby's on en yeah. route. Yeah. Lovely little envelope to share that with. All gifts as well, popping gifts in there, creating some box envelopes. A couple of examples as I, as we saw earlier on. I can show you in here, and we've got some wonderful parchment to share with you in a second as well. I mean, look at these. How lovely is that? Totally different again with that envelope. That's fabulous. Then we've got those beautiful, that kind of William Morris uh, sort of esque 
print. Beautiful. I said, look out for if you love that. You're going to love some of the stuff you're going to see in the next hour. Stars. Gorgeous, gorgeous little stars. I love that. Party invites, anything like that. Then we've got a box, a little box envelope. You can see it's got quite a fabulous depth to it. There you go. If you want one a little bit thinner, you can do that. So literally the world's your lobster on those. You can create so, so, so much. For 19.99, it's amazing. Pauline, yeah. I have to say, we're getting loads of messages about these. We're getting a lot of messages about your lovely hairdo as well really? today. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's thumbs up for Pauline's lovely do. Uh, and Worcestershire said, hi both, I didn't recognise Auntie Pauline with a new hairstyle. Paul, Auntie Very Pauline glam. didn't recognise Auntie Pauline with her hair. Really She's good. fabulous, isn't she? That's on Tina <laughs> Remember, it will never look like this again. <laughs> <laughs> Not when I've got my hands on it. But you, I kind of think it, once, once you kind of once it beds in and you get to do your own yeah. stuff, it kind of feels more like your hair. I, then, I didn't doesn't it? ask for this. Well, I, 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 it I, looks very I lovely. have a daughter who just they sit there and. Oh, is your daughter yeah. a hairdresser? But I, yeah, yeah. Ah, see, my mum. She is qualified. <laughs> oh bless. <laughs> but um, yeah, I decided it it to <clears> go. <throat> you know, oh, when you have I that like moment. It. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, it's got to go. She said, what do you up. want? I said, don't know. I said, but it's got to go. There you go. So it went. Yeah. So it, um, went. it went. Right, should we do some, do some parchment? Uh, right, let's do the monochrome, which I've got oh, all mixed up. Colours. Now, talk to us about parchment, Pauline. Okay, parchment. What is parchment? Well, it, w you often hear talk about vellum. Yeah. Parchment is a stronger, more, um, better quality than vellum. Okay. So if so you're doing your you, parch parchment craft, then? yeah, you, you've got more chance of going through your paper on okay. vellum than you have with parchment. Right. Um, and Hunky Dory do a beautiful array of colours. Yeah. And um, this set, I think, is really stunning because it's very classy. It really is. Very and you're going to get and very unusual. So you imagine doing your white work on this darker grey, mm. on the, um, the 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 sandy colour, the neutrals. Yeah, it, it it is beautiful. They are gorgeous. I'm trying to fan them out for you and doing an appallingly <laughs> bad job. There you go. Uh, just so you can and don't see. forget you can stamp on and you can heat emboss. You can stamp on Which as long as you can dry the ink on it because <laughs> it's not very porous. This. Um, so you have okay. to, you know, a lot of inks won't dry. Yeah. Um, prism inks won't dry, but as if they're really juicy, like new ones, mm -hmm. you can put powder on top and you can heat emboss. Exactly. It. Just keep away, for, just hold your heat gun further away. Okay. Because otherwise it doesn't like too much heat. No, no. Yeah. Uh, and you get three of each colour, so you're getting three of eight different designs, so 24 sheets in total uh, so you're looking at 112 gsm on your parchment but it's a really nice selection of kind of greys and nudes those monochronic uh, monocrannies i don't Mono know what they are <laughs> the monochromic mon i can't even say it are we all right we're all right i think it's falling <laughs> falling down around my ears that wasn't that I wasn't, wasn't jimmy i have to say it. neither <laughs> was i can i just say for the record because i know straight away we're like <laughs> i'm firmly on my chair i've not fallen off it and um, so that's your monochrome just um, think as well when you go with the colour choices, yeah. rip and tear and layer nice. over each other and you'll get that beautiful soft effect. Yeah, it's always lovely when you do that with parchment. Uh, we, we will come and help in a second. We're not just going to, you know, there's a noise at the other side of the studio and we're just carrying on. Um, <laughs> right, your parchment essentials. Uh, so that was your monochrome. Now we're going in for your festive selection. Look at those colours. I mean, Are we calling it festive? Because well, you've got red and green, red and green. In there, but you've got purples, you've got a beautiful blue, mm. um, a lovely orange, orange gorgeous. like a pumpkin, pumpkin colour. Yeah. And black. Yeah. Absolutely or, or lovely black to have the black. Inches. And of course, don't forget the back of your parchment, which I'll show to you in a yeah. second. The back it's of the totally parchment. Totally usable yeah. if, you, if you like that, that effect. It's um, a more opaque. Yeah. Um, finish, whereas the front has a sheen. Sheen. So it's, it's a very satisfying word. Purple that, isn't is it, lovely. Sheen. There we go. Oh, I'll do that so you don't see me chin. Uh, you've got <laughs> all of the <laughs> less of my face that close up. Uh, but some beauty. I mean, that blue is wonderful as well, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. How lovely Look are they? That. <gasps> wonderful. Lots. Of, I mean, you can see that sheen there as well. Yeah. They are gorgeous, aren't they? Now they're all uh, they're all guessing in the gallery how many sheens they can uh, come up with now. Like Martin Sheen, what have you got? Martin Sheen, Mr Sheen, <laughs> Charlie Sheen, Michael Sheen. Any more? 
Chesney, you must know. I want to say two. Sean the Sheen. <laughs> Sean the Sheen. We'll let you have that, Paulie. We'll let you have anything. It's your show. Uh, but you can see down on the back, that's a kind of muted affair, which is still lovely. It's still lovely, yeah. Yeah, really nice. So that again, oh, okay. 9 to 9. Yeah, yeah. It's like a kind of frosted version, isn't it, if you want to take. Uh, so, uh, we've got two white ones. A uh, one's Yeah, patterned. one's patterned, ah. like uh, pretty patterned. Now, the, in the pretty Ooh, patterns, should it pattern, then? there is like, think um, Morocco. Oh, yes, very Moroccan. And again, if you're into your parching, that always sounds funny. If you're into parching, <laughs> parching, you I'm can parched. get your, your, your foam mat, your ball tool, and you can actually bring that print out. Really like, look at those. They're like tiles, aren't they? they those are, ones. They're stunning. Moroccan tiles. My daughter's got some wallpaper like Ooh. that in her downstairs toilet. Cloakroom, I was going to say. Oh, uh, but I've, yeah, I've got no airs and graces, Pauline. <laughs> <laughs> in the loo downstairs. There you go. Look at that one. Bit, again, you could do some wonderful kind of yeah, almost yeah. travel or sting you punk could or even something with that. A, a little die or a punch and yeah. cut those out. Totally. And we've got these beautiful Love kind that. of stripes. Yeah. These are look, I'm getting these in a proper old jingle, I am. Then you've got your tartan. There we go. So you've got a lovely Very tartan nice. effect on that one. And, and remember, whatever colours you put behind it. Shall I give you a little bit of cardstock? Thank you. So you can and can you, you could colour on that as play. well, couldn't you? I mean, that's got some wonderful colours. Okay, so look at that with the blue behind it. When I'm feeling blue. Oh, thank you. That shows it even better. Yeah. Even better. Oh, we've got a bit of lace as well. Yeah, lose my, how lose, about, oh, lose my head. with lace? Oh, yeah. Oh, Ooh. it's a bit naughty. Ooh. There we go. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Isn't that lovely? That. Valentine's. Mm. That's, I mean, the detail now, all you need the is, is a, a torn, I want to say a ripped strip, a torn strip. Yep. Let's not put the airs and graces on, Pauline. A torn strip. <laughs> a torn strip. Of that. It, it looks stunning. Gorgeous. And we've got, I'm going to grab, look at this one as well. So if you had a brown card, can I borrow the green, actually? You can borrow a green. A Let's do the green on that. Oh. There we go. I mean, you could do, if you did brown, it looked brown, like floorboards. Brown, it would. Yeah. Rather nice. And I've still got more. I've got florals as well. Mm. I need pink, really, for florals, don't I? Just having a little, little one. I've got, got a about... pale blue. Oh, I've got a pink envelope. Oh, you've got pink. I mean, I'm just thinking about pattern. I mean, pattern paper would be a bit crazy behind it, but... Or is that a bit intense? Is that showing that up? Not very well. Try a, try a, try a pale you might, blue. You might know the one I pick up doesn't work. <laughs> No. No. You want to go, let's go red again. But maybe that just works on its own. Oh, red works. There, there you are. go. Well, there you go. Just have a little thing. Oh, actually, bring out, there's probably little poppies on there. The poppies that are popping. So we guess that's, again, £9.99 to grab your pretty patterned, printed, printed, go printed on, parchment. Yeah. Pretty, pretty patterned, printed, <laughs> printed twice parchment. Parchment. Oh, I can't say it. Um, there we go. I'm all right. And um, there we go. Uh, wonderful. So keep checking out on all of that. Uh, but I've now got a bit of a stock update. I need a woo woo woo. Um, go on, Callum. Woo woo. It's actually called you Callum then. Woo. Oh, I'm going to. See, he didn't know who he was didn't then know, when you called him name. Callum. No. To be honest, I'd forgotten his name. Uh, <laughs> uh, right, 19. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't, I don't know why I called you Chesney. I know, but now, I when I can't think name. of Chesney, I'll call him Chester. Chester. <laughs> I know who you are, Dan. Did I forget once? Oh, that's... Yeah, but... No, but there's, you, you, you're not the only Dan. There was... You're the only Dan now, director. Oh, well, I don't know. <laughs> could be anybody. Could be anybody in there, quite frankly. I just forget. I'd never forget you, Chesney, Roger, Julian. Um, right, so this is... <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is your entire collection. So you're going to get the tool set. I remember faces, just not so good with names. Then you also get the craft tool mini booklet. That takes you through on your journey in terms of how you use it. And I'll show you these in detail in a tick. Then you get all... Oh, that's not See what I mean it, about it, the... Yeah. See, it's because I turned it round, isn't so, it? I, I, I messed that one up. Then you get... Don't want to see the white truth. Then you get 48 sheets. I just need... I need another set of arms. Uh, 48 sheets of paper. 48 sheets of individual, beautiful, beautiful papers. You've got some lovely patterns in there. You've got your gorgeous blooms. You've got a fantastic, fantastic uh, sort of script in there. 
that's a lovely kind of sunburst. I've totally mixed these up, but we're, we're getting the idea, aren't we? We're getting the drill. And of course, then, you know, we just remind everyone that these are 12 and a half square. Yeah, so larger. You, you, if you wanted to do eight by eight envelopes, you would have to... Now, I don't know anywhere else that sells 12 and a half inch square paper. Mm, no, um, it's 12 you, by 12. You, you, if you, uh, you, if you wanted to do the cardstock, we do have our lovely A3. Yes, we do. Adorable score award. Coming up at five o'clock. Yes. yes. So, you know, we, we have lovely sets of that now. So yeah. there We've got you the go. A3 ivory yeah. coming up at five yeah. o'clock. Very exciting. And of course, of course, your tool, with your tool, as Pauline showed to you, uh, you've got one side says notch, which takes the notch uh in in the in the sort of center of your paper in order for you to fold in the flaps then you get the corner to take that little corner piece out there and then very easy to do we're going to show it you that is, on its, its own not, it's not a hot it's, it's not hard hard to do. To press it's, down. it's harder in mid-air because it's it not would designed be hard, to work it's like harder, that I, I, I will be quite honest it's harder on adorable scoreable mm. but it's very doable really yeah pop it down off your top and of course you get your booklet as well and the booklet and it's fabulous. It talks you through so many different projects. It gives you all of your dimension in there as well in terms of what you're going to get. Finish size, the size of your paper. And you can see all the way through. I mean, you're going to be obsessed with it. As obsessed with this as you are today with Pauline's hair. <laughs> Honestly, message after message. Keep them coming. It's good for, it's good oh, for the bless. soul, Thank isn't it? Thank you. I, I hope they're um, all nice ones. They're all nice ones. <laughs> all nice ones. Yvonne said, good afternoon, Ruth and Auntie Pauline. And he just put the TV on. I didn't recognise Auntie Pauline. Wow, what a difference a haircut makes. Looking great. Do you know, not that it, you, you didn't look great before, obviously. Um, and I love the fact that everybody calls you Auntie Pauline. I, I love it, love it, love it. She doesn't, I mean, <laughs> maybe we'll have to change the terminology now. Do you know something? Well, I don't know. Something, I don't know. <laughs> Don't know, glamorous and I don't know. No, hang on, Ruth. Younger sister is pushing it. Younger so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My younger sister. Uh, so you're going to get all of those. It's a wonder she ever wants to work with me again. I do play her. Luckily, I love her. Luckily, love her I love her. Hence the name, Auntie Pauline. <laughs> <laughs> Can we just sort of mention in here as well in the book that if you have a look here, don't forget, if you've got a nice oh. little corner die, what about... Um, yeah. die cutting your flap <laughs> because it looks very effective and then if you take the parchment you can put the parchment behind especially if you're especially if you're using it as um, a, la <laughs> a layer inside you can then use that and you'll see it through and it's also will go down into the, um, the the card as well. Right, yes, always, you see? Very good idea. It's just a very just good idea. In the book, everything in the book. All that. Um, yeah, uh, and then you've got um, different ideas of, of how to use everything. Um, and again, here, you see, I don't even pick that, look at that. That is um, made out of parchment. That looks beautiful. But then heat embossed and... And a name put on, and that Stunning. that is so so classy. It really is. Um, then to Laura, Laura, one for up. one for our Laura. Yeah. Hello, Laura. Right. Um, and again, it's it, it's got the project of showing you how to do it. The one that Ruth had with it that opens up, you've got that the there. Pink one, yeah. The uh, pink one, wasn't it? Da -da -da. Um, here it is, buried in here. So we we've go. got we've got that in as well. Um, I'll, 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 we'll make um, a parchment envelope so you can see. So um, and then you see what they've done here is they've made a little pocket envelope yeah. to put in that, but they've concertinaed a piece on oh, there as well. So again, what about Christmas? Yeah, if you want to do gift cards as well. If you well, want to put a gift card, I mean, I've had to buy two um, uh, actual gift uh, card mm -hmm. for, for two grandsons. Yeah. Um, and again, I want something. It feel special. I just don't, don't want to put it in a white no. envelope and no. hand it over. And again, different on that. That one's got more of a, a sort of squared flap. You yeah. don't necessarily need the, the decorated yeah. one. Now, this Buttons one here, there. this is lovely I because like instead of sealing your envelope up, especially in parchment, have a card or something yeah. that you can attach in to the open envelope and then just perhaps put a tiny little fastener or yeah. using our punch tool, mm -hmm. 
you could punch two holes, thread some ribbon through, Perfect. and you could um, attach it that way. Yeah. So, so that's a, another so great idea. So these are all options. projects. There we go. That's There's the one. The one. Oh, doesn't that yeah. Look lovely? And I think as a, as a as a wedding invite, a save the day. I think that is is lovely. It really is. So it's not um, going to break the bank. No. But I think it will make your projects and your envelopes much much more. Um, Expensive. Versatile and uh, yeah. Versatile and yeah. expensive, eh? Yeah, you? yeah. Um, Absolutely. You see the pocket that mm -hmm. where you go, see, you cut one off. Right. So that you've got that pocket but no top on it, and that way you attach mm -hmm. then the card. So it, everything Thanks really, ideas. really works exceedingly well. This, oh, what about the kind of notice board here? Oh, wow. Yeah, that's um, a great idea. So you make box envelopes. Lovely. Or, or as we know them, box a loop. Yeah, we can box a loop together. We can box a loop. Yeah. And then, you know, you just... And it, it, it's that's a nice, so I mean, lovely. that's a nice Christmas gift yeah. as well, isn't it? Yeah. To take you into the it's new year. It's a bit like an advent. Really lovely. Yeah, it's that fabulous. One as well. Get all organised. Yeah. Um, okay. So we've, we've made a square envelope. Yeah. So let's go into... See, there is light, line of... Uh, now, she's Laura wants a round now, envelope. Now, Laura. She wants me to what make a round on the what she was put on the planet for. I it? don't, yeah. I think I'd be worth a lot of money if I could come up with a <laughs> round, round envelope. So this one, making liners, obviously the parchment is yeah. perfect for that. Or, as you said, the duo paper mm -hmm. works lovely. Like and you box. do it, you cut it, you could just cut you the width of it. Say the envelope we did was eight inches. You cut it eight in, inches wide. You, you do your two markings mm -hmm. across the top as you would before yeah and then you cut the just that one section and then pop it in cut it a little bit shorter and you can move it down yeah. so that you can get a white edge of your envelope for your sticky and little touches like that if you are making and selling they put on a lot of money onto your onto your card you're making a card you're giving um the opportunity to have it with not just a plain white envelope which you know nothing wrong with that you can decorate it stamp it do what you want but if you've yep. got an envelope that perhaps is of the same uh, tone or the same even the same kind of paper that you've used maybe within the card and it's lined you're adding on pennies adding on pennies even if you're not selling them you're buying to give just opening up a bit because let's let's face it when you when you receive a card you don't see the card first of all you see the envelope you open it up don't you and you see what's going on in there first of all it, it elevates what, what what you're giving straight yeah. away now an a4 is eight and a quarter wide mm -hmm. so i want to cut um i want to cut the size of the paper to eight and a quarter wide right. just making sure that you're still starting with the the right size because mm -hmm. when you're doing a square mm -hmm. envelope, you know it's going to be a square. But with a rectangle, we still want the square. Yeah. Okay. And we so can... this one we're doing is an A6. Okay. Sorry. So right? you your trim is on the screen as well. Oh, yeah. Because we need that, don't we? It's we got need the, that. The, it's got the, the extending yeah. arm as well. Yeah, yeah. And it comes with two blades. That's not a blade and a scorer. It's a spare blade. Brilliant. Okay. So, right. So we've got... A piece of parchment. This one's out of the pastel. Mm -hmm. This is this colour green Love here. That. We'll bring those on. Which is you. like, um, what, what do you call it? Um, spearminty, minty. Spearminty green. That's the one I'm it's looking at. So A6 card, finished size. Start size of paper, eight and a quarter. Mark each side at four and three quarters. Okay. So again, you can see on the notches here. So we're going to do all the sides. And I did say... What did I say? Four and three quarters. Mm -hmm. So I'm still on the inches side. I've still got my pencil. Four and three quarters. And we'll make sure we come down a little bit there. And four and three quarters. We'll come across there. Okay? Yeah. And then we're going to turn it round. And we're going to do exactly the same again. Four and three quarters. And four and three quarters. Now, I love that, that I can just keep it where it is and just mark that. Right, so then I'm going to take that away because I don't want to press that onto the board. Although we do have the scoreboard, we found it. Yep. And you get the free handbook and you're saving a fiver. So, so is, that, is that for the pink one or the purple one? 
purple one. It's the purple, yeah. Just checking, yeah. yeah, it's the purple yeah. one. But just so you can add that on. So you save five pounds and you get the book for free. So under Excellent. 30 pounds on that, which is great. Right, I'm butted up to the edge mm -hmm. and I'm on the notch side. Okay. And you can see, and it's lovely. Lovely. And then we go round again. My line is in the centre yeah. of the notch gap, pushed in, and we're going <clears> on all four sides. There we go. In the centre. And one more. Because you think, when you do, you think, well, it's got to be at the same point. But it isn't. You see, it isn't. It's oh, got no, it's to be not. there. All right. So then we come in again with our tool and it says to uh, score. Of course, we don't have to look for a measurement. I look for the line. I'm looking for the next <laughs> instruction. How many times do you have to do this? Right. So there, you see, that's lined up. And let's go up to the top. We get that lined on our naught. That is lined. And we go gently, bently, all the way down. Okay? Same again. Bring it down. Line that up onto the line. There we go. And that one there has got to come round to there. And when I know that is on that straight line, just give yourself a minute. It, yeah, you know, do it, do it right. Do it yeah. once, do it right. And you can go a bit gent more gently with parts. You, you can, through, yeah, can you? yeah. Yeah, it, we, this is very good quality, but it does have its limitations. Mm. There we go. And on that one, and it runs, you see whether the line is straight. And one more on there. You can, if you so want it, get a permanent marker and run it people down do that, that line. I think Anne Marie would like shout at me. She doesn't like it. It's like. But if it's yours at home. Yeah. Yeah, but which you don't see at home. Exactly. Or we don't it, see it. Don't her. tell her. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So now you can see. When I fold this in, and you can see the line, you can feel it, you can give it a little tweak and then go out from the edge. And those notches, look, lines up beautifully. Yeah. Okay, so again, onto the line. And I'm just being that bit more gentle. Now, before you put this together, why not run it through an embossing folder? Oh, nice. How classy That's would that really be? Nice idea. And then I've overshot that one just a fraction. Okay. I, I know I've done it. So I'm telling you I've done it. So you can be aware of that. Okay. And there we go. So now one end comes over, one end goes under, and we get our corner rounder. So we bring the tool back in, so we turn it round to the corner rounder, we pop that in as far as it will go uh, till the edges meet up nicely. Yep. We take that edge off. Okay, it's so subtle, but it just take. I'm pulling, get that in. I'm trying to hold that and balance that. There we go. Don't do and that. And then it's, no, oh no, no, I've had my Christmas nails done. Exactly. Nice and sparkly. <laughs> So there, again, we Great, will add our adhesive. Now, what you can do, you see here, mm -hmm. we, you've got this bit. So, why not, all right, just, I don't know we didn't do this, a pencil mark would be better. See where it meets there yeah. and there, okay? Bring your scoreboard back in. It doesn't matter what line, as long as that mark and that mark are on a straight line. Yep. Keep getting my tool under there. Look. That's all right. There we go. Put it back on. So a straight line. Let's 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 do it so we know what we're doing. Straight line on there. Bring that to there. Lost my pencil marking. And there. And we'll just score that. Yep. 
Mm. Just, this is what we say about professionalism. You can then off there. So now you've got a nice that can actually okay, it can tuck in or I would seal it down or cut yeah. it off. So you've got a squared That's lovely. Off. And it looks so much better than that point there. You don't want yeah. it. So either mark it, cut it off, or just you know pop it round. Yeah, You've got that done. But that embossed would look Perfect. amazing. Really lovely. It's a, it's a great idea, isn't it? And all of that, ideas like that, are all within that booklet. And so much more you can, you know, it, it tells you how to add an address label, stamping your envelopes, adding some sparkle onto your envelopes, it, decorating the, 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 the sort of the envelope, making your box, um, make your box envelopes, your, your line is all in there, of course, and you're getting the tools for the job. Uh, but I will say I over a hundred of these have gone now. There is so many yeah, there's loads up on that board. Yeah. But I will say, if they're in your basket, please check yours out. I know Joanne's joined us in Kent, Leslie and Lanarkshire, Barbara, Archie, hello Archie, uh, Margaret, Susan, um, June and Holly, uh, Julie in Leicestershire, hello Julie. People that have checked out so far, Hilary, Sandra, Pam, Rachel, Jackie Sheila. Wants to. Yeah, I don't blame you, P probably gifting them. Yes. Pro I think we've got some new crafters joining us as well. We've got 11 new crafters. Wow. Big warm welcome, thank you. A great place to start potentially as well for you, which is wonderful. And of course, it's not just the tool and the booklet, uh, the booklet, teeth, a uh, booklet. <laughs> it's not just the booklet. You are getting 48 sheets of pepper uh, in so there today, as well. We've, we've gone from Birmingham to Liverpool to. To, to wherever you want yeah. to place that accent. You can place it in Paris, hopefully, but not sure. Uh, but 19.99 with, of course, those 48 sheets of Pepe, uh, which are in there. I sound like, Inspe is it Inspector Pepe. Clouseau or? Uh, no, Pepe Le Pew. Are you, yeah. Well, him as well. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, but absolutely fantastic, gorgeous. Let's just load in the papers on their own because lots of you are buying extras yeah. of those. They are wonderful, absolutely. But you've got a lovely choice of paper, uh, yeah. a lovely choice of design. So you've got masculine, feminine, and everything in between. You absolutely have. And you can see some of them here that have been uh, sort of I mean, transformed into some a, of those a, envelopes. A youngster, a teenager, that would love that. I mean, that goes, that pop a little gift card in yes. there. Just zhuzhes things up a little bit. So that's your grey uh, with your picture. Pop your hobby maker gift card in there, don't forget. Uh, then, sorry, I threw that a little bit. Then you've got your uh, your paper that's got all that so wonderful the same kind of one. script. So you've got there the... There you go. Uh, sorry, I scratched that. And you've got Did the you? Yeah, I'm sorry. How rude. <laughs> Ruth, Ruth, Ruth. <laughs> Strikes again. <laughs> She'll be slapping my wrists oh, in the break. <laughs> uh, oh, bless you. I missed you too. Uh, then, of course, you've got that lovely kind of um, sunburst, if you like. Almost looks like yeah. watercolour. Then you can see on that one again, you've got the script in there. Those beautiful roses, those beautiful kind of blooms and blossoms. And I mean, and lovely. I love that one. A bit grungy, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. And that's not the half of it, of course. You've got those wonderful yeah. ferns. Who are you saying that? Get your inks on these. Absolutely. Yeah, because they, they'll take it. They're not mm. coated. No, no. So you can absolutely do that. So it's just that one, I think, that we've missed out, uh, which are those lovely ferns, which, as I said, if you love this print, these beautiful ferns, you are going to love, love, love the stencils you're that'll about to see in the next hour. The rain's wall over Wouldn't there. it? I can't wait to see this. I'm so excited about this next hour. Never worked with the Lorraine before. She never worked with me. I don't come, probably never will want to again after this hour. Uh, <laughs> she'll be running for the hills. Uh, but very exciting. Uh, so keep checking out of those. So if you do want just the extra set of the papers, remember you're getting. 48 sheets. I've gone down an octave, haven't I? 48 <laughs> sheets of all of those, uh, which I know lots of you are adding, adding more and more and more of those in. They are, at, and the stars, I forgot the stars. There you go. We've got to have the stars in our eyes, haven't we, yeah. always? They are phenomenally beautiful. So 19.99, add some more of those to your order. 12 and a half beautiful. inch square. Which you don't really get, you normally get perhaps you your 12 get, by 12 you pad, yeah. but not that with a little bit of extra. It's, Perfect it, for In all envelope. my years, I've never known a 12 and a half inch. Of which there's only been a few, obviously. Just a few uh, years. Yeah, in, oh, in, in, the, in all those 15 years. There you go, see, <laughs> from the professionals, from the professional herself. And don't forget, obviously, your scoreboard is there if you want to add that. You are still getting uh, the book that goes with that. There we go. Oh, got so much stuff on here. So add your scoreboard in. You're still getting your adorable, scorable crafting handbook. Loads and loads on there. Oh, did you say 20 seconds, Dan? 19. Oh. Sorry, I couldn't hear you there, darling. Uh, right, don't go anywhere. Pulling you back at five o'clock, aren't I you? I am. 
We've yep. got duo pads. We've got so much more in the five o'clock. Thank you so much. Always been Fabulous. a pleasure. Fabulous. Really. Always a pleasure. Go and have a nice cup of tea and a croissant. Uh, stay with us, though, because we are back at the other side of this. We've got some phenomenal deals. Lorraine is poised and ready to take you through, so don't go anywhere. This is going to be one of the most exciting hours. You are going to be able to transform your home, literally transform your home, whether it's the papers you're working on, whether it's the wall behind you, all coming up at the other side of this. If you've recently missed your favourite show on Hobbymaker, it's really easy to catch up on our website. Simply visit hobbymaker.co.uk and click TV Guide. Here you'll be able to choose any show broadcast in the last seven days, which you can watch, pause and rewind at your convenience. And to make shopping even easier, any items featured in the show will appear underneath. With Hobbymaker's Catch Up, there's never a reason to miss out, no matter what time of day. easier to watch Hobbymaker. You can join us on Sky, Freeview, on our website or on YouTube. So you can watch at home or on the go. Here at Hobbymaker we want your shopping experience to be as simple as possible. That's why you can buy as many items as you like all day and only pay one postage and packaging fee. It doesn't matter what weight, size or quantity of your order or how many times you check out that day you still will only be charged one p and p shopping made simple with hobby maker here at hobby maker we love seeing what you've been making, and it's our job to keep you inspired. So how does a £100 credit to your Hobbymaker account sound? Every month, we're going to be giving away a £100 credit to one lucky Hobbymaker's account. And all you have to do to enter is simply send a photo of your crafty makes to studio at hobbymaker.co.uk. We will be picking one winner each month at random, and we'll announce the lucky winner on air in the 5pm show on the last Saturday of every month. So what are you waiting for? Get crafting, get motivated, and get inspired with Hobbymaker. You know, we're really pleased we're getting more and more brand new suppliers here at Hobbymaker. We'll wait until you hear the latest. Cricket is joining us at Hobbymaker. And we've got exclusive deals just for us at Hobbymaker, featuring the Joy and the Maker 3. And if the stock sells out, which it probably will, you won't see it again until next year. So make sure you join us this Thursday for the exclusive exciting launch of Cricket on Hobbymaker. Hobbymaker are live from 1pm to 6pm every day on Sky Channel 670, Freesat Channel 807 and Freeview Channel 73. You can also watch on YouTube via some smart TVs, your computer and phone. Our call centre is based in the UK and available 24-7. Just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk. My name is Anne-Marie and I am the Creative Manager at Hunky Dory Crafts. Hunky Dory are the UK's premier papercraft manufacturer and we design and manufacture all of our papercraft goodies back at home in Preston. We do lots of papercraft products as well as Moonstone dyes. We have our prism range of colouring mediums like watercolour pencils, alcohol markers, water brush pens and we also have our very own range of stamps called For the Love of Stamps. We're really looking forward to bringing you all of our brand new product launches as well as our inspirational demonstrations which we just know the audience love.
Hello, welcome back to the show. Welcome back to Hobby Maker. My name's Ruth. Oh my gosh, I am so ridiculously excited about this hour. Um, I was just talking to Lorraine, who I'll introduce you to in a second, uh, because I saw something on uh, on the Instagram page uh, for Stencil Up a while ago and liked it and had a comment. Do you remember? I was like, oh my gosh, I couldn't help myself. Literally, I saw this and saw a video actually that was linked to it and I was just like, oh my gosh, I need this in my life. Uh, so without further ado, Lorraine, thank Hello. you very much for joining us on the show. It's lovely to meet you. And to meet you too. And we have not worked together. I know. They've kept us apart yeah. so far. You'll find out why <laughs> by the end of the hour. Uh, you're with us this morning, weren't you? Yes, the with early the one, yes. Early. Are you doing all right? Yeah, yeah, just about. Yeah. Just about hanging in <laughs> I've there. I've woken up now. <laughs> God bless you. Uh, well, fantastic show this morning. And we are going to introduce to you some fantastic, fantastic sensors. Uh, so stencil up. We are going to start with something that I, I know you've been crying out for. You've seen, but you haven't had the chance to grab hold of. But you are today. That is all about to change. Um, but stencil up, the, the stencils that people are going to be able to get their, their hands on today, this isn't just for perhaps doing little stencils on cards, is it? These, this is about thinking about the broader picture in terms of home decor in, in quite a big yeah. way, isn't it? Yeah, so um, the large ones we're talking about walls instead of wallpaper. Yeah. Uh, you're going onto the walls. Yeah. You can use them on fabrics. So we've got some fabric medium, so I can show you how you can mix emulsion paint. Fantastic. Turn it into a fabric paint. Okay. And that way you can coordinate. So you can have the emulsion that you've painted your walls. You can yeah. then do some cushions or table oh, runners nice. in the same colour because you're just mixing it with fabric medium. Um, <coughs> you're looking at lampshades you can do because they're adhesive. Yeah. They can curve round so and stick down. All of the stencils are adhesive? They're all adhesive, yes. Right, so I've got to worry about... That pulling off any yeah, washi tape or lining exactly. anything. Exactly, don't have to line up. All the little bits of the stencil are yeah. going to be held in place so it's going to minimise bleeding and just Fantastic. make it a really, really easy job. And even with that adhesive, so if, you, if I've, I've done it, I mean, you can see behind Lorraine right now, you're going to be able to create that. It looks so expensive. I think that's the thing. The detail yeah. and the, yeah. the quality of these stencils mean that your work looks so incredible as an end result. So if, if you're popping your stencils on there and obviously you're going to move that off to do the next one, you're not, you're not, you haven't got to worry about losing that sticky or about losing that, that adhesive. You're going to be able to take it off, put and it on another it. place on the wall. Yeah. Yeah. Keep going, keep going, keep going. But they are washable. So if you find, oh. if you're doing a big job and you mm -hmm. find it's not so sticky, it's because it's picked up a bit of dirt from the wall. Yeah on the back so you wash them in warm soapy water right Once dry they become sticky again that's amazing that's a little bit of magic i like that uh, right okay we're going to start then and bring the graphics in for the first one that's not your price but i think for anybody that's uh, maybe very familiar with a lot of uh, perhaps british artists uh, you know william morris is a name uh, that, that stands out william morris to me I, I think are very beautiful incredible designs and i think about probably you know, you're gonna have to pay for those you know if you're talking about designer brands they're not necessarily yeah. very cheap uh we're gonna make these so affordable and this is what i think you've done so well at stencil up you've you've made these really affordable and you are literally going to be able to transform your form at your home whether you're concentrating on perhaps you've got a, a plain wall or a feature wall that you want to absolutely pop and as Lorraine was saying bringing lampshades to coordinate if you're thinking about cushions even a notebook on the side you're literally going to have such an amazing chance to do this we're kicking off with the William Morris mirrored fern leaves set now we'll, we'll talk you through these and how these work so they're 54 pounds 99 they are also on split pay which we love uh, so that's 27 pound 49 today at the end of the day when your order's consolidated and the same price this time next month so talk us through this as a set i'll move my mug out the way there um, but I'll just in, say, in terms of the collection, not when you're Morris. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not going to let him take credit for these oh, designs. Oh, okay. They're mine. Are they? <laughs> we have got some William Morris pardon. later. Right. Okay. Uh, <laughs> do beg your pardon because it's come up on there. So oh, we'll, it's come up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's it's okay. Morris, doesn't it? Yeah. No, he had nothing okay. to do with these. <laughs> nothing to do with this. So naughty graphics. We'll get that changed for the next show. Sorry about that. <laughs> so uh, in which case, tell us more about these then. So these are these are your designs. Yes. Um, I just had this idea to have this really dramatic feature yeah. wall like a mural effect mm. um, with these lovely delicate leaves and it is the best selling stencil that I have I'm not surprised. and people are always asking for it with the adhesive backing yeah now the one drawback to having an adhesive backing is that you can't reverse the stencil of course so you might want to twist it to get that lovely movement you're going to want to move the leaves around so it's yeah. the other way 
So today, for the first time only, I'm offering them as a mirrored set for the same price as a single set. Oh, wow. And for the same price as non-adhesive. So you're essentially getting an entire set? An entire set for free. Free of charge. Yes. Yeah. Wow, that's I, I, I did, I did double check that. I at all. <laughs> that's massive. And we've already done it at half price, and you're getting a set basically free of charge. You're getting that kind of mirror image. That's amazing. And these, as you can see, are not small stencils either. And that's the thing, isn't it? If you are wanting to cover a larger area, if you're thinking of a what I'm thinking of duvets as well. I'm thinking of oh, plain yes. duvet yeah. sets. Yeah absolutely fantastic that's the smallest by the way and you can see there with my hand they are not they are not small so it's at a3 all. in size okay so you go a3 then next size up is is that a yeah that's a2 a2 okay definitely. so just to give you a bit of i mean you can see i'm not i'm not small but these are huge so again you are getting i'm showing them to you Am I showing the adhesive side? I think I am. Is the shiny side? The shiny side is the, is the front. The, the matte side is the adhesive side. There we go. Oh, yeah, you can see that on there, actually, because you've got the, the little bit. There we go. So that's your matching set of A2. A2. There we go. And then we're going up, finally, A1. A1. My gosh, these are huge. Right, now look at this. So if you've got a wall and you want to do a fantastic big feature, I mean, even just one of those on your wall... I just and, and again, I'm showing them to you like that. Don't think like that. Think about how leaves move. Think about how Mother Nature works. You can place them at whatever angle you choose. And again, don't forget today for the first time ever. I'm just going to cover me up. There we go for the first time. Everyone's like, oh, it's the best vision of you we've ever had, Ruth. Could you stay like that? And um, literally first time ever. Hello. You are going to get the matching set. So you're getting an entire set free of charge. And they're at half price. That's an incredible, incredible set of stencils. And actually to think about using, as you have done behind, using all of these together, because you don't have to have them, I suppose, all kind of fighting for the, for, for the fall, uh, foreground. You can have more sort of shadows or, I guess, Just different colours. in one colours. corner, growing out. They're amazing. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. And of course, think about matching in your home. Um, if you wanted to do this on cushions, if you wanted to do this on fabrics, um, Lorraine's going to talk to us all about that as we go with these. Uh, because they are incredibly popular, this particular design. Yeah. Not William Morris's, I'm just going to repeat. <laughs> but not let me have the cred for that. Uh, these are Lorraine's. These are st from Stencil Up, of course. And they are just I, I, amazing. You can see how effective they are uh, behind right now. You would think that is very expensive wallpaper. Yeah. Almost like a, you know, you get the expensive wallpaper. It's not actually in paper. It's kind of material. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Fab like in a stately home, something grand. Yes, yeah. it has that hand painted, hand printed feel expensive about it. Feel. If you use um, a, a sort of expensive paints mm. that's got a really good pigment in it, a small test pot is going to do about three or four meters of wall. Oh wow! So it's really, really inexpensive to do. And you you can really see the detail in those ferns as well. Obviously, because they are adhesive sticking to the wall again you haven't got to mess around trying to sort of stick those on there but because it is all adhesive you, you're not worrying about as you said any bleed or anything yeah, happening it holds every part of the stencil in place i love them absolutely and of course you could you could just take one sort of little little, little sort of part of that if you've got a smaller area i'm thinking of even a notebook or something like that you could still take one tiny little yeah, absolutely. stem is that the right word stem branch leaf it's not even a leaf well you could do just a leaf i suppose if you wanted one little section um but they are absolutely fantastic and on split pay today 27 pounds and 49 pence is unbelievable if it's in your basket get them checked out and i know loads of you have been asking for these should we should we should we have a little look at these because we've got videos obviously we've got lorraine with us uh, but we've got some fantastic videos to show you on this one as well and you're on social media as well aren't yes, you people can yeah. follow you on there yeah instagram facebook pinterest all that and yeah. just stencil up yes um instagram that. stencil underscore up there we go yeah. make sure you get the right one so talk us through this lorraine so this is the, the one of the um uh, stencils in action isn't it yes so this is the biggest the wall? uh it's just an emulsion just wall. wall just plain wall Bam. <laughs> um yeah so that's the biggest stencil the a1 and yeah. i'm using a gloss varnish there which i'll demo in a sec okay um it's quite an interest to have the matte paint <laughs> and then use a gloss varnish on top you get that very subtle effect and we've nice. got it in the one behind you can where it's very subtle yeah that's that lovely is the gloss is. varnish so that's a technique i've used there and as you can see i'm just twisting and, and turning it to get the the design mm. on there i always think it's good to start with the biggest one first yeah just make a statement yeah just one or two 
and then work your way down and use the smaller ones to sort of fill in. Sure. And take a step back from your work as well. Don't do it all yeah. in one go. It's good to sort of take, take an hour's break, go with it with fresh eyes, we'll get someone yeah. else to look at it, and then you'll see areas where you might want to add a little touch more. Okay. So don't go too crazy to begin with. Right. This is more. Which is hard, I yeah. guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> want to get going. But you can see that, I mean, that looks, that looks absolutely phenomenal on its own. It's just, yeah, it's beautiful. So use a lighter shade for the medium stencil. Uh, and then I guess you can gradually come, come forward with your colours as you get yes. a little bit smaller on the stencil. Yeah, so with this one, I've used the background colour, that green, and added a touch of white just to make it slightly lighter. Mm. Um, and the, the final one, I've used some gilding wow. wax for that. Or you can use some gold emulsion yeah. paint there's some really really good really nice. out there at the moment and is that just like a little is that like a little stipple uh, that's a stencil brush a stencil flat brush. bristled stencil brush okay that looks amazing doesn't it so one feature there in 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 sort of at the bottom sort of of your wall you don't need to do the whole thing as you said that's you right. can just make, make yeah. a little feature corner so i'm just oh look at that or you can go that's all amazing. over you know Wow. That's or over a headboard. Useful. I know Zena was talking about that, having over a headboard would look really amazing. Oh, wow. Yeah, Absolutely. Just, just sort of the three of them, really. So They are. Yeah, they're they're gorgeous. So, and would you say this is an easy technique for anybody to do? Yes, it is. Yeah. yeah it really is. Just I can't wallpaper, but I can stencil. It's... Yeah. That's the thing. It takes the fuss out of even trying to do wallpapering. Yeah. Pasting and wallpaper. Mm. It's something I haven't tried. I'll give most things a go, but I, I think I might leave that. This looks a so much easier and actually so much more fun. Yeah. I think you really can put your own your own sort of personality mm. in and stamp on that, regardless of what base colour wall you've got. Um, I've got a few walls I need to paint, so this might be a, might be coming home. Uh, but an amazing, amazing price point on that one. Uh, so let's have a little look at it in in action if okay. we can. So I'm going to start with the largest stencil. Okay. As you can see, you just you peel off the backing. Yes. You, you can't keep the backing, you just discard that. Okay. So when you've finished, if you've got something like greaseproof paper, you can put the stencil on that just to keep it clean on yep. the back. So as you can see, all parts of the stencil are down. It's firmly in place. I can walk away. It's not going to go Fabulous. anywhere. So I'm first going to use that gloss varnish that I talked about. This is a water-based gloss varnish you can get in any DIY store. Okay. And I'm using a foam roller which is sometimes called a gloss roller. Again, you can buy them in any DIY store. Mm -hmm. Loading it up with the varnish. This is the important part and the step that some people skip. You then remove most of the paint or the varnish. Okay. You don't want to be putting it on too wet. Right. And you need to take off more than you actually think. Okay. So as you can see, I am taking off quite mm. a lot. And then you simply roll. And I go quite gently to begin with, just to make sure that I'm pushing all parts of the stencil down. And then you can gradually build up. And it looks like I'm not putting anything on there I don't, at all. it really does. <laughs> sort of <laughs> invisible paint that's going on. Yeah. I will say on a lighter background, you can actually see where you have been. On the sure. darker ones, you just have to work from the top down mm -hmm. and be sure that you've covered everywhere. Yeah. I've got all of that. So you see how quick it is. Mm. Oh, wow. And you peel off. I don't know if the cameras pick up on yeah, that. <laughs> Excuse me. That's Very gorgeous. Soft. If I just give it a little bit of a, there you go. Got my hand behind that. Give it a little bit of a, a waft. You can see it. There we go. Isn't that gorgeous? See, just that on its own. Yeah, you could if leave you really it like want that a subtle to. effect. Yeah. Can. So that's your first layer, if you like, or your first stencil. There you go. You can see all of that. It's really beautiful. And if you do want to be a little bit subtle about it, that's perhaps just a, a great way of kind of doing it. But I'm sure you want to do plenty yeah. more. But again, you can do that. Live with it for a day or so. Yeah. And then feel, do I need a bit more? Or, yeah. Or do I like it how it is? You'll probably go back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and how long do you normally sort of need to leave that so it's, so it's dry? You can go straight away. Oh, really? Provided you've taken off enough paint. Right. It's a sort of dry roller technique. Okay. So the Fantastic. idea is you can then go with the next Brilliant. stencil. If you're doing a big wall, mm. every now and again, check the back of the stencil. Just give it a little wipe with okay. a damp cloth just to make sure there's no paint on it. Super. Lovely. So straight back in. So again, you can just turn them upside down any side you want. Pop it into place. 
<laughs> use a lighter colour now. I've got mm -hmm. a blue. I've just got random colours that I brought with me, so. Yeah. And this particular paint again that you're using the coloured paint, just a normal? Normal emulsion. These are tester pots. Oh, I love this. So you can pick up a tester pot for about three pound, three pound fifty. Yeah. And that will do an entire wall. So this is a really great idea, I have to say, because if you if you're trying colours for a wall, I know when we were trying to find the 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 the, the, the feature wall colour for our lounge, we got through about I don't know twenty odd testers, all of the same colour but different shades. Yeah. And at the end of it, you go, what what do I do with all of these? Yeah, I'm left with a load of tests. Actually, that would have been I might go back to that wall with all the different testers now and start to add in. Well, if they're similar sauce. shades, if, yeah, you know they're all blues that you've tried. They could look really well. Yeah. You know really effective together yeah exactly or you could have the fabric medium that we've got on the show this is true with your tester pots yeah and make your own fabric paint oh, great idea really really great idea it's so satisfying as well i mean this is something you could do with kids as well isn't it i presume oh, yeah. as long as you kind of yeah you if you hand them the roller then you've already taken the paint off yeah I think younger kids will probably just go and slap the paint on without probably <laughs> doing that. Step. Yeah, but yeah, <laughs> monish that bit. <laughs> but once you've done that, you really can't go wrong. No. And it's nice because unlike painting painting a whole wall where you've got it, that takes a bit of time. Look at that! It's just it's beautiful and it's instant. Okay. How fab is that? Imagine trying to get somebody in a decor a painter or decorator to do feature walls like that with detail like that. Yeah. I, I mean, I wouldn't know who to ask for a start off. No. I wouldn't. There and you don't some, need to. Yeah, there are some specialist mm. pencil painters out there. Yeah. Not many. So now I've got the small one and I'm going to use a metallic paint. Oh, lovely. It's this one. I love the metallic paint. Yeah, I do. Just small amounts. I wouldn't. Little touches. You, you could use it on the big one, but I think yeah. it work really well on the smaller ones. Yes. Yeah. Gold. So this is a gold water based emulsion. Again, you can just pick it up at the DIY store. Yeah. And there's so many beautiful paints now, so many different effects. You've mm. got suede effects, concrete effects. Yeah. There's just so much choice now. You get sparkles as well. You can get like handfuls of glitter and things, yes. can't you? You can get glittery paint. Yeah, so you can stencil with that as well. You can add you can add the glitter to your paint and I love have that. glittery designs. I did I have just about convinced my husband I want to paint one of my walls pink in the bedroom and I did actually say I was gonna throw a handful of glitter in. And he he didn't respond, so I'd say that was a, that was a go. <laughs> And actually, the metallic golds you're working with that stencil on the greens, the darker colours that are so on trend now, these work really well with those colours, don't they? Yeah, they do. That is really beautiful. You can always tell when something really exciting is going on in the studio because we're all very quiet. <laughs> it's not very often, Lorraine. Right? <laughs> okay. Wow. There we go. See what it it, it looks beautiful against the larger stencil that you did yes, with that side yeah. sort of the, the clear mm -hmm. is that gorgeous i mean that metallic looks beautiful the metallic always almost makes those those, those ferns pop even more you yes, kind of almost does. see even more detail yeah. in them don't you yeah. is that lovely and you're going to be able to do this with the collection with the set that's on the screen right now 54 pounds 99 on split paper 27 pounds 49 don't forget you're not just getting three obviously you've got the three different sizes there, but you are getting the mirror image of that as well. So if you want that fern, the smaller fern to go the other way, you can't do it obviously because they're adhesive. Well, you can actually today. So for the first time and only time, you are going to be able to get both because you get the mirror image. So you've got the smaller, the, I can't even call them small. So that was the, it wasn't the A4, was it? It was A3. the A3, sorry. I'm not very good on my sizes. So you've got A3, A2, A2 medium, and then and the A1. A1. Large. There we go. Uh, so the large, but they are absolutely fantastic, aren't they? Beautiful. And if you have used any of Lorraine's stencils, any of these from the collection, do messages in, send us in your work. Quickly skip into the lounge, skip into the bedroom, wherever it is right now, uh, and get. The, I mean, I'm thinking about. I mean, a lot of my friends have got like a really fabulous, dramatic downstairs toilet at the moment. I've got some friends that have the most amazing downstairs loos, and I'm like, I, I need to do something quite fabulous in there. Oh, that would look great. I'm thinking yeah. this might be the way forward, because I've looked at wallpapers, mm -hmm. oh, expensive. I'm like, I, I'm not doing that for the loo, right? yeah. do you know what I mean? And actually cutting round things, yeah. these would look fantastic. But also stencils work really well in bathrooms and kitchens where you can't really wallpaper, yeah. you know, anywhere that, where there's going to be moisture. Oh, of course. Great you idea. Really, um, use wallpaper because so stencils are fine. You just so you paint. could use like a bathroom paint or a wallpaper, uh, yeah. a kitchen paint. Yeah, 
Absolutely. Great. I might imagine those on cupboards as well, on cupboard doors. Yeah. They look fantastic. Yeah. Wonderful. I know people have done these on their sheds and things as well, or in your, in your you know, your, your gin cave down at the bottom of the garden. Um, they're absolutely beautiful. Uh, £27 and 49 pence. And if you look after these stencils, these will last you a long time, won't oh, yes. they? Yeah, they will. Um, so the larger ones, I tend to run a shallow bath with some hot water and some yeah. soap in it. Leave them for about half an hour and then the paint will just wipe off nicely. Amazing. And they get the sticky back. Yeah. It's magic, Dan. It's magic. D Director Dan's like, will they get the sticky back? Uh, right. We're going to go in for, uh, we're going in for the retro. So this is the retro, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Is that the right one? Yes. Yeah. Thank you, Lorraine. Um, uh, these are fantastic. I, as soon as I saw these a little bit earlier on this morning, I'm like, oh, these are, I say that, they're right up my street. I, there's nothing I don't like, actually. Uh, so I'll show these to you because you've got a couple of different sets of these ones. So that's your, that's your stencil. So I'm sh I'll show you them individually and then I'll show you them actually because you've got them actually marked out on, on some cards so you can see them. It's probably easier if I do it like that. There we go. First of all, sorry, I did it that way a little bit. Then if we spin it round, da -da, I mean, that's, I mean, you, I'd want to do a whole wall yeah, with that. And that's are, the repeating pattern. As, yeah, literally. Yeah. So just, so these are designed to carry on mm -hmm. that repetition, which yeah. we'll have a little look at in a second. So that's your first one. Right, I'm going to get these in at his ones, aren't I? Second one, we have this, which is really lovely as well. Great nose colours. I like that with the uh, the kind of, although the pink and the blacks are rather nice as well. A little yeah. bit obsessed with, with pink. Uh, so that's your second stencil. And these are all coming as a part of the um, the retro set. So you're getting six in total. I better speed up a little bit. These are lovely. Almost like kind of retro uh, tulips. Yes. Uh, I'll call that one tulpen, which I believe is Dutch for tulips. Oh, well, there you go. You see, I didn't read that. <laughs> it's a good job you're here. And you can see, I mean, even against, I love it against the craft paper. Because you yeah. can do this, obviously, wrapping paper. Yes, yeah. Make your own make wrapping your own paper. Boxes or wrapping paper, yeah. Yeah, really, really gorgeous. So there we go, that's your tulip. Next up, we've got crescents. It does help if you actually read the front of that, Ruth. There we go, so there's your crescents. These remind me of... Um, like kind of fabulous 70s um, lampshades, lampshades or lanterns. Yes, yeah. That looks fantastic, doesn't it? So there we go, so that's your crescents. Then we have, uh, there we go. So this is your chains, chain, chain, chain. That's lovely as well, isn't it? And you can see how that chain design, we did that, we can do it either way, obviously. Yeah. Uh, you've got that continuation, you've got that repetition, which is fabulous. And last but not least, I love this. This reminds me of a certain designer, uh, Floral Lattice. I'll let you uh, decide uh, who this is, who I'm referring to. I love that. Absolutely, look, that's kind of really retro, isn't it? Beautiful. I wasn't too sure about the design when I was oh, working I love on this. it until I put it onto the paper. Yeah. I thought, yeah, I do like it. And you've done, you've done actually, and of course, you don't have to do the same colour or sort of the scent of those little flowers that you've got. You've got the darker sort of blues, you've got more of the purpley blues. They're really, yeah, love it, love it, love it, love it. So you're getting a set um, of um, six stencils there. So this is retro set number two, but you've got six individual stencils. Plenty to play with actually on that one, which is fantastic. We are going to give you an even better deal, an even fabuluser, um, oh, a fabuluser, is that even a word? No, a more fabulous price point on those. Remember you are getting six of these stencils, which you are gonna use, use and reuse. I mean, that's crazy. That works out at five pounds, 83 pence for each of those stencils. That's an incredible, incredible deal, isn't it? And of course, don't think of that as one stencil because depending on what colours you use, it's a different stencil. Depending on where you're putting it, it's a different stencil. Depending on your background, your material, is it fabric, is it paper, is it card, is it the wall? Depending on what you're doing. I guess if you've got the right paints, you could do this on any kind of medium. You could do it on, onto plastics, onto glass. I suppose yeah, it depends what you use. Yeah, choosing the correct paint. So the stencil will work on any surface. Yeah. It's making sure you use the correct paint. So if you're going to go outside and do sort of your patio, you need to use something like a masonry paint Ooh, nice. on your walls. Or if you're going onto your, your fence, you're going to yeah. use some sort of outdoor paint. Yeah. Yeah, so it's just choosing the correct product. They're fabulous, aren't they? So £34.99 for six 
individual stencils there. Um, they're fab. Should we see these ones? Uh, and actually, sorry, before we, we, we see these in action, they are also available individually on the website. So if there's one of those that you go, oh, Ruth, I love that one. That's the one I need. Um, they are all there individually on the web. That, of course, as a big bundle, is your best value at £34.99. You can add it to your one set of postage and packaging at £3.95. And don't wait. Obviously, we're going to see these in action now. Don't wait to see them in action check out on them make sure you check out on them straight away because if you're sitting watching loving and enjoying and you go oh i'm going to check out on these right now we're limited stock on all of them you might go to check out of your basket if it's in your basket on the web doesn't mean it's yours and then you go oh it's gone because somebody's nipped in and whipped it i don't want that to happen for you because these are too fabulous to uh, to miss out on these um so let's have a little look at this one okay so this one is optic love it so i've shown you how to use the roller Yes, ball. you can still use a roller on here, but another way of applying it is with a stencil brush. So we'll use that this time. So I'm using quite a large one here. Mm -hmm. And you just need to look online for a flat bristled stencil brush. OK. And are they relatively inexpensive, the brushes? They are. Something like this you can pick up for about eight pounds. Oh, crikey. And the small okay. ones go down to about two pounds. Oh, wow. So they're quite inexpensive yeah. then. But the same idea as with the roller mm -hmm. and paper is to remove most of the paint. Yeah. Because although the adhesive does help with bleeding because you've got every part of it mm -hmm. down, but it is still important to take off the excess paint and it also then allows you to move the stencil on to create that repeating pattern. Right. So some people like to stipple, which is this stabbing mm -hmm. technique. But you can also swirl on like that yeah and this works quite well if you're going to start blending in some colors mm -hmm. I personally feel that the swirling works better yeah I prefer the finish and if you want to do different colors onto that which you're probably about to move on to um do you can you cover up areas of the stencil or could you just you paint can. over I just paint over um the beauty of stenciling is not perfect yeah it's not like a printed piece. Mm. You do have variations in the tone. You have variations where you've put more paint on or where colours have merged together. And I yeah. think that is the beauty, beauty of it. Yeah. It's sort of perfectly imperfect. Yeah, totally. And that's what makes it unique as well. So these points here are the registration points. Right. So I won't put the second colour on this time. I'll show you how it moves first and then I will show you how to add an extra okay. colour. So I've gone over a little bit there. So this one lines up, that centre point there. Ah, oh, right. Lines up. Clever. And then you carry on and you're going to have a seamless pattern. <coughs> Keep going until you've covered all the area that you want to cover. And if you're going onto some furniture and you're wanting to put a light colour on a dark background, you can leave the stencil in place and give it a quick blast with a hairdryer and then add another colour, add the same colour on top. Right. That will give you. You can put it a little bit there to sort of mask off so you don't go over the mm -hmm. edges too much. That's just because I'm a bit messy, really. <laughs> but it's as easy as that. Yeah. So I've lined up the pattern. Before I take it off, I'm just going to add a little bit more colour. Mm -hmm. So for these small details, I'm using Inca Gold. Um, wax and a little makeup brush ah. is quite good because then you can just paint the little details on. I think the sample sheet over there is a similar one where I've put a bit of a yes. red. Yeah, so that's been the darker colour than then the, that red again that you've used. I mean, just wonderful for even if you were just to do a, a section like that, you could you could frame these you could do them on notebooks yes, pads yeah. all sorts you could do yeah make some small wall art with it mm. yeah it's so effective and the mid-century is really coming back in it's getting quite popular yeah again. yeah but also we're kind of looking for all of those um kind of hobbies or you know even if you're doing this sort of as a you know, as a business that are you know these all of these all of this sorry I forget my words out they're all it's all quite mindful isn't it sort of oh, taking yeah, your time yeah. having fun nothing too stressful yeah, yeah and it's that reveal where you peel it off that's Lovely. always very very satisfying yeah and you don't have to wait ages it's not like a project that you know you're going to have to spend days and weeks on until you finally actually start to see it 
come to fruition. You're seeing this sort of happening pretty instantly. And we've all got that bit of furniture that's looking a bit tired, mm. you know, throwing out. Before you throw it out, have a go with, yeah, you know, upcycling, upcycling. it. Yeah. I mean, I have some amazing customers who are professional upcyclers mm -hmm. that produce the most amazing work. Yeah. Um, so you can get inspiration online. There's loads of people doing fabulous stuff, but mm. it's just as easy to do it yourself. Exactly. Home, so if somebody was furniture. buying these stencils to do upcycling or anything like that, that, that's fine in terms of sort of angel policy or anything, as long yes. as they're not just selling the stencil. That, that's absolutely fine. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. So there Perfect. we go. We just line up and continue. Perfect. It's brilliant, isn't it? Really, really loving. You're getting six of those stencils for £34.99. Think of all about, you know, the little pots of paint potentially uh, you have at home. Well, those little tester pots, me thinking, oh, yeah, I could do a little bit of this and I could transform a little bit of that. Think as small or as large a project as you possibly dare. Maybe you've got little notebooks that you want to change. Even I'm thinking about old picture frames. You always end up with old picture frames that have had a bit of a knock or a chip around the edge. You're like, mm, getting rid of that. And there's nothing wrong with it. Upcycle it. Have a little look. You could do some wonderful sort of patterns on things like that. Maybe you're thinking about mirrors or, as Lorraine was saying, as long as you've got the right materials mm -hmm. for the right project, for the right medium, whether it's wood or glass or paper, card, walls, whatever it might be, even your duvet. Um, for for £34.99 for these set, uh, for this set, the, all of these six, I think is absolutely phenomenal. So that is if you've got a bit of retro going on, you want to add that little touch of retro into your life or maybe if you're thinking of gifting uh, a particular present use that for your wrapping paper I've, I've got like a huge roll of the brown wrapping paper because I love it mm. uh, the craft paper it's brilliant actually from my uh, my, my brother-in-law uh, he knew somebody in decorating trade and they buy a massive big rolls so I've just got one of those at home I'm just thinking right now just really kind of completely change yeah, exactly. the look of that yeah. it's fantastic matching gift cards matching cards everything uh, right we've got another set of stencils that we want to share with you these are really really pretty as well oh my word so i'm guessing we've got more of a floral so these are arts and crafts inspired stencils um this one is from love that. william morris can take credit for this one okay we'll give him this one not, <laughs> he's not got his name on this but we'll give him that <laughs> yeah so that's pulled from that's a larger beautiful. pattern uh, wallpaper design of his and i've just pulled out the one wow. single flower that's actually a two-part stencil which i can demo for you where you do the lighter color at the back and then you overlay with yeah. another colour on top. That's fantastic. So similar premise to the layering stamps we saw uh, a little bit earlier on. That's lovely. So that's your first one. So that's your chrysanthemum. Uh, then we've got um, oh, your Vosey Briar. Vosey Briar, yes. Voisy um, another Briar. arts and crafts designer, that. Charles Vosey. Oh, okay. So that's it's based lovely, on the wallpaper it? design. How beautiful is that? These are so cool, aren't they? Literally, honestly, everybody's so quiet having a little look at these right now. One wall, a feature wall, wherever you're thinking. Again, different colours. You put your own personality onto those. If, if, if everybody had one of those stencils, if we gave everybody one of these stencils right now, we'd all do something different, wouldn't yeah, we? And that's absolutely. the, that's yeah. the excitement. Yes. Absolutely useful. Uh, next up, I don't have the little sleeve, I don't think, for this one. Uh, that one is Boise Sibber. Okay, don't. So again, Charles Boise. And that's a really simple design, fun, isn't it? That's a good one to start with if you're new to doing the sort of repeating patterns with yeah. stenciling. It really is easy to work with. That's lovely, isn't it? But yeah, the little kind of like the little dandy lines that you can yeah. see on there, ready to blow. Uh, beautiful. Then we've got next up is our iris repeat. This is I love irises anyway. This is a gorgeous one. Isn't that fantastic? I mean, that's definitely begging for the whole wall. Yes, yeah. As I'm looking at that one, yeah. I had an auntie iris. Absolutely, it's beautiful, There's gorgeous. Lots of movement in that one. There isn't there. Like yeah, almost like the almost like the ribbons that create sort mm. of the the stems and the leaves, if you like. Uh, then we've got the oh, we've got oh, the Voisy Callum. Callum. So last time I was on, I did the large version on the walls of this one. So I brought it down in size to. That's phenomenal. And then underneath, we've, we've got the just oh, as wow. a motif. Oh, yes. So, although it is a repeating pattern, it also works really well just on its own as a motif. So, on a cushion, that would Stunning. be lovely. May have just taken my favourite spot. It's very hard to pick favourites from these yeah, stencils. That, that is one say. of my favourites. That's fun. I think it's just cause, because when you see it all together like that, it's incredibly, incredibly uh, sort of dramatic, isn't yes, it? Yes, it's impressive. There's a lot wow. going on. 
I love that. And we've got one more. We're going to do the same thing. Yeah, we're not there yet. More, boy. Uh, we have, um, oh, there we That was the other one. We've got uh, the Morris Mallow. So we'll give credit again on that one. Um, so here we go. So you can have a little look at that one as well. Isn't that gorgeous? Just one, just one on its own looks absolutely glorious. Again, that's from a, a larger pattern wallpaper mm. designed by William Morris. So I've just pulled out one Fabulous, of the Fabulous, isn't it? Of it? Really beautiful. We are going to do exactly the same thing on this collection for you as well. Your arts and crafts set. I've got to tell you, um, we, we saw these this morning, but if you weren't up bright and early uh, between six and eight, where were you? In bed, that's all right. Uh, you've got the chance now, but because we saw these this morning, they are now incredibly, incredibly limited. They are £34.99, but remember, you're getting a set of six stencils, all incredibly different, actually, which is really lovely uh, from this particular collection. Whether you choose to kind of have that repetitive pattern or whether you're choosing just to have a sort of, sort of certain statement stencils on whatever you're working with, it's completely up to you. I mean, imagine these on, on beautiful bags. If maybe you've got a canvas bag, a really plain canvas bag that you want to pop one of those prints on. I mean, imagine that. That would look absolutely gorgeous, wouldn't it? Or you've got a picture you want to frame that. It's really up to you. But of course, whether you're working with um, a surface like a wall or card like this, think about transferring these perhaps onto, onto linens, onto your cushions, onto your duvets. You know, maybe you're thinking about uh, your tables for Christmas or just tables for a lovely Sunday dinner. You're wanting to put them on your table runners or your napkins or anything like that. It's exactly what you can do. But it's about having the right paints and materials. Loads of you checking out on these. I have to say these are super, super duper popular uh, if you want to get yours right now these are the kind of creations you are going to be able to uh, come up with they're all fantastic i'm whizzing through all these i'll sort these out in a moment just to show you the kind of designs these are the six different stencils that you're going to be grabbing hold of but they are incredibly incredibly popular not many of those remaining so if they're in your basket now please do check those out down to just 34.99 that one stencil you can do very very beautiful ideas gorgeous uh, well let's have a little look at these so we've spoken about these perhaps on on the wall on on cardboard on on paper whatever it might be but as you said earlier on we can do this on material as well yes so we've got the fabric medium amazing and this is 250 mil of fabric medium okay and you mix it one to one ratio right with any water-based paint so that could be standard emulsion yeah artist acrylics any kind of anything poster paint got. anything that is water-based you mix it 50 50 so basically you you can make half a liter of fabric wow. paint with this okay the important thing when you're doing the fabric is to make sure that you use as close to 100% cotton as possible. Right. It, it will allow it to then sort of stick to all the fibres. Yeah. You wash your fabric first, no softener. Okay. You use just detergent because you want to remove any residue from the manufacturing process. Right. And then you're going to have the best chance it's all going to stick very nicely to all this the fibres. So I'm just, this is the standard gold emulsion paint that I was using earlier. I'm just going to add approximately 50 yeah <laughs> very noisy and we'll add that on screen for you in a second as well so you can grab you need to get this i mean this is like this is going to transform your life and although it's white it doesn't change the color it doesn't lighten okay. it it retains the color that you've got on there yeah, just giving that a little mix so that's one side and again i'm just going to use a roller yeah as i did before same principle take the excess paint off, load mm -hmm. up the roller and then take it off, which I know seems a bit strange that you're loading up the roller and yeah. then you're removing it, but it's you it need works. the paint on there. It's how it works. It's the best technique. Yeah. I mean, you could go out and buy really, really affordable, really inexpensive napkins, tablecloths, tablecloths yeah. pillows, anything like that. Duvets, Bring them home. Duvets. Yeah. As long as they're cotton, 100% cotton is ideal, yeah. but you know, you can get Let's the get mixes as well, you know, but you want to keep it as high as possible. It's sure. It's going to mean that it's going to stay on there. So again, it's just rolling it on gently to begin with and then sort of building up gradually. And this one we can use as a motif or mm. we can use a repeating pattern. So I might actually just take it down the centre okay. and not worry about going across. Right, Just a little table runner. I've gone over a little bit. So lovely. Now the thing about the fabric paint is it's washable until you heat seal it. So if you okay. do 
make any errors. You, and if you've got a damp cloth, you can wipe off the paint. Right. Because oh. it is still washable. The next step, once it's dry, yeah. is the um, heat sealing. Right. And that's what turns it into a permanent... Okay, so you need to, and how and is that just with? Would you use an iron? Just or? an iron, normal iron. And it's not going to come off on your iron. Or no, you, um, you put between? a piece of paper down, uh, yeah. medium iron, no steam. Yeah. Go over it for a few minutes. Take the paper off once you're sure it's dry, mm -hmm. and then go over again, and then you can wash it. And wash it without any conditioner when you wash it, moving no, no, on, or you can or just you can. wash it as normal fabric. Yeah. I love this. This is amazing. So if I do that one, no, I'm just going to take it down. I'm not going to use a repeat. So you could just line that one up. Yeah. I guess you could kind of go stem to stem, for want of a better word, as well, yeah. couldn't you? And any, I mean, you, I'm thinking of sort of almost like a, um, a cross, sort of, a, yeah. in terms yeah, of that's right. anything with those. Absolutely beautiful. I'm also very excited because I have a lovely cotton duvet, a white cotton duvet that's donkey's years old, and it was in, a, in the pile to go. And it's not going to go anymore. <laughs> I'm going to refresh it. I'm going to upcycle it. It's worth having a go, isn't it? If it's something that it you're going silly. to throw away, you've got nothing to lose Absolutely by just not. having a go no. and trying out the stencils on it. Exactly. That, I'm not surprised, but the fabric medium is flying out, which, yeah, for £8.50 as well. Remember, you are going to make twice that amount. It's 250 millilitres. You're going to make 500 in total because you're adding exactly the same one part to one part so you'd be adding two if you want i mean you're not going to do the whole lot together but if you did just because it's easy maths uh, 250 mil you'd add 250 mil of your paint but you you obviously unless you're doing a mahoosive area but of course don't forget you, you you just just try a little bit have a go load up your brush or your your, your paint brush whatever it might be your roller that you're using and have a little go with this i'm just going to add some other colors on top so you could just do your berries yeah this isn't the fabric paint, but I would just add a touch of fabric medium mm. to that. Such a great idea. So you could do this on clothes as well, couldn't you? Anything. Yeah. yeah. Again, as long as you're talking as close to 100% cotton. And we've got, all got pots of paint at home with little bits mm. at the bottom. So just add the fabric medium and you've got fun. your own fabric paint. It will last if you have it in a sealable jar. Yeah. You don't need to worry about it. Oh, know. so once you've mixed it, you could just keep it in a sealable jar. You could jar. just keep it, yeah. <gasps> Fantastic. So you could just have a selection of fabric paints. Oh, wow. Available. This is great stuff, isn't it? Yeah, it's amazing. It's flying out, by the way, as well. Congratulations. I can't see any names on my screen, Nora Lou, because I've got a funny screen. I don't know what it is. It's, I don't know. I've got, I don't know. I've got, I need to get rid of that half of the... Can you do that, Chesney? No doesn't know what that is that's fine i can see people that haven't checked out uh, the other side i can't see people that have but jane karen rita jennifer just joining us as well how beautiful that's lovely so i've just added a bit more color in that gorgeous. one gorgeous so you do it all over just down yeah it's up to you fabulous isn't it? an eight pound fifty for your fabric medium it's going to go a long long way and if you've got something what springs to mind for you at home right now maybe you've got some napkins you want to uh, kind of change for christmas maybe it's a table runner a tablecloth a cushion a makeup bag i mean li the list is endless your bag whatever it might something for your dog maybe you've got a little cat coat or a little dog coat <laughs> eight pounds well our cats had little harnesses uh, eight pound fifty 0800 001 three. Thank you, Chesney. Uh, very well done to those of you that are checking out on that. Obviously, we saw that with the retro. Think about doing this then now with the Arts and Crafts bundle because we had some amazing, amazing stencils. So think about all of these on your 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 um your cottons your fabrics are you going to place that perhaps on a cushion it'd be absolutely beautiful on a cushion uh, really really lovely if you want to grab hold of that that's the stencil that you can see and again all of these stencils are, again are all self-adhesive aren't they they all are yes fabulous so to look after them them again just wash them with a little bit of soap and yes water. so just leave the them fair, in some liquid. warm water with a bit of um soap in there leave yep. it soaking for about half an hour and that will just make it easier to remove any of the dry paint brilliant because this is the one obviously that the range just work with so again you can easily see that perhaps on its own on a on a cushion and imagine that i mean you could go crazy if you were doing a duvet i mean absolutely spectacular to be perfectly honest or if you've got plain curtains you could just do oh, the course. one edge where they meet lovely Something simple you don't have to go all over no, and again it's the... less is more just doing a bit and then looking at it yeah if you look if you've got a pelmet i've got a pelmet if you've got a pelmet over your cur a pelmet over your curtains 
you, do, you have like the material on there. Jan's <laughs> lost. Um, literally, <laughs> it's classic Jan, classic. <laughs> Not an old person, classic. Um, we've got less than 20 of these remaining now. That was a beautiful iris. And think about, you know, think about the whole image. Think about just little individual parts of that as well. I've got these in a Tiswas, but that's your iris. Just one of those. Again, pop that on a little makeup bag. Pop that into the corner of, you know, four corners perhaps of a cushion. You can really play with these. You can be as creative as you like, but make sure you are getting the fabric medium because that's what changes these up. And again, just a little centerpiece. This is the one you said that people would perhaps really sort of work with quite successfully yeah, if they were maybe starting out. It's a really out. simple design, really easy to line up. Lovely, isn't it? And frame it. If you don't want to use that with the fabric medium, you can just use these and frame them. There we go. Oh, there we are. You can have a little look now. So this is your, this is the Voisy, I think, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, so this is the Voisy version. Callum. So we had that one on my last show in November. We did the so wall version, so they? the small version of it. It just looks so effective, doesn't it? So I'm just watching the video. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. That's incredible. That's a top edge stencil that allows you to stencil right up to the ceiling. That's great, isn't it? And well, it, you know, get the stencils home and play with these. Oh, that's the design again on a larger, you can see the whole thing there yeah, on a larger yeah. scale. And these, then you've got the registration points. I don't think we've mentioned on, on the back of oh. all the stencils, okay. except for the ones that are motifs. So something like um, Voisy Callum that we've just done. Yeah. On the back, there'll be a registration guide that shows you how you line it up. Oh, there we go. Oh, fantastic. So if you are, oh, that looks amazing. So if you're doing this at home, there we go. So you've got your step-by-step -step guide in terms of where to place it. So if you want to do that repetition, mm -hmm. it's on there for you. And you can see on there, we've just paused the video. I mean, you've got that and you want to do something like this. Obviously, that was the larger one you said, wasn't yes, it? Yes, yeah. But still, the effect would be absolutely phenomenal. £34.99. Grab hold of these. Less than 20, less than 15 of these, I think, remaining. And do you think we can squeeze in another demo? Yes, um, I'm just wondering so if we do the, the layered stencil. Oh yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah why not? So that see one. how that works. And in the meantime, don't forget, you've had three different sort of uh, choices, the beautiful ferns that you've seen, obviously behind Lorraine. Uh, you've got actually a set of those free of charge because you're getting the mirror images on those ferns. There we go. So you're getting that in the smaller size. They're not small. Uh, so you get three different sizes of the ferns. Uh, we then brought to you the retro set. So you're getting six stencils in the retro and six stencils in the arts and crafts as well. So go and have a little look on the web and add these into your baskets. They all come to you at one set of PMP. Just add those to your order today, £3.95 for the whole show. If you want to buy the whole show, it is amazing. Uh, so I have a little look at this one. So this is a layering technique then. Yes, so we've got two parts to this. Mm -hmm. We've got the, the background that I'm going to do in lighter colour and then we've got all the detail that then sits on top. So I'll just put that to one side. <coughs> so that one is in place. I think I will use a brush with that one. So again, loading up the stencil brush, <coughs> taking off all the excess paint so you minimise bleed through. And again, you can either stab it on or you can swirl mm -hmm. like that. When you've got something delicate, you might want to do the stippling just so you don't lift too much until you become a little bit more confident with it. Yeah. But if you are going to bring in some other colours, sort of little touches on the edges, actually, I might do that. <laughs> um, you, the swirling technique is quite nice because it sort of blends it all together. Yeah. So... You can blend a emulsion paint quite nicely, just like you can any other paint. Mm -hmm. It's a lovely colour as well, that. It's nice and fresh. Mm, it's beautiful. Okay, I'll add a, just a little touch of gold in there. As I've got some gold paint out. Why not? So you can really go mad just adding more and more colour. It depends yeah. how much time you've got, how much effort you want to, to mm. put into it. So just picking up some of those outer edges. Yeah, just the edges. And this is where you get creative. Yeah. You know, you make it your own. Yeah. Like you said earlier, it doesn't matter. You can give the stencil to 20 people and they'll all do something mm. slightly different with it. Their decor will all look 
slightly different. And you'll probably never do the same thing again. Well, you, you might try, but it will never look identical, will it? Oh, no, no. But that's kind of the, the draw, the attraction of them. And if you think of all the thousands of colours of paints mm. that you can get mixed up. Totally. And of course, you can add to your decor. So if you've got a cushion that you want to, you know, do some more on your walls, yeah. you can go and get it colour matched. Perfect. Tester pot, that's all you yeah, need. Yeah, exactly. So we've pulled off that. That's really cute. And then we have the stencil that sticks on top, which I haven't washed since this morning. So it's going to be a little bit of guesswork, but it really <laughs> doesn't matter too much. You're just roughly putting it in place. I guess you could also do a shadow almost, couldn't you? Yeah. yeah you can't go wrong with it, really. I'm going to use a darker colour on top. And this is your Morris Mallow, I think, isn't it? Is that right? This no. is Chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum, sorry. You were right, Laura, sorry. So if you're going to do many of these, it's good to wipe this particular <coughs> stencil down in between just mm -hmm. so you can see where you're going. And if you want to buy this stencil individually, so if you want the Chrysanthemum on its own, it's £9.95, so if maybe you want to just start with one, and that's fine if you don't want to dive in for a whole set. Uh, you can dive in just for one. Uh, so £9.95, and that you'll be able to reuse and reuse, and it's a really good size. We're talking A4 on these ones. Adhesive backs, so you'll be able to reuse and reuse and reuse. So £9.95 plus your one set of PMP. But whilst you're there, get your fabric medium as well, because it's, it's amazing. Oh, look at this. So that's just adding some wow. detail in there so you can start adding more colours in there. That's spectacular. I, I, really love, it. I love it on the craft paper as well, that kind yeah, of craft it's card. Nice. Yeah. <gasps> really, really lovely. Really nice. I've tried lots of different things, lots of different colours, but I keep coming back to this because it, it, it just really just shows off all the designs. Yeah. That's gorgeous. Really stunning. I'd want you to hand sign that and then I'd frame it. <laughs> <laughs> Job done. Well, you though, it's absolutely lovely. You can make really personal gifts with that. Yes. And of course, then if you want to transfer that into into fabric, you could do exactly that same design and pop that into to this. I keep we keep keep going back to cushions, but I think it's because we're a bit home decoring with the walls, and you're thinking about your cushions. And uh, so nine pounds ninety five. Those individual dies are loaded up on our website if you want to grab any of those individually you can if you're like Ruth I want the whole kit and caboodle I don't blame you can either go for the beautiful beautiful uh, arts and crafts which includes that chrysanthemum or you go art deco or you go both and of course don't forget to add in those ferns because that's where we started they are behind Lorraine right now and they're going to work through so much of your home just go stenciling crazy 2023 start stenciling and it, it, I kind of feel like you, it, it, it's great fun. And I feel like you're kind of regressing a little bit, as in we, we're going back to the days when, when maybe when we were kids, when we were little and you were maybe working with stencils and you didn't really have the pressure of anything looking perfect. Yes. And yeah. we played. That's kind of what we want to do with these. Just yeah. take the pressure off. Yeah. Play with them and yeah. see what happens. It's stepping away from the perfectly printed wallpaper. It's yeah. creating something unique, something different. I think we're almost tired of perfection, aren't yes. we, a little bit? Yeah. We want to bring it back again and yeah. really see. Because that's when we see your personality at the end yeah. of the day um, everything on the web is there www.hobbymaker.co.uk you've got the, the 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 stencil set you've also got them there all individually the fabric medium is selling like hot cakes or mince pies whichever we should talk about right now and of course you've got the retro set in there as well again you've got the individual retro stencils and of course those amazing ferns don't forget today first time only time you've got the stencils with their mirror image and you are getting not only three in three sizes you're getting the mirror image free of charge today so make sure you get hold of those because they were incredible Lorraine thank you so much it's thank been wonderful you. to meet you it's been fantastic to see all of this thank uh, you very much. come back very soon please Hope so Superb. Thank you very much. Great. And don't forget to follow Lorraine and look at Stencil Up, of course, on social media. And at the other side of this, it's Creative Expressions. It's the lovely Gwen. If you've recently missed your favourite show on Hobbymaker, it's really easy to catch up on our website. Simply visit hobbymaker.co.uk and click TV Guide. Here you'll be able to choose any show broadcast in the last seven days, which you can watch, pause and rewind at your convenience. And to make shopping even easier, any items featured in the show will appear underneath. With Hobbymakers Catch Up, there's never a reason to miss out, no matter what time of day. 
couldn't be easier to watch Hobby Maker. You can join us on Sky, Freeview, on our website or on YouTube. So you can watch at home or on the go. Here at Hobby Maker, we want your shopping experience to be as simple as possible. That's why you can buy as many items as you like all day and only pay one postage and packaging fee. It doesn't matter what weight, size or quantity of your order or how many times you check out that day, you still will only be charged one p and Shopping made simple with Hobby Maker. Here at Hobby Maker, we love seeing what you've been making, and it's our job to keep you inspired. So, how does a £100 credit to your Hobby Maker account sound? Every month, we're going to be giving away a £100 credit to one lucky Hobby Maker's account. And all you have to do to enter is simply send a photo of your crafty makes to studio at hobbymaker.co.uk. We will be picking one winner each month at random and will announce the lucky winner on air in the 5pm show on the last Saturday of every month. So what are you waiting for? Get crafting, get motivated and get inspired with Hobby Maker. You know we're really pleased we're getting more and more brand new suppliers here at Hobby Maker. We'll wait until you hear the latest. Cricket is joining us at Hobby Maker. And we've got exclusive deals just for us at Hobby Maker featuring the Joy and the Maker 3. And if the stock sells out, which it probably will, you won't see it again until next year. So make sure you join us this Thursday for the exclusive exciting launch of Cricket on Hobby Maker. Hobby Maker are live from 1 pm to 6 pm every day on Sky Channel 670, FreeSat Channel 807, and Freeview Channel 73. You can also watch on YouTube via some smart TVs, your computer and phone. Our call centre is based in the UK and available 24-7. Just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk. Are you having trouble finding the perfect gift? Then why not treat them to the new gift card from Hobby Maker at hobbymaker.co.uk. Simply scroll down to the bottom where it says gift cards, click and you'll be taken to the right place. Decide between posting the card or delivery by email and then decide how much you want to add. You choose the value. So what do you get the crafter that's got everything? Why not treat yourself or them to the Hobby Maker gift card? Hobby Maker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Hobby Maker. Guess who's back? Da -da -da. Back again. It's all I can do. The lovely Gwen is Hello. back from Creative Expressions. How are you, my lovely? I'm very well, thank you. Good. It's yes. always lovely to see your smiley thank face. You too. Fabulous. And of course, we've got one amazing hour with Gwen today. Three hours tomorrow. Yes. <gasps> dun dun dun. Gwen Still is back. Still won't be enough. I know. Well, <laughs> <laughs> literally, <laughs> surrounded by so much right now. Uh, but the reason I'm kind of telling you that straight away is because obviously Gwen is with us now at four o'clock, back with us, I think, at seven o'clock in the morning. Oh. Wow, good job you're having an early night tonight. Um, three o'clock and five o'clock tomorrow. And during those hours, you have chance to win an incredible, incredible collection of goodies. We are doing an amazing, amazing I say we, that's the royal we, uh, an amazing giveaway, uh, which I did write down all the details of. I actually took them on my phone and I've left them over there. Uh, but Laura will tell me. Uh, it's a huge... Shall I, I'm going to grab it, actually, whilst you're reading that. No, I'm going to grab it because it's, it's much easier if I read it all out. Um, so if you buy in any of these hours, so this hour today, 4 o'clock, uh, and, of course, that includes 7 o'clock tomorrow, 3 o'clock and 5 o'clock. You've got a long day tomorrow, Gwen. I know. My goodness me. 
Um, somebody will be, have a gym when you're home tomorrow. Somebody will select, be selected at random. So you've got to buy one of these hours and it will be, um, the winner of the competition will be announced tomorrow at five. All of those goodies that you can see there, including uh, one of the Cosmic Shimmer Iridescent Watercolours palettes. Love that, that's the Summer Garden. Uh, you've got one of the Cosmic Shimmer sets of two water brushes with a spray bottle. You've got the Helen Colebrook uh, Floral Daydream 8 inch by 6 inch stencil. You've got the Leafy Trails 8 by 6 stencil. You've got the, um, how do you say that, Rodia? I think so. Rodia. 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 I would have gone Rodia. Uh, soft colour uh, cover A5. Or on there. Uh, A5 dotted journal from Helen's very own supply stash. The whole bundle's worth over £55. This is an amazing deal, isn't it? Absolutely. Somebody's going to win it for free. All you've got to do is buy within this hour, the 7 o'clock tomorrow, the 3 o'clock and the 5. Basically, when you see Gwen, <laughs> when you see Gwen... Not on the street. Buy something. Not, Not that I street. walk on the street, <laughs> No. Oh, here we go. Wrong. Here we go. She's back. <laughs> <laughs> um, in any one of these Don't hours, Doug Schmidt, we start coughing again. Uh, in any one of these, me and Gwen were meant to go out for a meal tonight. I've had to cancel she's, on her for the second win. time. Rubber. She, she can't hack it, that's <laughs> well, she, Stop me coughing, I'll be keeling over. Um, but we're going to do it in the new year. Um, so if you buy in any of those hours, somebody will be announced at five o'clock tomorrow and you've won all of those goodies, which is phenomenal. Uh, but that brings me to our first place to start because I want it all. And when do you want it? You want it now. I want it now. Uh, we have a huge, huge huge bundle to share with you in fact the complete collection oh, the complete helen colbrook creative expressions collection my goodness me you're getting three dies four stamps four stencils your paper pack your washi tape all within here and i know if there's anything wrong but gwen will co correct me it's fine because uh, there is literally so much in here and um, helen colbrook tell us a little bit more about helen colbrook because it's a newer name to me well, I don't know Helen personally. I wish I did. She okay. seems like an absolutely delightful person. Um, she's a journaler, first and foremost. Right, and okay. She's got a huge following. She's on YouTube and Instagram. She's got a Patreon site where you can go and get all sorts of goodies. Um, and she's come on board as one of our guest designers. And she's designed this collection in conjunction with Creative Expressions. And she said herself, she's not done this type of design work before. So she was right. very excited. Helen, if you're watching, hello. Uh, um, I know she's very excited to see this, this launch, sure. as we all are, because it's so stunning, so yeah. beautiful. And she takes a lot of her inspiration from nature. So yeah. she likes to get outdoors. Yeah. And obviously she sketches flowers and uh, draws um, nature and things like that. And then she stunning. puts that into her journals. She's also very mindful and mm -hmm. she's very caring and thoughtful and she yeah. likes inspiration um, in that regard. So all in all, this collection, I think, really reflects Helen's style of journaling. Sounds like it, yeah. But I think what's also really lovely about it is it will easily translate to other crafts. Yeah, absolutely. So for those of you that might be sat there going, oh, I don't do journaling, and actually that was me, and Helen, you've got a lot to answer for because I've been out and bought a journal and a notebook <laughs> and I don't know what else, and all of this I've got, of course, and I've been loving it. Uh, so if you're sat there like me thinking, I don't do journaling, don't close your mind. Yeah. Because it's a lovely thing to do. Think of it just as a, maybe a notebook, a sketchbook, um, a record of trips you've been on. They call those traveller's notebooks. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Funnily enough, um, I, I've got a journal that I kept when I was in Austria touring yeah. years and years ago. And I and found how it the other day. Is it to look back it's on? so beautiful looking through pop, pot, uh, popping in sort of photographs, and remember letters. Where been and what it you was did. beautiful. Yeah. yeah, it's a really lovely thing to do, yeah. actually. But even if you're still thinking, but no, that's not for me, that's, that's fine. We're all different. Mm. But these are beautiful for card making, scrapbooking, and any other craft project you might want to turn your hand to. So do have a good look at everything we've got on offer that Helen's designed for us. We're all so excited about this. They are fabulous. They are beautiful. And I have to say that they will cover a lot of seasons. Mm. It's quite spring-like, but there are autumnal elements and we always say this, if you choose the right colours, you can make it fit any occasion, can't you? Yeah, exactly. So while Ruth's just distressing the set... Oh, I wasn't going to say anything, Gwen. <laughs> <laughs> no one noticed that gap there. No one noticed that. Um, <laughs> come along, Gwen. Um, you've got... Let's just go through exactly what you're getting then. So I've just turned those around because I thought it would be easier and then I ended up destroying everything. So I've got long arms. So they are your three dies, which you can see straight away. 
Really, Beautiful. really transferable, whether you are thinking of doing journaling, scrapbooking, you know, you've got dies out, very, very user friendly, uh, really easy to pop through your die cutting and embossing machines. Definitely work across your, your, your card designs, oh, yeah, definitely. absolutely, 100%. Then you've got some beautiful, I love this one, you've got some beautiful stencils. So that's your, that's lovely, that's Star Lily. So you've got your uh, four stencils, so that's the four you're getting, so you've got the two at the top there. There we go, it's a little bit harder to see. So you've got beautiful uh, individual stencils. You've got your floral daydream, love that. Your leafy trails. Yeah. I mean, you can put those together, can't you? All of the Absolutely. leaves and create, re you know, sort of floral wreaths or uh, yeah. leafy wreaths, I should say. That's hard to say. Uh, <laughs> a leafy wreath, whatever you choose. But you've got four fantastic usable um, stencils there. You've also got four stamps, which are at the bottom there. You've got actually sentiment stamp in there as well. If we follow along this way there we go thank you my lovely follow the finger uh, you've got there blooming marvelous you've got your foliage collection love those flowers in there as well beautiful bouquet and then wow so you a sentiment stamp you've got the days of the week and you've got all the days of the uh, sorry months of the year in there yeah so it's, a, a, it's not particularly sentiments it's more of a journaling collection or a calendar collection sure, sorry. so even if the le least you do with a with a journal is create a diary or a calendar nice You've got everything you need in that set there. Um, and obviously, if you are doing a planner, you know, that's yeah. going to help you to, to plan and set your goals and all of that as well. Such a great idea, isn't it? Brilliant. Set some goals for 2023. I'm definitely doing it this set year. Set for next week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you are getting all of those. Then we move to, now the washi tape. These are really gorgeous oh, there as is. well. We're going to have a little look at these. Do you know what I love about these? Because a lot of washi tips, it's like anything we say, they're not all the same. Mm. And a lot of washi tips, I find, are not sticky enough. And they, okay. they don't stick very well and they come off. So you have to use other other things to right. hold them in place. These are, are really lovely. They've got a really lovely tack. Okay. Not so much that you can't remove them. Yeah. But tacky enough that once you put them down, they stay there, which is great. And they, they're terrible. These are lovely. Um, ones, they're beautifully printed. Terrible, not terrible. Yes, terrible. <laughs> Sorry. Terrible. <laughs> they are able to be <laughs> terrible. <laughs> I know what you meant. Um, They've got a, a slight sheen on them, so they're not completely matte and flat, so that's quite nice. And they're just beautiful colours. They're gorgeous. I've there got my go. green set here, so... Oh, there we are. Helps. Put them together. Um, really beautiful yeah. colours. And Same obviously, work. the designs on them perfectly complement the stamps and the paper pack. So all of this gorgeous. collection is going to coordinate and work beautifully to help you create yeah. the most beautiful projects. And you're getting... Obviously, you've got three different designs... Uh, in each one of those and the roll length is 16 foot so you get a lot on there 5.4 yards or 16 foot if you're in that is a lot old money new money or yeah yeah it's a heck of a lot um, i don't know if that's all three together um let me have a look. set of three rolls five meters each there you go sorry let me read that so five meters each two designs two centimeters and one design four centimeters so you've got a lovely collection mm. it's nice to have that because obviously mm. if you want to use that on your designs definitely go ahead with that and of course then you've also got your paper pad oh my oh, goodness <gasps> this is lovely so you've got 36 single-sided pages six designs six sheets of each it's eight by eight and it's 150 gsm i've never oh used all mine up these oh, you have to buy another one Gwen. No, I'll pinch, that one. <laughs> pinch this one watcher watcher on the way out <laughs> aren't these beautiful and you can see that design straight away um, and this is acid free so you can you scrap can book with it scrapbook yeah, with it and can you stamp on it as well you can stamp it on it you can ink it to enhance it if you want to ink around the edges Lovely. some of these flowers perfectly match the dies as well that's what I was looking at yeah so you could die cut some of these flowers from the actual papers that's a great idea aren't they lovely I mean, that's And then you've got just beautiful. lovely background designs that are slightly abstract and you can do whatever you stunning, like with aren't those. They? Yeah, beautiful. I feel like I'm flicking through these too quickly, but you do have... Have I missed any out that? Yes, can't miss any of these out. And of course, you're going to see that matches your lovely leafy stencil. Yeah. So you could layer colour over that with another stencil and perhaps add a little bit of shimmer or something like that, possibly. Oh, is that beautiful? I love that. I love that. It's That's like very a big new. watercolour splat. Yeah, yeah. It's gorgeous. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, hello. We've gone a bit dotty there again. Yeah, that's... Again, um, kind of water watercolour sort of splodges, isn't it? Much more fresh, the colours there. You've got that lovely citrusy zing. Aren't they gorgeous? And all these beautiful leaves. <gasps> that makes me feel very spring. I love spring -like. the colours on that. that yeah, they're wonderful, aren't gorgeous. they? Almost a little bit more muted as well. Mm. 
And there's something kind of for everybody uh, within here. And I think you're going think around again. So just, I think you've is there one more? Oh, no, yeah. Well, there we go. So then going around again with those ones. So you're getting Spanish. all of those. They're fantastic, aren't they? Beautiful selection. Obviously, uh, plain on one side. And you've got those beautiful colours. So if you want this entire collection, brand new, I want it all. We've got to give you a discount, haven't we? Got to. So three dies, four stamps, four stencils. And your paper uh, pad with, of course, all of those washi tapes. So you're getting six washi tapes. Look at all of that. Now, the good news is we've managed to grab hold of split payments for you today. Ooh. Not just a two-way, a three-way. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, three-way split pay. brilliant. So it's £31.66. You pay that today and then you'll pay exactly that same amount this time next month. Exactly that same uh, amount again the following month. We don't add we don't add anything else on to that price. It is what it is, which is wonderful as well, because obviously we're, you know, it's, we appreciate it's December. Um, and you're going to be able to create some fantastic things, obviously, maybe designed and coming from the heart of, a, uh, of somebody that loves journaling. But think about if you are a card maker, transfer it to your cards. There's so many different ways that you can use these. Isn't that beautiful? Well, really? oh, and that's got the washi tape on it as well. Yeah, and what I was doing was really thinking cool. about um, if I can just show you this oh, Gwen, journal page. Lovely. Yeah, and it actually reflects what I did. I did the journal page first. Obviously, I've not done any writing on this. Um, there's lots of room to do your writing, but I'd done the journal page, yes. and I thought let's translate that to a card front. Yeah, and hence the one you've just held up, Ruth. That yeah, we've just disappeared. I've heard of that again. <laughs> is the very similar layout using the same design yeah. elements but different color so you go from that um, move to the journey so you can easily see how these are going how to nice translate across so you can see the layout's the same but some right. of the elements are slightly different and that washi tape's fantastic it's beautiful isn't it really and it's nice to be able to tear the edges yes it looks kind of really because yes, you don't always want a large piece or depending what no. else you want to do on your page you might just want a little bit to add here and there so to be able to have a little strip is lovely they are wonderful, aren't so, they? And you've yeah. got so many fantastic And that's designs. the leafy wreath, Dan. The leafy Love wreath. That. There you go. Isn't that gorgeous? Love it. So that's the, the, uh, the die that we saw. And that's a different way of using it on that one. I love, obviously, a bit of twine. Get your craft paper out as well oh, yes, on that one. Yes is always good have a truly fabulous day so you've got those beautiful um uh, flowers that we saw from the floor uh, the flower garden set of dice so you can see how that works well again some beautiful pieces so if you are wanting to stay with cards that's completely fine uh, but think about doing your journaling think about notebooks think about calendars as well you can do some beautiful things like this and create some gorgeous gorgeous calendars uh, so just to show you so these are the dies aren't they uh, stamps sorry so you've got this Hmm. Stamps are they are dies. the stamps, but cut using the dies because oh, some of the dies right. match some of the stamps. So Fabulous. it makes life really easy if you can stamp a flower and then yeah. just cut it with a die rather than having to hand cut it. It's great, isn't it? Some of them you do need to hand cut, but they're yeah. much more simple shapes. That again is um, your die. And then with the die, you've got the outer cutting edge and you've mm -hmm. got the decorative inner. So if you cut the two together, this is what you'll get. But then you've also got that outer edge i'll show you this as we go along it's easy to, to see them talk isn't yeah it? of course if you cut the outer edge on its own you'll get a solid shape which mm -hmm. you can sit behind this open flower okay so if you cut that from the paper pad for example yeah you can have a colored backing to your flower oh, nice. which will peek through those little holes really cute really so really so cleverly thought out do. this whole collection and i love yeah. the fact that there are all these beautiful leaves yeah, it's, they are wonderful. And you can make them autumnal, you can make them spring-like, exactly. summertime. Yeah. They're, they're, you're just going to constantly use those. And that, again, just to show you, whoops. And I love that go, wiggly, leafy thing. Lovely, I it? actually think that hung the other way up would make a lovely trailing vine. Oh, you nice. Know, you could stack it across the top this of something. Yeah. yeah, they're cute, aren't they? And you can snip them and just use little bits of them. And yeah, they're lovely. We've got a set of notelets here. Yes. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. So actually even create, creating the box of notelets, using that lovely paper mm. that we saw within there, and then create yourself a lovely set of notes. So if you need a last-minute Christmas gift, or if you need a birthday gift, oh, perhaps please. next year for somebody, um, I just thought it would be nice to add a little set of notes oh, that you could give so to somebody cute. and they can then use it through the year as they need. And envelopes, So obviously. And envelopes, all made from the paper pad. That's to put your address on if you're posting it. Right. So, yeah. thought of everything. You know, <laughs> thinks of absolutely everything. Sorry, I wasn't but showing you the cards. Just some little then. bits of paper, some of the flowers, the leaves, and you've got a really pretty card and they're very quick to make. They're so clever, they and are. And again, I'll be showing you some of these. Flip hopefully. through and show you that one as well. There you go. They're gorgeous, aren't they? So All can, of this. 
such an, you are my happy you place. You can choose any sentiment to stamp on your yeah. panels and make these cards appropriate. They're wonderful. Yeah. Lots you can do. So these, for a lot of us that are watching right now, depending at which way you're kind of coming out, depending on your angle, uh, maybe you love journaling, maybe you love scrapbooking, maybe you love making your cards, whatever it might be, just check out and actually check out the website because they are all on there for you. you have a good scoot around, have a good sort of look at these. It is a massive 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 bundle uh, it's brand new I want it all it is the complete Helen Colebrook collection at uh, 31 pound 66 on three split payments and so much within there have a little look on the web you see that right we've got loads coming up for you in this hour even if we don't get through it all it's all there for you we've even got the notebooks for you which is amazing obviously we've got some cosmic shimmer the water palette the the watercolor palette we love We've used those before. Uh, these such are, again, these different, are, again, different, different colours. Colours. Yeah. yeah, carrying on, bringing you lots of newness today. Um, shall, we have a, shall we have our first demo? Oh, shall we? Yes. Let's do it. Right, so I'm going to start by using um, one of the stencils, and I'm going to create mm -hmm. a card something like this. So again, uh -huh. I have done a journal page using this same technique. You can see again, it'd be quite easy to decorate a page with that. So I'm starting using some watercolour card. We have also got some card bundles in the show as oh, if we wow. didn't have enough i know so we've got watercolor card vellum and our coconut white which are all basic staples that we yep. love and then we've also got a beautiful colored pack for you as well so i'm going to be using leafy trails stencil um, just to create a little background so what i'll do is pop it down on the diagonal like so and i'm going to use some of the color clouds which we've also got we've brought you four colors this time this one is fresh grass. That's nice. And I'm just going to use one of the blending brushes. And as, was it Lorraine that was on earlier yes. with the stencil? She, she said what we always say, which is you put your ink on and you take most of it off. Yeah. And it sounds really daft because you're thinking, mm. but why put it on and then take it off? But it leaves enough on your applicator to yeah. do a gentle stencil. You can always add more color, but you can't take it away. Yeah, exactly. So it makes sense to Build start very up. gently. And also, if it is very wet, <clears throat> it does tend to seep underneath your okay. stencil and, and, and then it's, you know, you, it's blobby. And we don't need it to be blobby. We don't want blobby. No. It's a lovely colour, that is. Isn't it? it? Fresh is grass. Is it quite solid? No. So the colour clouds, what they do, they, they've got like a sponge ring here. Oh, okay. And then a felt pad on the top, like your traditional right. ink pad. Okay. Um, and they are designed for blending. So yeah. you take the ink from the pot and um, use some sort of applicator to do that. And then you can apply it through a stencil or onto a stamp. You can stamp with them, but you need to transfer the ink from the pot to the stamp to do right. that. But yeah, they're, they're like any other ink, multi-purpose. Um, what I love about them is they're the perfect blending ink. Um, they're very fluid and they're very juicy so they blend really nicely if you want to add down two or three colors okay they blend really really well and this one comes as a duo so you get a pair here in set b so this is your uh, cosmic shimmer color cloud blending ink so set b all the way over there so this comes with a pink i think or is it more of a red so it's forest green and soft something uh fresh grass fresh grass sorry not fresh and there they are look. It... oh there you go soft cerise there we go, that's what I was looking for. It's on, oh, it's on I have got soft there. cerise. Oh. Which one do you have, Gwen? I have got lavender lace. Lavender lace we've got with spring bluebell. And I've got spring bluebell. And, oh, I beg your pardon, I've got soft cerise there. There we go. I wasn't using it on this occasion. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Always best to check. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. It's normally me that's wrong, Gwen, so oh, dear. you're wrong. Uh, <laughs> I know, I know. It's quite all right. I often <laughs> <laughs> So I've just laid down a few leaves going across. Cute. Um, and then I'm going to double stencil, if you like, on top. So I'm going to put this beautiful tulip stencil on here now if you're worried about holding your stencil down you can of course use tape mm -hmm. excuse me a second oh. um, I'm just going to risk it and hold it yeah. so I'm going to now move on to using the spring bluebell and lavender lace that's, oh that's a nice color aren't they fab mm. Can I just so, say, sorry, if everybody checks out on the big bundle, over 20% is gone. Wow. Very popular. That's amazing. I'm not surprised. Yeah, I'm not. It's, it's absolutely so stunning. So I'm going to go in and do the lilac. Mm -hmm. 
Um, I'm just going to try and do the flower heads, but I'm not being too particular. Um, I don't mind, I've done my leaves probably a little bit heavier than I would have liked, so they are going to show through the flower, but I don't mind that so much. No, I don't. No, it's all very interesting. So that's, I'll just, I'm going to build the colour onto this, which is why I'm not too worried at the moment. Yeah. I'm going to go back to my fresh grass and I'm going to bring in that to the leaves. So I'm using a, a different sizes of brush. Mm -hmm. You can get very small blending brushes. We do yeah. sell them at Creative Expressions. Um, they may well be still on the website from when we've had them before. Yeah, just have a look on the website. Go to Brands or, and Creative Expressions. Yeah, and then look for, I think, Vass and Creative. Okay. They'll probably be listed as. Right, that's the brand that they oh, okay. are. So I'm just using little circular motions to get the ink. And if you notice, I go anti-clockwise and then clockwise. Yeah. By doing that, you catch all areas of the stencil. Right. And also it creates kind of a, a, an edge line to the stencil. So you get a okay. little bit more definition. And then what I want to do is tone that green down with a little bit of the spring blue bell, mm -hmm. which is a beautiful gray blue. So nice. That. It's lovely. It's such a lovely button. But I'm just gonna flip this from one side so, because I don't want to colour the whole thing, mm -hmm. um, I just want to add some shade by using a different colour. So I'm just flicking from left to right. And what that's going to do is just catch some areas of the stencil, but not all. So lovely. And then I also want to add a little bit of that blue to the flowers. Mm -hmm. And again, I'm going to flick from left to right and it's going to sort of add a bit of a shadow. Yeah. You don't have to do this, but it just makes your stencil a little bit more interesting. And there is also on one of the stamp sets a crocus head that matches this. So if you want to, you can oh. then stamp some detail onto these as oh, well. Perfect. So it's oh, gorgeous, isn't it? So there we go. That's gorgeous. Now that shouldn't have happened. I should have, I should have done what I said and taped it down. So I hadn't even noticed. I'm starting as I mean to go on. <laughs> <laughs> I've also brought in one of our wordies, which again, you'll probably find on the website. Yeah. Um, and I just want it to add some colour to that and you can use the colour clouds to shade these as well which is really lovely so I'm just going to add it, it's a lot paler you can see on that mm. particular surface so these inks will will change depending what what surface you're working on okay um, that's going to dry much much softer than it looks there yeah. so I'm just going to pop that to one side and now what I want to do well I, what I can do and it's quite an opportunity to show you this actually oh, yeah. we've got for you as if we hadn't enough <laughs> Um, a set with two of our cartridge water brushes and a spray bottle. And so I can use these to, um, <coughs> to activate the paint on the palette. I'm also going to use it on this occasion to try just to lift that line of ink there that I didn't want to be there. I can certainly soften it, it won't come away completely. And then it just will tone it down so it's not so obvious. But um, to avoid that happening, do use um, something to mask off the edge of your stencil. Or doing it though, add it? some washi tape over it so you don't <laughs> see it. Yeah, exactly. Excuse me for coughing. I do apologise. Um, right. Let me bring in your um, Cosmic Shimmer water brush set. Uh, I've never seen that before, actually, the spray bottle. That's really cool. So you've got your two water brush... Uh, pens in there and then you've got your little spray bottle so I guess I mean that's all going to be great for traveling as well isn't yes, it? Yes exactly yeah and what I love this particular bottle for <coughs> is it's super accurate where you spray it so I want to add some splatters onto this I do like a good splatter so I can take this spray bottle and direct it exactly where I want it so I'm going to go and do a little bit of lilac and a little bit of blue and I can just miss the cakes that I want. So you need to activate your watercolour palette like that with water. And then take your brush and work that into a really lovely creamy consistency. But on this occasion, that's not actually what I want to do. So I'm going to bring in my acrylic block that I like to use as a palette. And I'm going to transfer some of the paint from the little watercolour cake onto my palette. Because I want this really wet so I can yeah. splatter it. So I'm going to add a little bit more water. These are beautiful. This is your summer garden set, I think, isn't it? And then stand back. <coughs> stand back, Chesney. And I'm just going to pick up that wet paint 
and just tap the paintbrush and I'm just going to add those splatters. It's just another way of adding a background without having to do a whole amount of effort. Yeah. I'm going to pick up some of this gorgeous lilac. Amazing. So the watercolour palettes come in a huge array mm. of shades. They all have 12 beautiful watercolour cakes and they are absolutely packed with pigment and mica. Yeah. So the shimmer off these is, is really quite something. And this is your fourth set. So this is set four, Summer Garden, um, and the £22.98. And you've got 12 colours in there. I say 12 colours, but don't think of them as that, because you can obviously mix Absolutely, colours together, yes. can't you? Yes. And what you were saying you love about these as well, Ruth, which is something I like, is that you can change the cakes around. If you've got more than one palette, yeah. you perhaps have a project you're working on and you're using certain colours, or you've got a favourite collection of colours. You can rearrange the little um, cakes. Yeah. They just lift out <coughs> really simply like that. So you can see it's just a little hard cake. Okay. And then you can create your own palette if you want to do that. If you are perhaps traveling or going to a class or something yeah, like that. It. I feel like yeah. really expensive makeup brands sometimes do those. Do they? Yes. Yeah, so I can wouldn't know. Create your own. <laughs> I haven't got any. Um, <laughs> but you can create your own palette. So it's, yeah, brilliant idea. <laughs> All right, so that's our little background done. And already you can see the shimmer just on those little splatters. Can you see? It's good. Oh, Where it's wow, starting yeah. to dry. It's quite intense, isn't it? it I love they them. Are absolutely gorgeous. love them. I mean, you may have seen, yeah. as, as Gwen said, you may have seen one or two of those palettes before. Myself and Laura, as soon as we saw these this morning, both of us were like, oh my goodness. They're stunning. I've got oh, quite a lot now, as you can imagine. And, and I'm sure you I have, just Gwen. just use them all the time. That looks absolutely beautiful. I mean, you'd frame that, wouldn't you? You'd frame that if that was to you as a card, whatever. Pop it in your journal, pop just, it in your diary. Yeah, yeah. You could die cut that into a circular shape. It doesn't have to be a square, obviously. Gorgeous. You know, if you've got some dies that you like to use. Yeah. So I just want to enhance it with a bit of okay. detail. Thank you. Um, it's not quite dry, so I don't want to smudge it. But what I've got on the back, I've already applied a little bit of double-sided tape. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to take the back off that and then I'm going to wrap some twine. I do like twine. This baker's twine we had a little while ago mm. as a spotlight. That's right. So if you got that, if you've got it there in your stash, this yep. is what, that's what I'm using. I've just got to apply that to the double-sided tape and the reason I do that is so I can stick it in place. Try not to pull when you're winding twine like this too tight because it'll make your card mm -hmm. look like a boomerang that's not great no it's not the look you're after not it? really <laughs> and i just like to twist them across each other at different places mm. so it's a bit interesting actually let's go there, there with that bit so lovely so just a really simple touch oops but it just adds that detail yeah and finishes it off okay and then i've got some little dew drop sort of things mm -hmm. and um, anything you've got little crystals or little nail heads and just pop a few of those in among to add a little bit of sparkle and that really lifts it doesn't it yeah, it's just it. so pretty and again that little bit of sparkle I love these I think this might Oops. be one of my favorite Oops. All time collections Ooh, that you've done. That actually. last one's misbehaving. Come Not on. Being naughty. Well, I think what's lovely for us is having that input from a totally new mm. designer. Um, it gives us the ability to bring these really beautiful, new, mm. fresh projects that people haven't seen before. Yeah. And um, it, keeps, it keeps us, you know, at the forefront of the market like we are. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So then I would add the Love and Hugs just across the stems, perhaps there on that one. Yeah. And attach that, I use some foam tape to attach the original one onto my base card. And Perfect. there you have it. Who wouldn't and like if that? if I can just refer to my journal. Oh, it's one she made earlier. It's not the same. It's lovely, isn't it? But it's similar, oops. So it's yeah. just got the actual stencil and I've done that with the watercolors. I'll show you how to do that later on. Okay. Um, but that's how lovely that stencil would look on the journal page. Fabulous. Isn't it beautiful? So be I, I, I can't see anybody not loving it to work with and I can't mm. see anybody not loving it to actually receive. Absolutely, they are. They are lovely, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they're beautiful. Um, and of course, the fact that you're getting the whole collection is amazing. So the watercolour palette there, grab hold of that. Uh, people are asking for what? Sorry, doll. 
the paper pad on its own. I'm not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> People want more of these to add to the collection, which is absolutely fine. So there we go. So that's your Country Garden paper pad, again by Helen Colebrook. It matches that collection. It's part of the collection if you're buying the whole thing. You are getting 30... Six, I was, can't read, 36 single sheets on there. You're getting six designs, six sheets of each. It's eight by eight and it's 150 GSM. Oh my gosh, and it's only £8.99. That is wonderful. I'll flick you through these very quickly. So you can see, there we go. So you've got those beautiful florals, first of all. Um, I just, they're, they're the prettiest, prettiest colours as well. You've got those beautiful sort of pinks in there as well. Lovely backgrounds, great for journals. And that, imagine that with the card, obviously, that Gwen's just created as well. If you're creating envelopes, of course, if you're creating, remember that beautiful pattern there on the box for the notelets? Perfect. Um, let's flick up again. And you've got this really, I love those kind of lemons and limes. Really lovely. Beautiful, beautiful colours in there. And then we get perhaps a little bit more serene. You've got these wonderful softer hues. Very, very natural. That's the one thing about this entire collection is it's all really based and stemming from Mother Nature herself. So if you do want extras of those paper pads, please, please, please do go ahead and grab them. Again, we don't have an endless sort of supply of those, unfortunately, uh, but £8.99. Now, you may have fallen in love with this as an entire collection. Um, <coughs> excuse me. You might also be looking at elements of think and thinking, maybe I'll just... I'd love to maybe just grab the dies, for instance. Well, we can do that as well, um, as it is a brand new bundle. If you just want to get those dies, I'll flip them around so that you can see them there. You can do exactly that. So you've got the choice of the three there. Uh, you have the flower garden, which is the one in the middle. So you're getting 14 dies from the flower garden. You've then got the one at the edge there, which is a walk in nature, which is rather lovely. That's nine dies. And then at the other side of that, you've got those two beautiful dies. That's your leafy wreath uh, that you're getting there as well. So a lovely, lovely collection of really workable dies, not just for your journaling. Of course, if you want to use those for your card making, you can do exactly that. There's lots of different ways you can use those. And of course, those dies do work beautifully with some of those stamps as well, particularly this one here. So you'll be able to stamp and then they match some of those beautiful stamps that are there as well. We'll do the stamp collection for you. So if you want to take those home, that's your set of three of dies and they are 39.99. I will bring to you the matching stamps as well, which I have by the side of me. I didn't even realize earlier on, so I do apologize. Oh no, I was just trashing the set and little did I know, forgot Jimmy had perfectly, perfectly selected all of these for me so I didn't need to lean over. Um, so you've got a wonderful collection here again of your stamps. So you've got uh, your foliage collection, a blooming marvellous, beautiful bouquet and your planning essentials. So you can see all of those there. And again, you've got the full sort of stamp and then you've got the, so if you, if you stamp the background, of the uh, of the design on that obviously you know, the lighter color and then do your darker color on top yes that's right so, so that's you've how you get got the a shadow effect. what we call a shadow stamp mm. and you can use them on their own just to create a really soft background or you can stamp the solid color and then add the veining of the leaf yeah. with the other stamp on top Really so you idea, get a really detailed, it? beautiful stamp and it saves you having to colour them in if you're not great at colouring exactly. in as well. Fabulous. Then you've got Blooming Marvellous, which you've got so many stamps on there as well. Moving forward, to, I love those. Look at those bouquets. Gorgeous flowers. Who doesn't love receiving flowers? Have a little look at those ones. They're stunning, aren't they? So lots of variety. That's the key from this as well. It's yeah. not all the same flower in different sort of guises. You've got all of that going on. And then last but not least, you're planning essentials. So you've got all the days of the week, you've got the days of the month. You've got don't forget review, to do and goals. Because if you are doing a journal or a planner, it could very well look a little bit like this. Beautifully demonstrated by my uh, fabulous assistant. Uh, <laughs> how gorgeous is that? So you can just buy a plain notebook yeah. and make it into a fabulous planner. And you planner. can buy it from us today. It's actually not plain, it's a dot grid notebook, which is perfect for a yeah, planner. Yeah, we've got these today, actually. Yeah. Uh, this is a fabulous hardback um, bound notebook. It has an elastic closure and it has a bookmark uh, ribbon. Yeah, we've got which these. Which is absolutely brilliant because you know which page you're working at or if you want yeah. to mark a particular thing that you need to look at. Um, it's got 238 pages. Wow. And they are 130 GSM. Yep. I think. Yep. And it's really beautiful quality. It's cartridge, it away. cartridge paper. It's not flimsy at all. Oh, that's really nice. Um, some inks will bleed through. If you use alcohol markers, they're going to bleed through, but they do right. on a lot of things. Yeah. Um, your watercolour, if it's very wet, might just come through the back. But do you know what? If it does, 
use a nice piece of paper on the back and you know what exactly. they'll know. <laughs> exactly. So yeah, you can just create, like I've done here, a calendar page or a weekly page. Mm. Um, I've done the months of the year all through this, this particular yeah. one. I was, I was aiming to start a planner. Um, I'm not much of a planner. You need to plan I'm, more planner. Of a, I'm more of a list maker <laughs> and then I lose the list. I just rewrite so them. So this is going to be an absolute tool for me that is yeah. going to be essential, I think. You'll be a new woman in 23. I've before. But that's the thing. But you, yeah. can, you, can, you can start whenever. And so you've got your dot grid and it's nice and pale. Some dot grids are a bit intrusive onto your, yeah. your lettering. Um, so this is a nice change. pale grey dot grid. You probably can just about make it out there. Um, yeah. And then obviously you've got Helen's lovely stamps if you want to add some titling. Okay, and this is Helen, I believe is Helen's own handwriting because I've seen her oh. do her lettering and it's lovely. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I've started to add a little gold. Don't add, don't we? Oh, I was <laughs> 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 See, now we're all looking, are we? Learn how to use Canva. Oh, gosh, good luck with that. Yeah, I, I tried. I it's didn't a minefield. Is it? Oh, goodness me. Improve social media posts. You can do that. You did both yeah, of those. That, well, I roundly write things down I think I can do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'll have a go, but you know, at least it reminds <clears> me <throat> that that's something I want to achieve. You've got to have goals. That's, got to have that's goals, why it's lovely you? to have a planner. Exactly. So we've brought you two books. We've got a planner, yes. which is that one, and then we've got the fabulous right, journal. journal. Did we bring uh, the details in for that one? By the way, I wasn't even looking. Yeah, for the first one. Sorry, <laughs> I was just obviously looking at Gwen's. So um, this, I've just started to add some de like elastic decorative well. elements to the page. Again, you've got the elastic closure, you've got the ribbon bookmark. Yeah. Same quality pages, same number of pages. And it is lovely. I've been doing watercolour. Um, you can see this stencil. I've done watercolour and it was quite wet when I did it. Mm. And where? It's not, oh, wow. it's not there. So I've been doing some pages with bits of paper, the stencils, the stamps, the dies, and I've just been loving it. Is that? I haven't added any wording, but it's in my head, ready to do. And this, gorgeous. You can put a little secret note in there, or a wish, or nice. something you want for yourself, perhaps, or I yeah. don't know, whatever it is you want to achieve. There's one that's on the go that I'm going to try and do live as we yeah. go and build it as we go because that's the nice way to do it mm. i have chosen to use the paper pad to oh, line nice. the book so i've added some what we call fly papers to the inside of the book yeah and then on the back of this one i don't know if it's on the back of the other one as well actually um it may well be yes it is you have a pocket oh okay so in the back here you've got a really fabulous gusseted pocket yeah it has a slit there, which okay. doesn't go all the way through. It's got a separate layer on top. So you could tuck tags in there or notes to sell for, things you want to keep, tickets. Mm -hmm. um, in here, you could pop photographs or pages that are in progress. Yeah. Add your bits and pieces, like I've got mine in the middle of the book, mm. but you could put it in there, or photos, or things that you don't want to actually glue to something. Sure. Perhaps, you know, a precious letter or... Yeah. Um, a photograph or a piece of newspaper that yeah. you really don't want to stick actually in the book mm -hmm. that's the place to keep them so to have that shows the quality of these books yeah, it does. fabulous they are fantastic what what an amazing price on those as well nine yeah they're really really good value they really are especially because you've got the hard cover you've got the elasticated sort of band on there as well and can i just show yeah, you this one last thing yeah go on if you wanted to cover these here's helen's stencil Impressed into a piece of card and then stained to look like oh, wow. old leather. It does, doesn't it? So you could decorate your cover as well. That looks great. They're All within fab. this collection. There's so much you can do with it. Obviously, grab those books, £9.99. You can never have too many journals, too many notebooks. And when you get the opportunity to really personalise them, so it doesn't come with your Monday, Tuesday, it doesn't come with the thing, you make it what it is for you, make it work for you, you'll use it more then. And it's so special to have, to open up notebooks and to see sort of the, the, what you've journaled throughout the years. I used to keep a diary. I need to find them. They're in the loft at mum and dad's. I used to keep a diary every day, just a little bit. And I did it for about seven or eight years. Mm -hmm. And I've got them for, I, know, it was probably, I think it was nine or ten when I sort of, I mean, some of them are, are going to be paying for reading, that's for sure. going to be hilarious. But yeah, they're in my life. But it's so lovely still to have that yeah. to look back on, to I just wish see. I had. It was not something I ever did. No, I but sometimes it. when Martin and I go on holidays or little trips, uh, I always take a little notebook and I jot down where we've been because yeah. I can't remember now. I'm no. terrible. We've just been to Wales and well, remembering Welsh names anyway is like something else. So I've been writing it down where we visited and what day we went. And then right. I've got a little record of that week that we had. And it's, it's lovely. lovely. It's yeah. great to look. I did it when I went travelling as well. I went yeah. round, the, round the world on my own for about 
12 months, 11 months. And I, I, literally every day, what time, what day, and where I was and yeah. what I did. And I know Helen always sets aside, she said, uh, you know, a quarter of an hour, 20 minutes yeah. in the evening. Just a couple of lines. Just write up her, her day. And, yeah. Or it's, what she it's, wants to do tomorrow. Or, it's yeah. lovely. And, and it's so nice to pass down to people as well, if it's yeah. readable. I've got, some, I've got some of my grandma's, actually. Um, yeah, I've got my, grand, my, my granddad, my pampa. I've right. got his little journals from when he was and in. It's just yeah. fabulous to look at. They are, they're wonderful. See, in all of this, it's funny, isn't it, how you, the conversations kind of all started, and it's from this, it's from this collection that we're both remembering really fond moments and people yeah. and memories. And <laughs> do have a look for Helen on social <laughs> media. I mean, on YouTube, she's got a channel called Journal With Purpose. If you're not unsure where to start, honestly, she's got me hooked completely because she's such a lovely style. <laughs> Um, and it's very achievable with products such as this. But also think about all the other stuff you've got in your stash that you could bring into it as well. Fabulous. Absolutely. Right, okie dokie. So that is the entire bundle. Do you want to dive in for another demo, lovely Laura? Let's do it. All right. so much to share. Yeah, there is. And I want to talk a little bit as we go about the stamps and, and dyes okay. a little bit, if I can. Oh gosh, we've got four, 15 minutes left. Oh, my Sarah. Lord. This happens every time, oh, doesn't it? Because we started reminiscing. I know. <laughs> so I just want to talk about stamps. For somebody that's yeah. perhaps never used stamps before, okay. ours in this particular collection are photopolymer. So they're a clear, for want of a better word, plastic key, but they're not mm -hmm. plastic. Um, and they come on this index sheet with the design printed so you can see what it is. You take off the protective coat and then you peel the stamp away from its back. <laughs> this is now self tacky and will just cling to an acrylic block or if you have a stamp press in your stamp positioner. So I've applied it to my block. I'm now going to attach some brown ink to it just by lots and lots of gentle tapping. Mm -hmm. Once I can see all of the design is picked out with that ink. Um, then I'm going to turn that over and press it down onto a piece of card. And then you need to press firmly all across your stamp and allow that ink time to just absorb slightly into the cardstock. If you take your stamp away much too quickly, you might find the ink hasn't actually transferred and you'll get okay. a partial image. That's something people do a lot. So give it time to actually soak into the cardstock and then lift the stamp off cleanly. Look how perfectly wow. these stamps it's really work. sharp image. Very right? sharp. And there's a lot of detail and fine lines on that stamp. Yeah. So little That's tiny right. marks in the center of the flower. I mean, they're beautifully designed. Mm. They really are. Now, I personally, I, I would sort of quake at the thought of cutting that out. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> I've got one that's dry because that ink takes a little while to dry. Now, on this set, this is the flower garden. Yeah. I know I've got the matching flower for this stamp. Oh, brilliant. So the stamp came from a beautiful bouquet. And all you do is pop that die over your stamp. It's yeah. really, really easy to line up, very clear. I just need a little bit of Malotac tape just to hold it in place because it won't stay there. Yeah, automatically. So and obviously, if you stamp it first, then you can obviously line it up easier. Yes, to it's easier. It, I find it easier yeah. to stamp first, but there are other ways of doing it. Um, I'll show you later on with one of the leaves that I found I couldn't do this way. Okay. So I've got a little die cutting machine. All of these dies will fit through a small machine as well, mm. which is great if that's all you've got hands to. And I'm just going to pop this through this little machine. This is a machine that we sell as well, the Vassam Creative one. It's a lovely okay. little machine. It's a bit rattly my one, but it's had a lot of, <laughs> a lot of use. <laughs> okay, and then I can just take away that tape and look how perfectly oh, so that's gorgeous, that it? has die cut. What I absolutely love about these, because I've tried matching stamps and dies before and some of them are less than perfect. These are so accurate, honestly. Yeah, because there's a lot of detail wonderful. around the edges, isn't there, yeah. on that? There's no white edge. It's perfectly on yeah. with the stamp line. That's great. Love it. So that's another great, Super. great thing about the quality of these. Amazing. Yeah. All right. So I've cut myself some of those, and mm -hmm. obviously I want to colour them, and I'm going to use my watercolour palette yeah, again. So I've got my little spray. I love this. So this Just is the spray bottle that comes with the two water brushes. Yes. And I'm going to go, well, let's go for a pink. Why not? 
Do you add the water into your palette? So spritz from your little spray bottle straight okay. onto the palette. And then I've got, um, I use various brushes. I've got a little flat one here that I like for when I want to cover something quite quickly. <clears throat> Just work this into a cream. And that's fine to add the water into there. Obviously, yeah. if you don't use it, it's not going to kind of Once you've anymore. finished, just leave the lid open and it, it, the water evaporates and the paint reforms. Okay, brilliant. So you do it. amazing. It's amazing. Amazing. And even if you've used it on a palette and you've taken it out of here mm. and you leave it, you can come back and reactivate it with water. So Fabulous. nothing gets wasted at all. Brilliant. And the coverage you get with these is just brill. I've watered it down a little bit more mm -hmm. than... I perhaps would if I was doing something like a background, which okay. you've seen me do before when I've done my colour wash backgrounds, because I don't want to obliterate the stamped lines. Nice. But you can see the level of translucency from these. Lovely. Okay, and that's it, painted, done. Now I can enhance it. Mm -hmm. Just get a clean piece of paper so you can see that. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna bring in this beautiful deep purple. That's stunning. The, oh, I mean, all the colours are gorgeous on there. <laughs> Love them. Again, work it into a creamy consistency. Now, I don't want this too wet because I don't want to paint a lot of it on. Okay. So I'm taking the excess water off my brush and then I'm just going to hold it very vertical and I'm just going to flick some lines up the petal. Oh, wow, it makes such a difference, though. So you've got the lines on the stamp, if you're not yeah. sure, you know, you're not confident about doing something like that. You could equally use a pen, and we've got some pens as well. Gosh, we have got a lot, haven't we? Um, I'll come on to those later. Yeah. So just a little bit of paint, and if it's a little bit too much, just take some off. As we've said, you can always add more, but it's really hard to take it away. Mm. Look how that's coming to life now, Don't just I? with a few flicks of a paintbrush. Just oh, hold your paintbrush really vertical. It's got a really fabulous point on this particular brush. Mm. And then you can either put a little gem in the middle of your flower or you can paint it. I'm actually going to paint mine um, with a little bit of this limey green. Ooh. Some flowers do have green centres, don't they? Yeah. yeah. But the other, on the other palette, we've got golds and coppers and lovely colours that you can... Yeah, you there's know. loads. Yeah, there's so much. And these, of course, are going to have that kind of metallic... They've got this you know, amazing shimmer. shimmer. Really stunning. So a little green centre, and that's it. You've Cute, got a, isn't it? a really pretty flower. There and look go. at the shine on that. Oh my gosh, you can see it there. Look at that. Whoa! The beauty. Oh gosh, that palette. You've got to get that palette in your life. If you're getting yeah. this collection, you have to have that. Now let me show amazing. you a couple of the leaves <laughs> as well. I love these. I've used these so much. But you will do. I'm just obsessed. Thing. Yeah. Sorry, my nose is running like, That's all right. like a tap today. <laughs> um, so again, I'm going to take to my flat brush. I'm going to mist the greens I want to use. Some of these colours are something else. I want to actually bring in the other palette because I want this gold, oh, this wow. pale gold here I want to use for... Okay. Well, I don't know what these are called. I'm not great with plants. Oh. Um... But this one reminds me of a, a plant called Honesty. Do you remember oh, Honesty? I don't, no. Little, it's got little round seed pods, and I can remember as a child, when it dries, it goes like paper. Oh, okay. And we used to peel them open. It's Paul, Pauline's yeah, nodding. Pauline she remembers. Knows. And there were little seeds inside, and I thought they were fairies. Oh, I think I know what you mean now. <laughs> yeah, they're not obviously that size, are they? No. But I don't know if that's what it is, but that's what it reminds me of. Okay. So I'm going to do it in this lovely, pearly, oh, creamy shimmer. Gorgeous. And then, now one of these greens really surprised me. Okay. Um, I'm going to go for these two, but mm -hmm. one of them, when I used it, I was like, whoa, because it didn't look like I expected it to at all. So I'll do the pale colour first. Those metallics are amazing as well. You've got kind of bronze and coppers and silvers and all sorts that of That red is that red's oh. gorgeous. And I'm just going to really literally mm -hmm. quickly scooch this down. There is so much mica in these paints that even if you use them really, really thinly watered, yeah. you're going to get a shimmer. They're just beautiful. Yeah. And that's the nice thing about that one. You might not mm. want particularly to add colour, yeah. but you want that shimmer. Yeah. So there we are. That's our honesty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
and then I'm going to bring in some of these greens. So let's go with this one to start with. And this lovely, I think it's like, um, it reminds me of like a tropical leaf almost. Mm. Um, but this has got a real teal note to it. It's so nice, isn't almost it? Almost a jade. It's really beautiful. And then this one. has got more of a blue, like a blue edge to it. Yeah, they're all different, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, they're all different. And then I want to just enhance. Now I could enhance with ink. I could go yeah. back to my inks and bring that in. Yeah. Or what I can do is bring in just a slightly different shade. Mm -hmm. And just here and there, add a little bit to the side of the leaf just a bit of shading but it, i mean it's not yeah we're not talking a you know artist Huge. here it's just a bit of shade and it's easy to do and your paint's wet if you work with your wet mm. wet on wet what we call wet on wet painting yeah then it'll just move and blend on its own so if i just oh, pop I those now it. away from the mess <laughs> and you can so see nice. how beautiful Oh, wow, you've really got a flash of that iridescent then as well. Let me see if I can twist them. Yeah, there you go. Look at those. They're amazing. Oh, the green is fabulous, I have to say. Yes. But adding that little bit of detail really makes yeah. this pop. And that, that beautiful kind of yeah. white is just, it's, yeah. It just I'm guessing we're, are we out of time? Can I do a bit more? We've got three minutes, Gwen. Oh, what can we do? What shall I do? Minutes? Well, I'll have to come back to this one because I Ooh. really want to show you that, but I can't do it in three minutes. What were the, where were the gel pens? Oh, so these gel pens. Yes, I would, I'm, only, I'm, I'm obsessed with pens. Right, so these are <clears throat> moonlight pens. Okay. All right. They oh, are glow-in-the-dark. I'll stop the glow-in-the-dark pens. Well, I think so. I mean, I haven't played with them in the dark, <laughs> but I know that they will go on to very dark-coloured cards, oh so you can gosh. use these on black, Okay. and they'll show up, which is quite astonishing. And they've got a super fine tip. I don't know if you can see that. I guess yeah, they have the hand. lovely to write with. Um, they've got a really fine roller ball, and mm. in the tip is a valve which controls the flow of ink, so you don't okay. get horrible floods and blobs and what have you. Just controlled <laughs> all the time. You do need to work quite slowly with them, so if you're writing with them, write slowly. Okay. And if you're colouring in with them, do little circles and work slowly, and you'll get a constant flow of ink, and they're just beautiful. But you can do writing... You know, if you like doing lettering, they are very fine. They are lovely. Um, you can do dots of any description. Okay. You can do um, an edge. I quite like to do a wiggle edge on things. Mm -hmm. um, you can do that sort of thing to frame something. You can do the dots and dashes. Mm. Oh. You can also colour. Um, if I just go back to one of these stamped flowers that I've got yeah. here, um, you can lay down a little bit of colour, then take your brush and you can paint them out. So, very versatile, gorgeous colours, work on dark card, fine detail, just beautiful. They are so lovely. Um, so you've got two sets of these. So you've got the set of the Jelly, jelly uh, Roll Moonlight Galaxy. Um, and we've got two, we've two different colours of these, haven't we, Laura Lou? Yeah. So with the Galaxy on at the moment. And then we've got the... What's the name of the other set? Sorry, darling. Calm. So we're going to go That's Galaxy calm, that or Calm. That's, so the Calm is the lighter colours. Yeah. yeah. So there's your lighter colour. It doesn't say that on the back, I don't know. No, it doesn't. So uh, we'll have to uh, find out. So that's Calm. And this is Galaxy. Got one missing currently because I've just squiggled with that one. Have you been in it? I've been in. Oh, drops it. Well, the only reason I did is because you're on about squiggles. That's a shortened version. I do that. If ever you get a card from me and I do an address, Love it's that. always surrounded. See that little doodle? I always surround the address by that. You always get a flower in it of that on, on every Gorgeous. card that I do. I love that. Whenever anyone gets a bit like that's Ruth's. That's, and in the corner of a card. I just have to do yeah. it. I don't know why. So it would be in the corner of your diary. So I've used it to do these little lines here. How cute. You might not be able to see because it's very pale grey, one of them, which is a lovely colour. 
or lack of colour. They're so, so fluid, isn't Yeah, they very, like very. It? And I've just done some little sort of leafy shapes on the end of the squiggles just by hand. They're beautiful. So that's so in the if, calm yeah, collection. If you like doodling and you like lettering, these are going to be I perfect. I love them. They're amazing. Well, what I'm going to do, because we are, um, I'm going to take those and I'll, just for, for experimental purposes, I'll take them home and do some doodling tonight and I'll let you know. But I'll also you know. on your bullet journal, if you actually want to make your bullet points, you can do that with these pens perfectly. They are beautiful. They just, honestly, that rollerball is gorgeous. They're it's very clever it's technology. It's a really fine, yeah. really fine yeah. colour. Got two and a half minutes. Um, should we? Well, we can do what? No, so we're going to see if they glow in the dark. I don't know. I don't know if that's right. I don't, or, know. I don't know. Can we? We're going to turn the lights off. Maybe and I'm fire everybody. Maybe I'm fibbing, but I know they show on on black card. Maybe that's what it means. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah, because I can't see anything on there that says glow in the dark. No. But that's okay. Because even if it's on black paper, hold your breath. No, it is. No, it's, no. <laughs> No. Uh, Gwen, you're fine. Sorry. No. Sorry, peeps. <laughs> That's all right. But like you said... The trouble is they do, do pens that do that. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. But I think the thing, if you look at the front of these... <laughs> we, we I'm just going wanted, home now. We just wanted to give Dan something <laughs> else to do. tomorrow. If you look at the bottom, look right at the bottom... That's what they'll look like on black. Can you see? So when you're writing yeah. on black, yeah. they look like they're glowing because if you do them on dark paper, on navy or black or anything like that, they look ultra. I could have scribbled on one of I've those. Got, um, let me do on, on, pieces on of this. Paper. Oh, I'll yeah, that's going to be on there. On here. Should we do the mixed? We, we've got. We've well, got let's a do minute. it on let's that. Do it let's on do there. it on there. Because you're getting all of these fantastic colours. I'll give you the plummy colour. That's lovely, that is. Yeah. Here we go. So you're getting all of this mix of colours. Have a little look at those. I'll give you a sheet. Oh, I've got to be quick now. David, if I give you that, you can have a little look at these. Some lovely nude hues in there as well, which is wonderful. Some of the peachy, pinky hues. Uh, got I love that. That's wonderful. £6.50. You're getting four sheets of each. You're getting plum, taupe. Are you taupe or taupe? Uh, blush pink, primrose and peach. Four sheets of each. Uh, £6.50, which is rather fun. Oh, yeah, they look amazing on the, on the plum. Oh yeah, you need the pens in your life. These are, they're fantastic. I love that colour. These feel absolutely gorgeous as well. So if you want to add those to your order, one oh, set I'm, of pinky. I'm really surprised. I don't know why I didn't try that before, but I'm really surprised how much those colours stay incredible. as they yeah. are. It must be a super opaque ink. Even the burgundy on the plum card, you can see, it's actually really lovely because it's they almost gorgeous, like... You know that tone on tone, yeah, the sort fabulous. of shadow effect. Well, get those home. Gwen, there we've got go. to say a very quick Sorry. Goodbye. Thank you, my lovely. Thanks, Ruth. Gwen's back with you at 7 o'clock in, in the morning. morning. <laughs> Remember, if you buy anything in the Creative Expression hours, you get entered into that fantastic giveaway. Thank you, I love you. Uh, on to Pauline's back up on the other side of this. If you've recently missed your favourite show on Hobbymaker, it's really easy to catch up on our website. Simply visit hobbymaker.co.uk and click TV Guide. Here you'll be able to choose any show broadcast in the last seven days, which you can watch, pause and rewind at your convenience. And to make shopping even easier, any items featured in the show will appear underneath. With Hobbymaker's Catch Up, there's never a reason to miss out, no matter what time of day. to watch Hobbymaker. You can join us on Sky, Freeview, on our website or on YouTube. So you can watch at home or on the go. Here at Hobbymaker, we want your shopping experience to be as simple as possible. That's why you can buy as many items as you like all day and only pay one postage and packaging fee. It doesn't matter what weight, size or quantity of your order or how many times you check out that day you still will only be charged one p and p shopping made simple with hobby maker when you purchase anything on hobby maker you have a 30-day money-back guarantee meaning that you can shop with confidence happy shopping with hobby maker
You know, we're really pleased we're getting more and more brand new suppliers here at Hobbymaker. We'll wait until you hear the latest. Cricket is joining us at Hobbymaker. And we've got exclusive deals just for us at Hobbymaker featuring the Joy and the Maker 3. And if the stock sells out, which it probably will, you won't see it again until next year. So make sure you join us this Thursday for the exclusive exciting launch of Cricket on Hobbymaker. When you purchase anything on Hobbymaker, you have a 30-day money-back guarantee, meaning that you can shop with confidence. Happy shopping with Hobbymaker. Hobbymaker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Hobbymaker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Hobbymaker. Hobbymaker are live from 1pm to 6pm every day on Sky Channel 670, Freesat Channel 807 and Freeview Channel 73. You can also watch on YouTube via some smart TVs, your computer and phone. My name is Anne-Marie and I am the Creative Manager at Hunky Dory Crafts. Hunky Dory are the UK's premier papercraft manufacturer and we design and manufacture all of our papercraft goodies back at home in Preston. We do lots of papercraft products as well as Moonstone dyes. We have our prism range of colouring mediums like watercolour pencils, alcohol markers, water brush pens and we also have our very own range of stamps called For the Love of Stamps. We're really looking forward to bringing you all of our brand new product launches as well as our inspirational demonstrations which we just know the audience love. It couldn't be easier to watch Hobbymaker. You can join us on Sky, Freeview, on our website or on YouTube. So you can watch at home or on the go. Here at Hobbymaker, we love seeing what you've been making, and it's our job to keep you inspired. So how does a £100 credit to your Hobbymaker account sound? Every month, we're going to be giving away a £100 credit to one lucky Hobbymaker's account. And all you have to do to enter is simply send a photo of your craft you makes to studio at hobbymaker.co.uk. We will be picking one winner each month at random, and we'll announce the lucky winner on air in the 5pm show on the last Saturday of every month. So what are you waiting for? Get crafting, get motivated, and get inspired with Hobbymaker. Our call centre is based in the UK and available 24-7. Just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk. Oh, Merry Christmas. Oh, I got really excited driving into work today because the snow in Stratford is full on snow still. We haven't talked about snow once today. Uh, driving out through all the fields, it was it's white over still. We had a proper good few inches um, and it was so lovely. I went, oh, I feel really Christmassy. It's the first time where I've gone, oh, it's Christmas. Uh, oh, it's Christmas. Um, so Merry Christmas. Um, we have so many fantastic deals for you still to share. Pauline is back, refreshed. Hydrated, fed, watered. Yeah. The fabulous new do. Yeah. Many of you have been messaging in about Pauline's hair. It looks wonderful. Um, 
We've got one. Uh, uh, yeah, it, to make the most of it, it won't look like this again. <laughs> it will. I'm, <laughs> I'm sure it will. And um, We've got one more fantastic hour together with Pauline, of course, uh, bringing you some fantastic hunky-dory treats. Um, so we are going to kick off. Have you got... I mean, I haven't got a fringe. Have you got a fringe? Pauline's I've got, got a fringe. fringe. She's got a fringe. We've got a fringe for you as well. We launched this just the other day and it went crazy. I was watching, actually. It was our Natalie, wasn't it, that launched it was, this on Sunday yeah. when I should have been here with you. Instead, I was quiet at home, which is very rare for me. Uh, so we're going to bring to you this really quick... I love this. It's, it's completely different from anything I've ever seen before. Anything. And we're going to come straight in, straight in on price on this one. It's straight down. It's your fantastic fringe. It's £9.99. And you've got this really, really funky die or set of dies, I suppose, because you've got three um, at the back that allow you to create this really, really wonderful set of fringing. Um, lots of different ways you can use it. I mean, look at that. That's really different, isn't it? Party time, lovely invite there. Reminds me of a Charleston um, yes. dress. The kind of the skirts. The, 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 yeah, the flappers. Yeah, absolutely. Look at us, Pauline. <laughs> I mean, I think neither Pauline and I were around, obviously around in the 20s. Uh, but you've got all of those beautiful fringes and of course it's about colour it's about the paper that you use lots of different uh, options on this one and lots of different ideas of course in terms of how you can work with these on your cards I'll pop a few in so you can see completely different on that one using that with the black and the gold I think these are really fun actually it's a really really fun collection uh, you can, I mean look at that again slightly if you notice the fringe is different at the bottom you've got this kind of almost scalloped edge on that one and if you want to use it in a completely different way. This is rather lovely. I would never have thought of doing that. No. Never have no. thought. And obviously the fringing there is at different angles. So you've got perhaps the fringe coming down, going to the side. So lots of different ways there. It reminds me of, you know, those things where they put different colours, triangles, and then when the wind blows, it changes colour, it all moves. It reminds me of that. Nobody knows what I'm on about, do they? Like a windmill thing, like a little. Mm, no, there's an advert actually with it on, and they're on the side of a boat, and that there's like squares of colour in triangles, and as the wind blows, they flap down to the next colour. I like the sound of yeah, it. Yeah, that's what it reminds me of. Okay. Very random, and no, might no. not anybody else, but no, I'm sure people at home are going, yes, <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. We're all like that. They're going, she's gone. Tumbleweed. Three, three shows, and that's it. She's, <laughs> she's lost it. <laughs> and here a different way of doing it. I like that a lot. It's I think very that's really pretty, fun. that is, isn't it? Yeah, really nice. And how about using it a little bit more naturally? Grass. The grass underfoot for a special <laughs> friend with those beautiful butterflies. I love this one. This is cute. Look at that dress. Good. Congratulations. Getting married. Beautiful, beautiful yeah. idea on that. That's just so... You see, there we go. There's your dress, Pauline. Charleston, oh, that's it. Charleston. The flapper dress. Da, 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 Charleston. There we go. Thanks. Little areas again, sections on that. Now, this is epic. Metallic. <gasps> you kind of feel the movement. That's the sound I have to make. <laughs> They're absolutely beautiful. And one more. One more. It reminds me of... Now, oh, look, I'm off again. A go glockenspiel. On. A glockenspiel. And you, I know what you mean. You, Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 yeah, dun, 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 I know what you mean. Dun, dun, dun. I know what you mean. And then I'm glad nobody saw the pictures. Of <laughs> <laughs> and then last but certainly Thank not you, least, Chesney. <laughs> <laughs> you've got the additional dies in there. So you've got this lovely kind of wave, this kind of frill, which is one of the other dies that are in there as well. So there's lots you can do with this. Lots of inspiration and down to £9.99. It's a brilliant one. Get checking out on this. 0800 001 3 I think we go straight into a demo because you had a really lovely idea of something to create. Well, I'm going to have a you. go. Yeah, it, it I, I wasn't might a be, plan, I, was it? No, You've and, it, and I've piece. not practised. So <coughs> we're, we're, we're going into the depths mm -hmm. of the fire, you know, and see how see how it turns out. Yeah. But I've got, I've got an idea. Oh, OK. So Let's what we're going to do, we've got some um, of the duo pads, duo colour yeah, pads on the show. Um, and I've picked out the ones that are green on one side and the yellows on the other. And we're going to make a Christmas tree, kind of. That's the idea, anyway. Um, and the thing is with this paper, you can cut more than one um, at once. So I'm just going to pop those on there. Get my trusty machine. 
right? So bear with me with this, because have you, you know, fingers crossed yeah. that this is going to work, but I, work. I have an idea. Okay, right. So we'll cut that and we'll see what happens. See what happens. <laughs> okay. So here we go. Oh, so we've got our fringe bits. And because this paper is so fine to cut, they have stuck together, but we know that we can separate them. Yeah. So I'm just going to pop that out of the way and um, we'll give this a go. Mm. So while they're all still together, I'm going to take my scissors. I'm struggling with my earpiece today, guys, so oh, bless you. bear with me. Or should I use my knife? No, let's go scissors. And I'm going to go from the top, right, down to the bottom on a diagonal. Ooh, see how they're all coming off? Oh, uh, yeah. Ooh. Right? Keep all those bits as well. Who's cleaning up? Jimmy. Oh, he doesn't mind. <laughs> That's the way we all said that at the same time. <laughs> Right, on the table, <laughs> I wouldn't let do that. Right, so we've got now our three colour greens. Okay. I'm now going to take a green card. He's coming after me. He's coming to find. It's all on the table, Jimmy. I wouldn't do that to you. Right, so I've got... Now, this is one of the new colours. I, I, should I be worried? Well, I, no. We've, I, I, Jimmy's on the floor behind you picking up the bits right now. <laughs> Oh, bless you. Just don't stand on him, that's all. That's all. <laughs> don't step well backwards. Very there well could trained. be trouble. Bless him. Right, so, because I've done that... I'm don't like... touch her. Leave the feet, Jamie. Leave the feet. He's after my sparkly is, shoes. <laughs> <laughs> so, what I'm going to do... Oh, Jamie. I'm not... Look... <laughs> OK. Peeking through. Right, so ooh, <laughs> should we put the light one then the, and the dark one on the top? Oh, but I, can you oh. see? Right, so you can do, I think, one of two things. <coughs> you could curl those. You could also put them so that they're still one tree if you cover that up. But I like the idea That's a really good of idea. three trees. Okay, and then I really am going random three next. Three. Okay, so... Let's put some pads on the back mm -hmm. of these. Now, I have a whole choice of pads. So I'm going to go with my thin ones. And I'm going to put this one first. And we're going to do it there. And then I'm going to put a strip on the back of this one. Hang on. Here we go. As I say, I... I've had, I was called in at short notice, so I hadn't actually got to play with this but this is what this die at all. Nice see, so it's when I saw it, I thought that's what I'm going to have a go at. Right, yeah. so let's pop that off there, and then we'll do the same with this one and get a pad. Now with this one, I'm going to need to double layer it mm -hmm. because it's coming over that one. All right, so take the this off here. Are you all still with me? You haven't We're fallen asleep? No. Nope. Okay. I think it'll be worth it. I do already. In the end, I do. No prep, no planning, just an idea. Oh, the same one I'm, I'm going totally rogue, aren't I? Yeah. So let's take that end off there and that off there. Okay, so the first one can go down flat. All right. And we'll pop just a little bit of glue, only on the, not on the fringe bit, obviously. Yeah. And let's put it about there. And you'll see what I'm doing in a minute. Two on this one. Okay. Just squash that in a little bit. And we'll put that one next. <clears throat> and we'll put that level there. Very sort of Scandinavian look. 
kind of thing, you would think so. Yes. You know. Well, yeah. Like like the, the trees you have on Scandi cards. Yeah, exactly. And the price drop, that's not your price on that, by the way, they, for your paper pads, because we're going we're getting four paper pads we'll show you in a second. They're all the duo pads. You've got the yellows and greens, the blues and greys, the reds and oranges, and the pinks and purples. I will show them all to you. We were at like £40, 39 99 then, um, and we're dropping this price. Look at this for about 21 It's practically, it's nearly half price, isn't it? So each, we're talking what, 7 14 20 no, not even that, it's 5 49 Aren't they lovely? And, and these ones, Ruth, aren't the matastic. These are the ones no. shiny. So you got that look. So how, in terms of stamping on these, then, do you have to do a, a sort of? They would have to be heat or embossed. Or yeah. Um, because they're a slippy surface, or yeah. you can use something, uh, you know, like um, stays on. Mm -hmm. um, but again, be careful because it's slippy. Yeah. Right. I'm just going to take off that tiny bit of overhang there. Of, so, there's, so I've doubled that one, and then this one's got three, and we're going to pop that one on there. So everything, and then look, you can just Very cool. move these mm. around, give them a little bit of movement, yeah? yeah? And we're still going, we're mm. still going, but I'm going to look in my, my box. The box of tricks. And I've got some gems oh. okay and then we're going to pick out the green ones mm -hmm. we're going to go with the tiny ones okay and let's put some gems on oh. are you all still alive and kicking we're and, still and alive. We're still like with, with me yeah then we'll go for a couple of the other ones and i like the green on the green so we'll put that one there. You could do multicolours and create lines. Oh, you on can the tree do and anything. Make it look, yeah. If you drew on them as well and did the lines around so it looked yeah, like definitely. strings of lights. So we'll just have some sparklies, yeah. which I think will look good. Very random, but you know. Why not? Well, if you've got them, use them. Exactly. I've never so, thought of doing sort of Christmas trees with those, with that frill dye yeah. either. Well, we'll put one more, I think, down there like that. Oh, we want one, one there, missing one. Let's put that. You know when you start and you think, oh, oh, a bit, oh, a bit more. <laughs> right? Okay. That's my trees. Yep. Then we get there. We have a pad of papers with, um, it's called Perfect Verses. Okay. And in it, we have got one that says... Families are like branches on a tree. We all grow, yet our roots remain as one. Oh, that's lovely. And I think that is fabulous. That's really And I nice. think that with our tree. So they come in the pad. This is um, cool. And our Ruth will show you in a minute. I will but what I'm going to do first is just trim this down. It, it's all foiled. I was just going to say they're all foiled. They are fabulous. They really Ooh, are, Ruth. Nice. And I'm just going to take a little bit more off that side. So you get 48 sheets of these. You get They're on A4 paper pad. So you get eight sheets in each of the six designs. So you've got a mix of the gold and the silver. You ha We've honestly, I don't know what Laura's done to get these today. We've fought to get these, not been easy. They are eight. so nice. They won ages merely the number of years the world has been enjoying you. That's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Gorgeous. Love yourself. Your beauty will glow from the inside out and the rest will follow. They are stunning. And then, of course, you get these different fonts, different sort of, some in bold. I love that. And you get them in gold and silver. Silver. Move to the silver. Right. So. These are lovely. Great price. $9.99. They, are, they there. are. So I'm going to glue this oh, to some silver mirroring. <laughs> on there. Okay. And then I'm just going to trim that up. With a little little bit of a border, mm -hmm. a bit less than that, Pauline, on that side. See, no measuring. This is totally, totally random. Yeah. But sometimes you don't need to measure. You just go with your instinct. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. And then I'm going to put pads on the back of that. Move those out of the way. Let's use this one here. Mm -hmm. And we're going to put some on there. 
and some on here. Okay, I've got one here that we can just look at this. I'm not even doing the pads in any particular order. I am just using up what I've got off on yeah. there. And let's see what happens. So we've got that on. I think these are lovely. And of course, having a tree on it, of course. This would go lovely with my um, my tree, set of trees on my stamps. Yep. So here we go. Get that nice and square. And we'll pop <coughs> on there like so. And, well, I'm quite pleased with that. There we go. That's lovely. Such a different it's way just of using it. It's a little it. bit random, but it's a you know it's it's it there. Works it's, sometimes though. It's recognisable as trees. Yeah, exactly. And I think that um, that's the main thing. That just shows it. <laughs> that <laughs> wording. Yeah. Lovely. It's it's gorgeous, isn't it? And obviously all of the little sort of um, branches, if you like, that are coming. Sorry, I've got a frog. All uh, the little branches that are kind of coming off. I'll show you these one second. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh, poor thing. She is suffering. <laughs> Ooh, right, there we go. That's over with. <coughs> Excuse me. These, um, she said, and then starts coughing. It's when I start laughing as well. Uh, right, so the perfect verses. Um, a foiled paper pad. I do apologise. Nothing worse than hearing somebody coughing on air as well. Uh, foiled paper pad. Some of the verses are, well, they're all beautiful, to be perfectly honest. Um, you know, we bring sentiments so often. We don't really think necessarily about... Sorry, I should show these to you, really, shouldn't I? Um, <laughs> let me share. <coughs> uh, but there's some really, really lovely sort of sentimental... I mean, look at that. Always remember you are stronger than you think, braver than you believe, and more loved than you know. You need that, don't you? Absolutely gorgeous. So you've got some of those uh, in the gold. Uh, a piece of my heart travels with you wherever you go. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, look, I never meant to put you through pain. I promise to never do that again. Just, they really are so heartfelt. They're absolutely, and, and for so many different occasions, apologies or thank yous. Let me whip through a few more of those. You get a lot of them. You get a lot of them. It's gorgeous. Um, the more candles on your cake, the more wishes you can make. Absolutely right. Um, love yourself, your beautiful glow from the inside out, and the rest will follow. Um, there we go. Uh, it's not happiness that brings us gratitude. It's gratitude that brings us happiness. Absolutely loving that one as well. So there's loads for you to Very choose from. Very meaningful, aren't they? They're really meaningful. Absolutely beautiful. Some poetry, some just beautiful rhymes in there as well. May today's success only be the beginning of your incredible journey. Love them. And look at that. Look how different the font is there. Wake up every day and chase your dreams they know the way. Oh, I love them. Love them, love them. I just sit here and read all of these, quite frankly. They're beautiful. But that'd be really boring. Uh, so let's go to the duotone paper pads. <clears throat> ha ha. And show these to you. Right. So these are 21 99 Now, the beauty of them, as you probably gathered, you've probably got some of these anyway, um, is, if I take that off, um, so it works out £5.49 each because you're getting four. Got well, this lovely deep kind of mustard. Flip it back. Oh, that's not mustard, is it? You've got this really deep, deep green. And that's the beauty of the duo colours. So you've got the yellows one side. You've got the greens t'other. Uh, and when you roll them back, which you can do. I've seen this done on cards before. And it's so effective when you just roll back a little corner. You get those incredible, incredible difference uh, in terms of colours on those. So then we start to get a little bit ombre. I think the word, isn't it? So you go from the yep. darker hues, gradually. That is a lovely colour, that one, isn't it? I love it because on the cover, you can, you can see exactly yeah. all the, the shades that you're getting. Are they fabulous? They're beautiful colours. So all your greens from the dark, gradually getting lighter. And then on the other, that will be the, the back of the pad. It shows you all of those beautiful yellows from the mustards to the daffodils, sunshine yellows. And you I mean, just know, I mean love them. teal and mustard, kingfisher and mustard. Yeah. They are colours that are still like number one, I think, Favourites. in the uh, in the in, in the interior design world. Yeah, they go so well together. 
Yeah, and that's what's really nice about this. When you open them like that, those colours always work. That's yeah. one thing that's been really What I love about. about having the green in as well is if you wanted to do florals, mm -hmm. especially like Easter flowers, if you're yeah. doing daffodils and things, yeah. you've got the greens already there. It's a great, for you. great palette. Even that for twenty one ninety nine, I think is fantastic. But you get three more. So then we're going to move to the blue. So this is how it comes to you. You get the blues one side. You get the greys on oh, the other. Oh, this is another of my favourites. They're all, they're all lovely, I have to say. Again, from the darker ones as we flip through. Mm. That beautiful, deep, sort of purpley uh, blue on those. And we go all the way through. And you get these amazing, amazing colours. The violets, the greys, through to the blues. They're absolutely spectacular. We were saying earlier in this show about the monochromatic in the... Um, uh, parchment oh, yes. papers. Yeah. Well, the, the, this one reminds me of, of I know that. What you mean. Yeah, it's got that sort of feel, hasn't it? Yeah. Then we've got the reds and the oranges. So you're going to get the reds at one side. You will get all those gorgeous oranges the other. And again, I'll flip through these so you can see. Even if I do them like that, you get a little bit of an idea as to the uh, as to the colours. So let's go through those again. Oh, I've got a bit of sticky on the side. Let me get rid of. Oh, that's because that's the top row. That'll be why. Um, <laughs> there we go. Just ruin that completely. Ruth has just separated all those papers. <laughs> oh well, damaged. I'll have to take them home. Absolutely. Uh, so again, you can see. Because you've got those. your Christmas reds in there. You've got your deep wines. Loving that pumpkiny orange. Mm. And then we get to those. Um, so you could do autumn hues. with that one. Yeah. Put that with the yellow and the wow. green. Oh, gosh, definitely. And that would look stunning. Aren't they amazing? I love how you go through that kind of tonal And it change. die cuts beautifully. Does it? Yeah. Yeah. Goes through like butter. Mm. And then we've got the pinks and the purples. I'm not saying the best to last, but you know me, I love my pinks. So you've got the beautiful, beautiful pinks and the purples on there. Ready for this? Oh, ready for this? Da, da, da. Look at these. So I actually, I'm going to start. I've been start, starting with the dark ones. That is my kind of pink. Yeah. That's like a popping, popping pink. Don't think I'll get away with that on my uh, on my bedroom wall. My husband said I can paint the, uh, the just one feature wall in the bedroom pink. Why I... not use these, right? Do a base colour of white or black mm. and then put these squares on your wall, leaving a stripe, a, a crisscross of yeah. the, the base colour. That's but actually really then, nice. And idea. you could start with the lights, move down to the dark. She's clever. Ooh. Do you know what I mean? She's clever. Yeah. I'll never do it, but no. I, I can talk <laughs> it. <laughs> but it's a nice idea. See, they are. That's just, oh, love it. Love it, love it, love it. I'm going to go pink and I'm going to throw in some glitter as well at the paint. <gasps> so excited. Right, okay. Christmas. Right, we now now the have. Green, the green I've um, just used in the car yeah. is one of the six by six okay of the the new cards that you've right. got there do you want to do those first well you've got a5 i've got a5 and you've got in okay. front of those six by six I've got those well, all want the it. same colors <gasps> these are lovely so let's do the a5 first of all then shall we so i've got those so the a5 yeah. you're getting 16 pre-scored adorable scorable we love card blanks and envelopes so you're getting two card blanks in each of the eight colorways now this is your bright uh, Christmas selection. They're very, very beautiful indeed. Eh? So if I whiz you through, so I mean, you can see, what I love about Adorable Scorable as well is look, that's the colour collection you're going to get. You always see that, so you know exactly what you're in for. So you're getting no disappointment, just lots of joy uh, when you see all of those. So there we go. So we go through, got that lovely cream in there. That red, it's Christmas red, isn't it? It is. Absolutely. Yeah. And it's beautiful royal blue, which I am loving. Through to the gorgeous greens. Oh, oh is it? That's your snowy sky. You know, put put um, the blue. sparkly bits on yeah. and, and snowflakes yeah. and stars. Definitely, we've seen a lot of snowflakes and definitely not so many stars because been up uh, the sky where I've, where where we are. It's just been literally. You know, you get the clouds, you look at the sky and go, oh, yeah. it's full of snow, yeah. and it's red. And it has. Snow, I, and snow, snow, nobody snow. believes me when I say, "Oh, it's too cold to snow." I know it's funny that is, isn't it? Yeah. It's a phrase. So it's a weird one. Uh, £7.99. So they are pre-scored. Uh, let's do the 6x6 six six as well. These are cute. So this is the one you used, wasn't That's it? It's the it, green. Yeah. Yeah. Again, coming with envelopes. You're getting all of those colours. So the same, same kind of colours, I think, that you're seeing here as well. You've got those beautiful sort of blues. I whiz through them. The purples. Lovely crafting colour. Then we've got 
those beautiful, beautiful greens through to the lovely, now, lovely again, reds. You can, oh, these are scored, but you can turn that into an easel card. You can do a fold back card. Yeah. Because the score line's there for the start. Doesn't mean to say you can't still make shape cards. No, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, it just helps that you've got there perhaps to, you know, that, and that score line. Some people don't start like off. cutting into their adorable scoreable. No. So it's nice to have them ready, yeah. ready yeah. made, ready done. Uh, fabulous. So, and talking of adorable scoreable, <sighs> ready. Oh, dying to share the. Oh my goodness me. These are coming up. Uh, right, let me do. In fact, let me start with the uh, the, the white and the black first of all. That was just tempting right, you. They're so coming up. Yeah. You don't have many of these. So let me start now, with the I white. I made an ex <clears throat> exploding box. Okay. Um, bigger size that you can't make with A4. You really can't because it's just, you, you're stuck to 21 centimetres yeah. wide. Whereas with the A3, you can make your projects much bigger. And I think one of the best things about these, when like the people Lovely. who work here, sometimes you all want to sign a huge card mm. because there's that many signatures. Yeah. Fold that in half, score that in half, I should say. Mm -hmm. And um, you've got an A4 card that everybody yeah. can sign. Exactly. It's a really good idea. And so this is your white. And for your, um, your um, there's a machine coming out very soon here, a brand, Think Green. I can say it because it's been announced. Cricket. Oh. Cricket. Oh, it's okay. An electronic cutting machine. I don't know anything about this yet. No, you can probably use those on. Ah, very, very nice. Soon. Oh, that's exciting then. I'll look forward to that. Um, and again, you've got this lovely sheen on there as well. It's yep. the pure white. You've got 20 A3 sheets and it's 350 GSM. If we're giving you the white, we have to give you the black. Love it. So it's white one side, black the other. You can see there that gorgeous, gorgeous sheet. It feels amazing. So you're getting 20 sheets of A3. Again, for £11.99, 350 GSM. And it's that midnight black, which is wonderful. So again, you, you can tear it, you know, if you want to kind if of... If you wanted to, yeah. And you'll expose that kind of white yeah, core, if you like. Yeah, it is white core. Mm -hmm. It's adorable score. Mm -hmm. It's all white core. So again, it, it, it means that if you did put so it lovely. through an embossing folder, um, yes, you get that beautiful, but mm. you can sand it back so that yeah. white comes through and on black then that looks amazing yeah but i'm more excited about the next one oh you know it's not very often that we ever see this oh my goodness look at this like so you third so if i put those together in fact i let's love do this it. this is i i have a thing all right so just so you I've can never see i don't mention it i try and keep it under control <laughs> but i have a thing when i'm putting on layers on a card that are vintage or cream based or um sepia that kind mm -hmm. of thing i don't like using it on a white card okay all right it, it, it's Your a thing, thing. It's yeah it's a thing i do it because i have to because there is sometimes no alternative yeah but to have an ivory card lovely is to me the bee's knees it just looks so expensive doesn't it, it? It's not stark. White can look very stark. Yeah. Yeah. It's that warmer, is exactly the word. Um, whereas this has a more of a softness to it. So, and I think it, it, oh, it does look more expensive. Mm. You it think really ivory think wedding cards. Yeah. Then, you know, it's, it's yeah. just stunning. Anniversary cards. Congratulations. Yeah. Utterly beautiful. Again, you're getting 20 of your A3 sheets for £11.99. It's a big deal, actually. That can be so expensive. A single sheet of A3 can be incredibly, incredibly expensive. Um, but, you know, today, we've, we've not made that expensive. Again, you can obviously, if you want to cut them down the middle and make them A4, instantly you've got 40 sheets for £11.99. Or again, you might cut them even smaller. It's up to you. Uh, but just an opportunity to get that in a large size Ruth, is really nice. It does nice. mean as well that with this size, mm -hmm. that if you want to make an 8 by 8 card, you can. Of course. And it's so easy. No joining together. Yeah. Score it on your scoreboard at eight inches. Mm -hmm. Fold it. And then put it in your cutter. Yeah. At eight inches. Trim off the excess. Turn it and trim off the yeah, other again. side. You've got yourself an eight by eight card. 
plus in pieces ivory. of adorable scorable leftover to use as you Love will that. for I die cutting and things like yeah. that. Yeah, just sit. You know, we talk about stroking. I could just sit and stroke. Oh that. yeah, it's lovely. Yeah. Now we're also going to ring to you. The adorable scorable. These are pretty. I love these. A3 pastel selection. 20 sheets. Oh my goodness me. I think you're getting five different colours, aren't they? Are they not the most pretty, softest colours? I colour. love them. Now, Ice to cream. me, this this is spring. Pastels. Yeah, very much so. This is, do you know, I just think decorated Easter eggs yeah. in these soft pastel colours. Um, Amazing. But pretty as well, baby things. And Definitely. You know? Yeah. It really does have yeah, a soft pink. Stunning. Story. And again, don't forget, I'm going to do it that way actually. Uh, so you're going to get four of each sheet. You've got that beautiful baby soft pink, which is just good. It's like a marshmallow. Mm -hmm. Absolutely delightful. Uh, then you've got that gorgeous soft baby blue, which is again And if you're wonderful. using the, the white, the ivory, or the black as your base card, <laughs> say A4, mm -hmm. it means that you can cut a piece of this to actually fit on it as a matte and layer yeah totally in one go they are they're just as the name says adorable and you've got an even softer pink you can see that in uh, i guess it's more of a, a a lilac actually the one we saw before to be fair yeah it uh, looks pink on its own but i love that mint that is gorgeous mm. and then you've got an even uh, you know again a beautiful going from the mint you've got a really really it's lovely a soft green. sage isn't soft. it very soft still thing. really soft if i kind of bring those out like such you can see them all Kind of alongside you get an idea yeah. of the different color tones oh, i'm missing one no five i've got five there there we go but they are they're very spring definitely spring has sprung mm. with those uh 11 pounds 99 remember well, you're getting four of each it. it will it absolutely will yeah and um, should we do another demo Paul? okay well we're experimenting again like it um we have the parchment in the last show um <laughs> and i've picked out this soft it's sort of a very soft gray color um, and I'm going to cut, now I've got six layers here, so I think it will cut it no problem, but I'm bringing in the metal shim just in case, so I don't have to keep doing it several times. So this machine is very good. Right, switch it on and run. So we'll see. Let's say parchment, it's thin enough to take yeah. quite a few layers. Anybody who saw my cracker show yesterday mm. and saw that I die cut two layers of parchment poinsettias to go on the crackers wow. for everyone. Um, yeah. Cool. And I was still smiling at the end of it. I know, Becky. <laughs> right, okay. That has gone almost through. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is, it's gone through, but just that top layer. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is just turn it over, mm -hmm. run it again. Really I'm just taking a chance with six layers. Yeah. You know, it's nice it's, to it's see. I mean, it's a so bit, but uh, but it's really easy to pop it back through. Yeah, don't ever worry about those sounds. Yeah, it means it's doing its job. Yeah, it's working. Okay, right. Let's see what we've got now. Here we go. Okay, I think we're all right. But if not, I'll take one layer away anyway. You see, it's cut all the way mm. through. I think we're okay, but would you? It's a nice I think it's just that, there, it? that top. Just that top. Uh, oh, no. Uh, yeah, those are all right. Okay, we'll do Perfect. it with those. And you can always put an extra shim yeah. if you need to. And do right. you put an extra shim for extra pressure? Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Because if you notice, these they're starting to warp just a little mm -hmm. bit. I've got that in a dip. Yeah. And I think that's probably what caused okay. it. I could have, if I if I'd have turned it that way or moved it round, yeah. it wouldn't have gone in the dip. It's all right. Okay. So now we've got these beautiful fringed. Yeah, that's two the there. Parchment. I love separating parchment. Yeah. It's so lovely. And then, right, okay. What have I got now? I have got. Um, a blue A5, mm -hmm. okay, and what I want to do, and we, sh we should be able to do this, so I'm going to glue along there and along there, oh, we're just shy, oh, it might be all right there, look, I say just shy, I'm mm -hmm. going to glue those in place, now for this one, 
I think I'm going to use red line tape. Okay. Because um, this, uh, like, like I said before, this is not um, not so porous, and it might take a little while for the glue to dry. Yeah. I'm going to put the next one straight on as well. So you can butt it right up mm -hmm. and it should be fine. We're not going to see that edge. No. So we don't have to worry about that. Do you know Put what I'm thinking on? about with those little frills? Doing something like you've, you've just done there, taking off the red liner and twirling it, twirling it, twirling it, twirling it, because you'd almost have like, be able to create like a, a, a flower. Yeah. 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 Just thought I'd share that with you all whilst I was Lovely, sitting Lovely, long, spiky it. one. Mm. Okay, so again, we'll pop those two together and do this. And what I want to do is like make a trim on the card. But that is lovely, lovely idea. And yes, you can. I mean, if you didn't want them that long. Yeah, cut them down. You remember you've got two other dies. This you could true. put this edge on and then you would have. Oh, that'd be even nicer. Proper, yes. Like a proper daisy. Oh, nice. Okay. So this colour is going to look stunning on here. Mm. So we want one that way up and we want one this way up. And then I went through the pad with the blues. Yeah. Um, and I picked these out and I think I'm going to go for the darker one. And I've just now got to decide how wide I want it. Mm -hmm. And this doesn't <clears throat> quite... Oh, yes, it, mm, it's a bit... I might take a <laughs> tiny little bit off my card. Um, and I'm going to go one inch. Okay. A little bit silver stuck there. Again, the, the colour choices are just fabulous. Yeah, they're really So good. let's just take... If I take this down to eight inches, mm. which I know that pad is eight yeah. inches, and then... We're, we're all right. It's just a, it's just a small bit, mm -hmm. but it, it works. Okay. Still going an A5 envelope. Yep. Nobody would know. No one knows, Paulie. Right. I'm not telling. Are you? I don't know what you're on about. <laughs> now I'm going <laughs> to use my use my board to make sure that that everything is straight. Yep. And then we'll take off this layer and you could always take your card down as well couldn't you if you wanted to just make yeah. sure it stays where it is yeah and on the back hang on let's move let's do it on this one first right so i want to put that down because that's the wrong side up and that's the right side up and then i'm going to pop that on there like so and hope for the best that I've got it right. Mm -hmm. No, I haven't. I've put it on the wrong side. Don't worry. I can go with another it. one and go over the top. So we'll make it a little bit wider. Do you know when you're looking at it and you think it's really <laughs> not right? Your instincts are often right first and then you, you yeah. kind of question So I'm going to go one and a quarter so I know it's bigger. It's like when you look at it, am I doing it this side? Am I doing it <laughs> that side? Okay. Right, so that now is going on the top of there. Yeah. And then I know it's right. Okay. Right, so now I am going to glue gonna it. Because I know where I am then when it's this side up. Right, come on, glue. So we'll do that along there. And then we'll do a little bit along mm -hmm. the top there. So. There we go. Okay. And then now... Slide that along edge to edge. So now I know that that is going on yeah. that side. So we take this one off. There we go. There we go. Okay. Now I want to make sure I'm trying that not to way. Talk no, it's not time. that way. It's that way. And that way, how ridiculous is <laughs> because that? Because you've started to question it. Good grief. Well, someone's having a smashing time next door as well. Uh, I don't know what they dropped just then, but dearie me. <laughs> uh, is that in the right place? Let me see. 
Yeah. That, that bit there wants coming up a little bit. I don't know whether I can get that off again. And I think we'll go, go with it. I've got a little bit of tape just showing there. Yeah. You know what will happen, we'll, Ruth? We'll we can't I'll put that. another. I'll put another piece another. over that. Then I've got to. Got to do it, you? Oh, let's just go a fraction more. I, I, I won't rest until it's right. Oh, I know. Oh my word! How many layers on this? Right. Now I could have done a wavy edge with the border yep. on this one. Yeah, because don't forget, it's not just the frill that you're getting for the dye. A thrill. A, th a thrill and a frill, yeah. A, a <laughs> thrill from the frill. Uh, so you've got the frill part of that, but then you've got these two um, edges, which you can add, obviously, if you pop one of those, uh, once you've cut out the frill, you can have a little wavy frill, or you've got a longer, kind of more subtle uh, wave, as you can see that. So really and then you know, I'm just useful. looking to see what I've got, because what I would like to do... Um, I don't know whether this is a <laughs> bit short, but mm -hmm. if you um, roll it around something, just get a bit of a curve. Yeah. This is a bit big, I think. But again, like you say, um, get a quilling tool on it. But the idea of making the flower is really good. Thank you. So we're just going to make that. And then we can glue this in place. And then... We've got the sentiment book for 2023. Yay. Is that right? Yeah. 2023? Yeah, brand new. And it is in the matching colours of the Adorable Schoolable. It's amazing. Okay. So when that's dry, look, you can just fringe that, bring that up, make it more a bit random. Mm -hmm. So I should be able to find a blue that complements this. Where does that one look? Oh, that's the one. Got, that's, oh, yeah. See if there's another one, just to make sure. This is brand new sentiment selection, 2023. You get 40, 350 I think we're going to go with that. GSM. Right, so we've got, um, that's to men, to friends, and Use this colours. one says, oh, have a wonderful day. And ah. it's a star. So I think that is a nice one to have Some lovely ones on here. there. And we'll put a pad on the back of there. So th these have all got foil on. So you've got the adorable scorable, yeah. beautiful colours. They're all foil right the way through. But look, you've got silver and gold on those as well. To a dad that is a one of a kind. Fiance, you mean the world to me. To a super son. There's some really lovely sentiments. They're good. With love, Nana. Okay. And let's see if there is... There's one. I mean, that's me, isn't it? The colours in here are fabulous. They really are. They um, are gorgeous. You can never find the, the wonderful colour day. again, can you? When no, you absolutely. It would be far too easy. That okay. Would be as well. um, so have a wonderful day. But this one says um, another star to a super son or a brilliant boyfriend. Brilliant, oh, boyfriend. brilliant boyfriend. That's cute. You don't get that very often, do you? So it's a I don't mean a brilliant again. boyfriend. I mean the, the term. <laughs> <laughs> to a wonderful husband. You don't get many of those. <laughs> uh, happy belated birthday with heartfelt apologies to a fabulous friend. You've got some little gift tags. Just to the look fact at that, that one. The that's colours really are matching. Cute. So I'm going to put Just that okay. there. Lovely. Okay. And then we'll fold our card. Okay. And it's just something a little bit different. Oh, look at that. That's clever. That looks great. See, those sentiments have completely finished that off. Yeah. Totally transformed it. Yeah. So the sentiments, you've got a little bit it of looks, silver in there. It looks wonky, but it's, it's, it's that it's now curl, curling yeah. up a bit. Yeah. And of course, if you want to do the wavy edges, you can do the wavy edges. You can do more layers. Do whatever you want to on that one. Uh, but that's obviously using the adorable scorable um, A5. <coughs> excuse me. The, using the duo colour. They're an amazing price today. And the sentiments. Essential book. Brand new for 2023. Get them now. They are lovely. And, and they kind of seem to be grouped into males, females, whatever on that. There we go. They're lovely. So the fiancé there for a brilliant... So you get, yeah, so you get the same sentiment in all the range of colours. Yeah. Then you go into a different group of sentiments mm -hmm. in all the range of colours. I love them. I think them. there's three or four lots. 
can't remember now. They are great, aren't they? Does it say in there? Uh, no, it doesn't say on there. But yeah, they are. I mean, and also you've got little, you've got tags there. You've got a smaller tag, a smaller tag. So going through, so where does it, yeah. Then it changes here. So now you've got daughter, grandma, mum. Enjoy, enjoy your day, sister. Ah, mum in a million. That's a cute one, isn't it? Daughter, um, you brighten every day with love now. Grandma, you are lovely. Uh, you are truly loved. Uh, so again, nice sentiments, different words because we've all got different. You might call your grandma your grandma. You might be calling her Nana uh, or Nana. We had a, I had a Nana. I had, I had a Nana and Pampa. I didn't have a granddad. It was in the Pampa. I'm, I, my youngest granddaughter has started calling me now and she says exactly the same as the others did. I'm Mama. Oh, yeah. Mama. Mama. It's cute, isn't it? Does your heart melt when she says it? Yeah. Like? <laughs> oh, bless her. <laughs> Superb sister-in-law. That's a nice one as well, isn't it? They are absolutely fabulous. These always sell, so it's great to have the opportunity to have that first. Brand new for 2023. Now, also, give you a bit of a pick. I love a pick and mix. We're going to give you a little bit of a pick and mix right now. Again, brand new. I think, that, is this one? Is this brand new as well? I launched it. <gasps> Oh, That's did sweet. you now? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. So recently launched by our very own Auntie Pauline. Um, these colours. If you've never seen a pick and mix on the Adorable Scorable, you need to get these. You need to see these because they are phenomenal. All brand new colours. And you can see that, I mean, these are just fabulous. I'll, I'll run through a few you of them. You can go through that, that sentiment pad again and you'll and find all those colours there. Oh, my yeah. gosh. These are fab. You've got blue steel. That was a programme, wasn't it? Blue steel. It was. Who was that? Or a film. It was or a film. Or a film. I can't remember. I can't Who? think. I can't remember. It was one of the... Zoolander. Two. Oh, that's right. That's oh, what I was, was modelling things. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. it. That's it. So you've got blue steel, pewter ivory, pink flamingo, green holly, coffee, daffodil, tangerine. I can't even show them all to you because there's, there's just too many. In fact... Let's do it. I feel like I'm about to be in Joseph's amazing colour yeah, dream coat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the colours. Uh, how many new colours? 30. Right, better flick through these very, very quickly. So let, I, won't, I won't read out the right colour as I'm doing them, but let me just flip through these so you can see them. Or maybe we will have them in it now. I've mixed them up. Uh, but you can see here, and they are, look at that. You know the quality. You know that this, that is lovely. Is that your soft sage? It's green. No, that's oh, no, the soft stage is going to be lighter, isn't it? Yeah, yeah that's why I said I'm not even going to get I love that one. get them wrong. And I love orange and pink pinks. together. That is one and of my favourites. pinks favorites. and reds. And... I've got to gorgeous. get out of my... 2023, I've got to get out of sunset colours and move on. Yeah, but if you... If you too you, many colours. You like what you like, you know what you know, though, don't yeah. you, really? Yeah. It's like, I'll always go for the pinks, but look at all of these. So many fantastic colours. For me, it's lime green and purple or lilac, yeah. yeah. I, when, I always think lime green. green for you, Pauline. Yeah. Always. Look at those. So we're getting a little bit more into the yellow. So I, that might I, be a daffodil. I couldn't paint my lounge wall lime green, so I went for chartreuse. Oh, very nice. <gasps> With <See>? grey. <clears throat> That's got my name written all over it. So very quickly, I'll run through the colours. They won't be the same as the screen. Blue steel, pewter, ivory, pink flamingo, green holly, coffee daffodil, tangerine, berry red, burgundy, heather, hunt, all hunter green. That's new colours. Brand new. Brand new colours. Brand new. Hot pink, violet, soft sage, lime, baby pink, bubble gum, warm cinnamon, that mauve. Is gorgeous. Gorgeous. I think there might be a couple more there at the bottom, but I just can't see them on my list. But either way, you get to choose three of these. Sorry, my voice is just about to go. Sorry, I've only got a couple of minutes left. Um, <coughs> three of these for three nine times. Not just three, three packs. So you're getting 10 sheet per pack. So you're going to get 30 in total that's which incredible is, which is if value if you're doing invitations and you you buy a pack and there's only two sheets of the one color you want yeah. so now you can buy whole three packs of the same color um so that gives you more opportunity to do all your your invites your um save the dates your uh, baby shower parties everything that you need more than one colour. Because otherwise you end up buying how many packs of card exactly. to get two out of each one. Yeah. Whereas now you can cherry pick your colours and buy all three if all you want. Those. I can't even show them all to you. So £3.99, pick any three 
That's from for nine pound ninety nine. So you're going to get thirty sheets um, in terms of those colours, and they are amazing. What a lovely one to finish on. Yeah. Thank you so much. It's been a lovely day. It's been Ruth. a pleasure. When are you back with us, my darling? Do you know yet? Uh, what are we on now? Uh, Tuesday. Sunday. <gasps> it's about Sunday. Is that your last show before Christmas? Is that the 18th? Okay. No, I've got the 22nd. Okay. As well. Is that the when? I have no I idea. I don't know. Pauline's back with us in the building. Is this no, week. I don't know. I haven't got a clue. June's back with us soon, though. Uh, thank you so much. It's been <laughs> lovely. I love you, Pauline. Uh, stay with us. We are, of course, back in the morning. I think I'm back with you on. Is it Christmas Day? We'll find Ooh. out. When you purchase anything on Hobbymaker, you have a 30-day money-back guarantee, meaning that you can shop with confidence. Happy shopping with Hobbymaker.